Hello and welcome to HBFT Gaming, I'm HBFT and we are back again with Battletech Rogue Tech. At the end of the last stream we walked away with our brand new Dire Wolf with a Clan LRM 100 in its boat and I gotta say overall it really smoothed out our consistency on the difficulty curve because now we're bringing a total of 310 Clan LRMs consistently to the battlefield every single fight. So overall it has done wonders for our consistency. That having been said, right on the very last patch, since we are operating with planetary difficulty system as opposed to the one that scales with a power level of your overall equipment, there has been a little bit of a change. And I will read it, so let me just go ahead and back it on up just a second, and we're going to bring this up. You can see that with 1.1.8.0, it says planetary difficulty now scales up to D20. So that means that no longer are we going up to just maybe like one red skull difficulty or one and a half red skulls. Now we're going all the way up to five. So I don't know if we'll survive. Hopefully our LRM strategy will be able to weather the storm and we'll have to see how it gets on. So if you take a look at Strata Mekti, previously it was three green skulls overall. It was not higher than that, but now it has changed to red. If you take a look over here, you'll see that some systems are now green still. Some are five skull red. <laughs> so I don't know how that's going to play out. So we're definitely going to have to warm up a little bit. And let's go ahead and start by just taking a look at what we've got to work with. Yeah, it shouldn't be. It should be pretty interesting regardless. Yeah, so let's see what we got. So we'll back it on up. We'll stop by the back bay. Yeah. Hey there, Kit. Very good to see you. Miss Dima, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're joining us right now, we are just getting started. Glad you could stop on by. I hope you're having a lovely, lovely Saturday. So this is what we gained last stream. We had ourselves the Bunny Bludgeon. This thing has Clan LRM 100 in it. We've got our Dire Wolf, of course, which had Clan LRM 100 in it already. So between the two, that's 200 LRMs. Then on top of that, we've got our Timber Wolf, the Lumina Xenia, with 30 LRMs. And then we've got our Sun Spider with 70 LRMs. So that's already 300 LRMs total, right? And then if you take into account our now, our Tiny and Fancy, which used to have Clan Streak SRM 24, uh, Tank Hair suggested that, you know, it might be a little more useful if we just crammed it stock to the gills with 24 ATFs. <laughs> We have so many missiles on the field, and it's going to be fantastic. So I'm hoping we're going to be able to survive. We've got a, a decent go at it, I think. And, and over time, we'll be able to iron this out. If Just as a reminder, right now, we've got three parts of a Kodiak. We've got three parts of a Marauder 2. We've already started on another Dire Wolf, and we got three out of four parts of the 200-ton Orca. Overall, all we need is one part left to complete any of these things. It should be pretty freaking awesome. So let's go in and jump into our very first warm up. We'll go over to the command center here. Uh, we might as well start. I mean, I guess we've got a basal sequent uh, that's in an urban environment, I suppose. Maybe like a half skull just to warm up. We'll go Nova Cat, suitable landing spot. We'll fight against them. That should be fine. We'll do 2 9 on this one, yeah? Bunny ATT, reach out, reach out, and touch somebody. Hey there, Cyber Vega to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So here we are, we've got 200 LRMs. We wanna make sure that we're bringing a full set here. So we'll grab our Sun Spider and we will grab our Lumina. We're gonna grab our now refitted Tiny and Fancy with the 24 ATMs for the very first time. And then we'll grab our X Adventurer to the knee. Uh, we'll also take our brand new Clan Hybrid Carrier. So we just put this together at the very end of the last stream. Haven't tried it out yet at all. It comes with 24 ATMs and 40 LRMs. That's a lot. That is crazy. So let's go in and get someone in that. I think Cyber is going to be able to deal incredible damage with that. That's going to be awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and get Amiel into the Sun Spider. For our X Adventure, we got Crunch Troll. Uh, we've got, let's see, Hegaj. We'll just stick, you know what? We'll stick Hegaj in that and Superior Daisy overall. Yeah. Or better yet, what if what if we get, um, yeah, no, that seems pretty good. One half skull difficulty battle in the lowlands. It's a red one. Uh, we're going to come on in with a five minute mark for any limb losses. This enemy's detected in the area, Commander. Intel reports that Nova Cat sent a pretty serious lance of mix. Also, keep an eye out for harassing units from the locals. Harassing units? I mean, why would they try to even harass us at all? I mean, we're we're in the bunny ramen operation. There's nothing to harass at all. Everyone loves the bunny RO. 
Uh, let's see, we're right at the edge. I'd like to start over here. Probably just want to avoid getting hung up on anything. So we'll just go one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, s uh, it's a little too close, seven, and then, do we have another one here? Can we get an eight? Can we get an eight out here? Actually, who is this? This is our, our Naga. Oh, I'm okay with the Naga being out here on its lonesome and the carrier as well. Perfect. They should be separate anyway, yeah? Google Snowcaps, same thing. I'm confident in our bunny right. readers of Oh my, go. all right. I like the confidence. Thank you so much, Smeeble. Right now, we got a lot of VTOLs on the field. It's a whole set. We've got four VTOLs on the field and one looks like a light adder or something like that on the side. Maybe a scarecrow or something, yeah? Hey there, little tiger. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Joining us right now, we are just getting started on a warm-up mission, a one-half red skull which puts us right in that 11, 12 skull difficulty range. Hopefully you're doing well on this lovely, lazy Saturday, yeah? I'm kind of thinking, bunnies, that today is going to be a lazy one. I'm I'm feeling it. I really, really am. And I got to say, I'm very, very excited to uh, enjoy this lazy Sunday with you. All right, Warlord up plus one accuracy. Let's go in and ping out this Ripper. Just give me a little bit of a taste. Stack him up with the start of our bunny missile brigade. Heck yes. Hey there, Superior. Very good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's already Sunday here. Oh, even better. I always associate Sunday with the laziest of times because of Calvin and Hobbes. I don't know if you read that as a kid, but I remember when it came to Calvin and Hobbes, Sundays, I think there was actually a comic book that was called the Calvin and Hobbes Lazy Sunday Book. I, I think that's what it was called. I could be wrong, but overall, that is the association that I've always made. So let's go ahead. We've got some speed. Let's go in and use mobility on the very first turn for Superior Daisy so we can dash on forward in a cover. He's just that kind of guy, yeah? Calvin and... Yes! I freaking love it. One of my best friends as a kid totally reminded me of Calvin and Hobbes. He was my best friend for sure. Tag out. There we go. We got a little bit of sensor impaired on that Nidhogg. This is exactly what we want to do. Those things are capable of frightening amounts of firepower, yeah? My Saturday has already been very lazy then you are starting off correctly my friend you are starting off correctly hopefully it's a lazy saturday coupled with and filled with ramen and joy i guess all right so here's the big thing they are absolutely just showering us just peppering us from above but that also leaves them completely exposed to return fire and we've got at least an additional set of 200 lrms we've only peppered them with 70 and 30 that came from our sun spider and our timber wolf we have not dumped in with any of our dire wolves yet so here's our tiny fancy it's the very first time we're going to be able to engage with our atms so let's see we've got the speed uh, if we do this we're going to be out in the open that makes me a little bit nervous is there anyone else that we can shoot with mm, i guess indirect here we go all indirect standard atms we're gonna ping this guy 0.9 okay no 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 we're going active instead and hold so we're holding off with our 24 atms brand new we gotta wait for their spawn protection to wear off before we do anything because i don't want to waste these things we've only got four tons of it half of which are high explosive which means they're really really short range but dear god they do 12 points of damage each missile which is absolutely insane that is catastrophic amounts of damage so we got our yasha uh, we can connect with this pretty solidly we should be able to drop it out of the sky and there we go so the two weakest vtols are now flat yeah hey there cyber thank you so much welcome these are those these are those uh candies right a brand of candy consisting of small pieces of semi-sweet chocolate candy covered with white non pareil so what what's a non pareil actually a decorative confectionery of tiny balls made with sugar and starch, traditionally an opaque white, but now available in many colors. Kind of like, I guess like the, the outer shell of like an M&M or something. Sounds really freaking cool, yeah? And flip it. No First bl darn straight Antonitis. Well, let's see if we can not soften them up a little bit. They've got themselves. What is this? They've got, I don't know, looks like a summoner. Potentially a shadow cat or something. 23. Uh, we'll switch on over. What if we go flak? We might be able to hit someone in the air, but we're a little too far out, so we're going back to indirect. Warlord up. And we'll try to connect. We got 26. And 32 to the summoner. There we go. Beautiful. 
a very very nice start 72 heat is nothing to snuff at at all oh i don't remember where that one came from oh dear god looks like it had at least one erppc potentially two uh where was that guy he shot at us that was a little bit dangerous what is this huh it looks familiar, but I don't remember what this shape is. Well, we'll have to see when we get a little bit closer. Well, we can finally start dumping in our bunny LRMs. We'll get into cover here, switching on over to Artemis 4. Just the initial initialization takes a little bit because you got to set the ammunition type all the Artemis 4. Warlord up, plus one accuracy, and this should be a good softening right here, yeah? 100 LRMs. They don't have a lot of AMS flares out there. Just soften that up, beautiful only took out 85 of our LRMs with AMS fire, yeah? I don't think that one was an Annie. It was a little bit small, yeah? From afar, it really does look like an Annie. Ooh, that is a lot of AMS Mark II coverage that we got. Yes, yeah, the thing about the Annie is it got that rounded hood on the top, yeah? This one's a little bit more boxy, so if you take a look at it, there we go, see? But it does kind of look like... Oh, Kingfish... Oh, that's an Assault. Oh, God. <laughs> it looks so small for an Assault. Really? That's an assault? No, I, oh no way. $12.99? That's not a lot of armor for an assault. Well, all right. Fair enough. Well, Warlord up. Let's keep dumping into the same exact target. The Seth Stealth Bomber. Looks like they're out of AMS flares here. We're softening them up on the front. We see a lot of breaches. Barely anything left. We might be able to drop that out. Ripper set. 100 LRMs. Talk about a hailstorm. That's right. We're going to be raining on their parade absolutely true enhanced imaging is now effective let's go ahead and push him over that threshold there we go that's what we're talking about 102 heat finally in the very bottom of that three digit range that's exactly what we like to see when we're just kind of giving them the juice yeah scoop for supercharger oh do we oh would they have up there i guess i can see that I'm curious if that's more like a like a visibility hood or something. Kind of reminds me of the Psyka Kuds from 40k, yeah? Alright, this is the very first time we get to use our carrier. This is Cyber Gizmo. He's all set. We've got Artemis 4 extended range. We've got extended range high explosive and standard. Alright, let's go and try and connect. Extended range, extended range. We'll, we'll hold, we'll hold, we'll hold. And I love that it comes with Guardian ECM as well. That's crazy. We've never had a hybrid carrier so... We've never had a carrier so advanced, or a V so advanced, so to speak, yeah? All right, a little bit of a stray shot there, pinging our direwolf sensor impair. Very, very early on. And no joy. I'm curious if they got any sort of Hellstorm artillery, anything like that, because it did seem like that was indirect sort of fire or something like that. All right, Sun Spider. We will push right into cover. And if we can just dump out that Seth Stealth Bomber, there it is, right here. Dump him out. Oh, wait, did I hit the wrong one? <laughs> they have so many. Did I hit the wrong one? Is this the right one? Or is this the right? I have no idea. You know what? This is not it. I have no idea. Let's see. Or maybe there was just a water slide for the Mech Warrior to exit the back. That would be a very, very fun way of doing it for sure, yeah? Well, tell you what, we got to keep our distance. It's the only thing saving us right now. So vigilance up. We're going to cross out with Superior Daisy. Uh, let's go and give him that line. Hopefully we'll have sensor. In there we go. It was this one right here. There we go. There we go. I had the wrong one. Well, at least we started on that guy. We're able to drop one out. That's fantastic. AMS Mark II engaged that. We need to be very, very meticulous about how we've managed that. This guy's super hot. Let's just go in and shut him down. All right, beautiful. So the Kingfisher is out for this turn, and I don't think he's going to last much longer, yeah? That is fantastic, because he does have all the direct line of sight weapons the closest to us right now. And they ain't touching anything. We are on today. All right, King Azekis, let's push it on up. We're going to go ahead and stack up Acid. And, oh, we're too far for it, so send it. Clanny RPPC, Bomb Racks. Go for the eyes, boo. That's right. We gotta, we've got to channel our inner Baldur's Gate. Tiny and fancy. Are we straight? All right, come around. Who are we going to ping here? 65, not close enough. 
up here we should be able to hit him. All right, we're gonna try. High explosive, focus in. Let's go in and lock up some of our other threats here. Sensor impair. And this is gonna be the very first time that we have a full salvo from a brand new setup with a tiny and fancy. We're talking about our brand new ATM-24 with high explosive hitting for 12 damage each and our two ER large lasers. Like a hero in three, two, and one. We got some good things. All right, so he's reducing some of that damage, but we're doing some serious stability damage and the knockdown, fantastic. We got a breach. We tore through over 200 armor right there. That's fantastic. He's basically got half structure on the torso and he's been knocked out. Oh, they've got two Kingfishers. Oh, dear God. Oh, boy. Okay, that was close. I'm surprised he didn't shoot more than that. We got a Warhammer. Oh, a Warhammer 2C. Oh, my God. So here's the thing. I do want to remind you that we do have multiple parts of a Warhammer 2C right now. We may only need two more. So I would love to complete one if that's Bunny even blood. possible. Yeah, Bunny Bludgeon. Uh, we're a little low on... I guess we have to come out into the open. I don't like that at all. Uh, do we do it? But let's stay indirect first, and we're going to drive out that Kingfisher while we've got that opportunity. We'll go straight into the damage side and send. There we go. There it is. There it is. Heck yes. All right, first Kingfisher is down. Fantastic. We've taken out multiple VTOLs. A Kingfisher, he was on the ground, overheated, and didn't really get to do much of anything after firing that very first salvo. That was about it. So overall, not a bad opener for the Bunny Ramen Operation Division, yeah? B-Rod. Oh, heck yes. Keep dodging it, guys. Keep dodging. High explosive dealing 9 points of damage each, even with damage reduction. Without it, it would be a full 12. So we got a Ripper. We're all set. We're going indirect. Let's go in and heat these guys up. We know the Warhammer 2C tends to run a little bit hot. The Summoner, the Kingfisher, all of them are running predominantly energy loadouts. Uh, we'll go in and try and connect with that Kingfisher and potentially just get a little splash on his allies there. It gets 95 heat to the primary and 28 to 17 on the tertiary targets there. Warhammer walking through the fire. And there's that coolant flush. Really, really strong connect with one of the clan or PPCs. We're going to have to pull Higash out of there at any point. Demeek's up. Direwolf, push on forward, yeah? We'll dump out the eyes in this guy. Bomb racks, bomb racks. 89. There's that, there's that breach, there's that. All right, we got another one down. We got one more VTOL at the distance. He's already been peeing just a little bit, but he's a little bit far. All right, let's go in and bring it around with our hybrid carrier. Artemis 4 and extended range. We can hit quite a few of them, 12%. This is direct on 29%. Uh, I mean, gosh, what, what are we even gonna ping here? 16. All right, Cyber's got a sensor lock. Let's go in and lock up that Warhammer 2C. Drop out any evasion that we can. Unfortunately, it looks like those two pips are immune to evasion. Impairment. Just ping whatever we got. I have a feeling this thing is going to come into its own when we've got direct line of sight on our targets. Yeah, so we got to be a little bit ballsy if we want to use it effectively. All right, let's get a little bit higher. Flip it around. Vigilance to keep us safe. I'd like to drop out all the eyes in the sky if possible. 76 on that Warhammer, but gosh, we got to get rid of that stealth, stealth, stealth bomber. Double ping. That is a good salvo. That is a fantastic salvo. Sensor impairment. We got all the follow up with all the missiles. Hold position. And engage. There it is, beautiful. So all the VTOLs are now down. That was at least five VTOLs, two light ones, three heavy ones, and we took out one Kingfisher. A really, really good start. We've got these four. These might be the very last that we need to deal with. So I'm actually gonna pull Higash off the hill. We're gonna force them to come around because it seems like most of them are direct line of sight mechs. Let them walk through the fire if they want to get to us, yeah? That's coming from on high. That's going to be our next target, that Hellhound with the double UAC 2s, all the heavy lasers and SRMs. We are outside of his range right now for those SRMs, so really you can only shoot us with those UACs. Flip it around with the X Adventure, and let's go in and shove him right off that hill, yeah? 23. Really, really good pings. Cool shots. 
What is Clan Cool Shot? I'm wondering if that's any... Is that any different from Mag Shot or no? Avid, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, 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 Raiders. You're joining us right now. We're currently in the middle of our warm-up mission as we get ready to embark on our very, very difficult clan campaign. Hopefully, you're doing well on this lovely, lovely Saturday, yeah? How was your stream today? What were you guys playing? All right, King Isaac gets around. Bring it in. And we're going to go ahead and send Clan Ag 60 and that large laser. Soften him up. Very good to see you, man. And Bunnies, if you haven't checked out Abbott, he has been a long-time friend of the Bunny League. Definitely, definitely, definitely worth your time, yeah? Doing well. We played Talisman Digital Edition, and the game was very cursed today. Weren't you playing that? Yeah, I think you were playing that last stream, too, right? That's the, the board game, right? That's freaking awesome, yeah? Do you like it? Do you feel any differently about it now than you did before, yeah? And ping away. There we go. All the evasion pips are gone. Meaning the next salvo after this should be able to knock him down. We got a ripper to hold. We're going to go straight in. High explosive. And away. Stability damage. 0% chance to fail with enhanced imaging. I play it every other Saturday. And yes, the board game. The game is great. But today's game was just insane bad luck for everybody. Ah, okay. Okay. So it's like multiplayer now? Hey there, low brow. Very good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're having a lovely Saturday, yeah? We ended up just quitting the game because it would have dragged on for way too long. Ooh, really? Kind of like... like. Whenever I think about really, really long drug... Or dragged out? Drug out games? Whenever I think about drugged out games... <laughs> that's, that's not what I mean. Whenever I think about really, really long games, I instantly think of Civilization, yeah? So I can, I can only imagine... Uh, let's see, we got a Warhammer. I mean, I guess we'll just switch over to extended range and just pepper from this side, yeah? Until they get a little bit closer. Happy, happy Saturday, Lobro. Bunnies, if you're just joining us right now, we are currently in our warm-up mission uh, before we head out to more difficult climbs, yeah? Talisman is a game you have to be ready for three hours minimum. It is a super fun game. It was just an extreme case of bad luck. So it was kind of like a stalemate, I would imagine. Maybe the equivalent of like playing checkers and everyone just moves back and forth until eventually uh, someone decides to bite the bullet and take the hit and lose is is my guess. That's what it's sounding like at first blush, yeah? All right, Sun Spider, we are indirect. I mean, sh let's go and brave it. No guts, no glory. We're getting on up. Amul plus one Warlord and plus to the clustering roll and send to breach. UAC 20 is offline on the summoner and the knockdown. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Gonna help us out a lot. The leg is out. And down he goes. Fine, thanks. And I hope you're well, too. Yeah, you get a character card. And you explore a fantasy world as the board. But we all kind of died at least once and had to start over. No, no! <laughs> so I'm guessing... Kind of sounding kind of like a MOBA. You know, you start with a character, something like that. And next thing you know, things get kind of dicey. Yeah? Uh, standard. Let's just go for the other leg and wipe out that summoner. Yeah? I'm off to work, so a small victory, but I will take it. Heck yes, Lowbrow. Well, I hope that you have a wonderful, wonderful day at work, and hopefully it's not going to be too rough on you, yeah? All right, flip it on over. Plus one accuracy, and Crunch Troll is set. Let's go in and work that Warhammer. It is very, very hot already. Dump that in 60 heat. I think he's already used his coolant flush, so as long as he's using, like, a Radical Double Heat Sink Kit or something, it might crit and hurt him, yeah? Oh, I'm off of work. My bad. I'm so sorry. I misread that. Well, welcome back. And I hope I hope that uh, you get to relax now that you're back, yeah? Imagine simplified Dungeons & Dragons where you compete instead of cooperate. That's a short way to describe Talisman. Kind of reminds me, have you ever played... So I have a card game. Um, it's actually Raven's game, but I have a card game. It's the Resident Evil Collecting Cards game. And... In that, you kind of play against each other, where if you threw a grenade or something like that, you might you might hit your allies. You kind of want to hit your allies. I guess they're not really your allies. They're sort of your allies. You're competing against them, basically, yeah? Hero Quest. I hope the rest of your Saturday are better Hero Quest. Uh, what about Heroes Quest? I freaking love... Are you talking about the Sierra Online Heroes Quest slash Quest for Glory? That was a fantastic series, yeah? Time to pastor y piña tacos with rice and beans. Oh my goodness. Heck yes. God, Mexican food is so freaking good, yeah? All right, what do we got here? Warhammer. Warlord up. 
Just hammer away, hammer away, no pun intended. Dump on this guy. There we go. He's got a breach on the left and 26 armor left on the right side. So no matter which direction he turns, he's going to get blasted all the hell. Let's go ahead and get that high ground. And we'll focus in with Demik, Warlord up, and hammer home. Hammer home on the Warhammer. Heck yes, there we go. All right, so last one left. This is the Kingfisher 2, the very second Kingfisher on the field. There it is. The F2, 18 ATMs versus our 24. We're getting into the water here. We'll just go extended range and send highest chance we're going to connect at all. Just drive his stability up there. All right, next turn. So we get to go before him. So let's go in and get kind of aggressive here, yeah? Talisman is a board game that is based on the old... Oh, Heroes Quest board game. Gotta, 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 yeah. You've always wanted a Kingfisher? Well, we just... We're about to defeat our second one in the same mission, Lowbrow. Yes. I don't think I've ever played the Heroes Quest board game then. All right, what do we got here? 76, switch on over, high, standard, turn one off, and go. If we can knock him down, it's game over for him. Yep. As long as he's on the ground, he's going to be moving last, meaning all of our LRMs get to shoot before him. He's not going to have much firepower or even a life left. So we'll just push on forward. We got direct line of sight, especially with 70 clan LRMs, and we'll dump straight into the broken side and hammer away. Okay, this was super, super clean. Granted, this was a half skull red battle, so this was nowhere near as difficult as some of the additional mission difficulty lines that have been dropped in with the latest patch. So this is a really, really good warm-up for us. High explosive, tore off an arm, a lot of launchers gone. Superior Daisy, we got direct line here. Talisman is fun, but the game can take all night. Well, apparently, not only can they take all night, but uh, this one took even longer. <laughs> they had to agree to leave. I guess, there we go. High five bunnies, high five. That should blunt any enthusiasm for further attacks into Hell's Horse's territory. All right, bunnies, total win, total win. Will the bunny league win without any limb losses? That is a resounding yes for sure. Congratulations to those who had the faith. All right, bunnies, so that wasn't a bad start at all. I think that our ATMs could use a little bit of work. I almost feel like the high explosive. We should go like extended range, some extended range instead of standard. And then, of course, our high explosive as well so that we can kind of balance the two extremes because we can really only fit a total of four tons in there. Let's go in and see what we're working with here. Kingfisher is gone. Sure, I'll accept that. I'll accept that. We still have other Kingfisher parts right here, right? We got three more Kingfisher parts. That's insane. We got the Seth Stealth Bomber, Warhammer 2C. I kind of feel like grabbing both of these. And then three, two, and one. Infernal Rockets, Tandem Rockets. We'll get rid of those regular case, engine core, jump jets, fusion engine. And not, not a bad, not a bad lineup there. Let's cross our fingers, though. I'm pretty sure we can put together a full Warhammer 2C if we so choose. So we're well, let's see what we got. Right now, we've got our Warhammer 2C ML, and then we've got our Warhammer 2C2. All right, so I stand corrected. We only had one part, so now we are one part away from our very own Warhammer 2C. We're one part away from our very own Marauder 2. We're one part away from a Kodiak, one part away from an Orca, and one part away from a Highlander 2C. Oh my god, we're at the precipice of greatness. Heck yes. Green, red, purple, or green, purple, red for the skull hierarchy. It goes green, red, pink, and then purple. That's the all the way up to 31 plus. So it goes 1 to 10. So 1 to 10 difficulty is green. And then 11 to 20 is red. And then 21 to 30 is pink. And then 31 plus is purple. In this case, if we take a look at the patch notes right now, so I'll just switch on over, you can see that planetary difficulty, which is the, the option that we're using in this playthrough, now scales up to D20. So that means that our systems could actually spawn all the way up to a full red, five skull red system. So um, right now we're on a three skull red system, but this was we picked up right where we left off since the last... Um, the last stream so it hasn't had the opportunity to repopulate with new missions yet so let's go ahead and move on out i think we've got enough money here where we can actually move to a new system and see what this actually looks like so i'm going to go over to the navigation screen before we do anything uh, we're just going to go ahead and take a look at what's close by 
we've got five skull red. You can see over here that we've got green. We've got a green system. Stratomecti is a three skull red, but it hasn't repopulated since the last patch. And we've got five skull red, four skull red, five skull red. Unfortunately, I cannot use the difficulty filter to, to kind of find the, the red ones. So we just kind of have to click and look. Two and a half doesn't seem too bad, Clan Fire Mandrill. Why don't we go over there and uh, hope for the best? Here we go. We're going over to the Shadow World. 25,000 sea bills, nine days out. Hopefully, it won't be too bad, yeah? No worries, Ed. No worries. I would love a Kodiak. Okay, just quick confession, okay? When I was testing to make sure that the patch installed correctly, I found a Kodiak, got two parts of it, and sold them off. So we could have had a full Kodiak, but... I want to make sure the bunnies are there for that because that's a big moment, yeah? All right, so we're going to keep moving here. Work QMT. We've got one day out. Very, very solid movement. We didn't take the travel contract just in case we don't want to take that specific mission that uh, spawned, yeah? So cross your fingers. Remember, this is a two and a half red skull planet. So let's see what the new difficulty system does. Always good to see you oh, my! <laughs> oh, no! Okay, so Rogue Tech is no freaking joke anymore. <laughs> so here's the thing. Here's the thing. I just want to remind you, bunnies. You remember that super heavy mission that we did with eight super heavies in it? It was a one and a half Red Skull mission. <laughs> so we have... Oh, no. This is not good. All right, so what's the lowest we can do? One and a half Skull High Tonnage Jade Falcon Lance. That sounds like suicide. Uh, 2, 9, 2, 11, 6, 34. You know what? 1 million. Oh, this is 2.219 million. This is with the new difficulty setup. 2, pick 9. We've got a million sea bills to cover our drop cost and a little bit of a repairs if things don't get too bad. We got King Azicus at range. Um, X Adventurer, Tiny and Fancy. I mean, I, I, we'll, we'll, we'll try the same setup here and see how it goes. 755. We can probably bring in a little bit more if we do this we're over so that's not really going to work unless we drop tonnage elsewhere like instead of the king azicus we bring like a 70 tonner and then bring a mortar carrier as well so we'll go in with the same grouping here one and a half red skull battle in the tundra it's our very first over two million siebel potential payout mission so a little bit worried about that but five minutes on the clock for a limb loss setup here we're against jade falcon they're known to be kind of the steiner of the clan world bringing all the big boys to the yard yeah Enemies detected in the area, Commander. Intel reports that Clan Jade Falcon sent a pretty serious lance of mechs. Also, keep an eye out for harassing units from the locals. Wait, the locals are helping them too? Dear God, what are we up against here? Well, I don't want to be right here because they can drop all around us. Can we be farther out? I want to be somewhere else. Is it going to let us? Uh, we can be... I guess here is better than anywhere else. All right, we're going to start down below. They're going to have the high ground, but at least we're going to have indirect positions set it up and do it here we go cross your fingers we're gonna be okay they're not gonna be right on top of us it's 2.2 million plus on the potential payout and we only get to pick nine on this they've already got at least 15 mechs or opt for on the field they got a cl oh my god oh oh my oh my god wait what holy jesus atlas dc bane and i oh no Oh no, we're in trouble. Holy crap, what have we done? Wait, Rifleman 2C on high ground. Oh god! Forest help for defense. This is gonna hurt, right? I thought we were indirect here, but we're all in direct line of sight of all of these atlases and things like that on the high ground. They got a- Oh, they have a Matar! <laughs> they have a super heavy! Wait, they've got- a Okay, so they've got a Stormcrow, they've got an Atlas, they've got a Naga, they've got a Sorcerer, they've got a Bane, they've got an Annihilator, they've got a Rifleman 2C, they've got a Demolisher Mark III, here come Double Arrow 4 straight from the back, before we're even allowed to move. I want my mom, right, T-Crow, right? Well, hopefully, hopefully we're gonna be able to keep up here. Uh, we may have bitten off more than we can chew. Let's go and get our Sun Spider- What a Oh my god! Clan Mortar Carrier, Clan LRM Carrier, Clan LRM Carrier, Clan Demolisher Mark III, Alicor- oh! <laughs> They have their own Hag 40 and two Clan Gauss Rifles on 1v. Holy crap, wait, 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 let's count. Count for a second. We got five, 10, 15. All right, we got 15. All assaults are above and all of them have heavy, heavy direct line of sight firepower. All right, this is fine. Hey there, Alexis. very good to see you. 
everything's going well on this very first of the new difficulty. Okay, um, thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. I almost feel like we should start falling back, maybe getting in the corner right here, keep our front towards all of these direct line of sight, long range, firepower, mechs, and then try and work our way into the Alicorn a little bit. We need to drop that Hag 40 out of battle. So we'll just go ahead and pull it on back like so. Sun Spider away. We're going to go ahead and armor plus one accuracy on the Warlord. Hopefully he doesn't have spawn protection yet. He does, doesn't seem to have spawn protection. Dump straight into the back, full value for each. Can only imagine a pink fight, right? Right? I don't even know what that would be like. Take out the Vs first. You've got it, Antonides. Burn the forest around them so their accuracy drops and give them more heat. That sounds like the right plan, definitely. We just got to survive, survive this very first salvo because you can see a lot of them are hitting us before we're even allowed to move. Stray shots and everything are still connecting with the bunnies in the arms, in the legs, in the back. And right now, our backs are facing the entire fusillade of fire coming from Clan Jade Falcon on the high ground. And they got that Matar back there with a rip. Oh, is this... Wait. Doesn't that Matar have a railgun? <laughs> Wait, doesn't it have a railgun? Oh, no. Oh, no. Call reinforcements. All the mechs you left on their base. I think this thing... I think this is a railgun. I'm pretty sure this is a railgun. A spinal mounted ra Oh, they've got two! They've got a stone rhino and a matar and an annihilator and a bane all on high ground. This is a missile bane with... Oh my god! Clan LRM 120 bane. <laughs> Man, who let this guy choose the missions, right? Okay, this is this is okay. We we, we we need to drop what we can. We've got that Alicorn with serious, serious firepower sensor lock. We can't do it on the first turn. Standard ER large lasers. 33% and go. Stack her up, stack her up. Just just work it, work it, work it to the back. We gotta drop that out. He's only got 50 structure in the back. This may be the end for the bunny ramen operations. We only get two pick out of this, so rear attacks everywhere are stuck. Oh my god, our spawn protection is saving our butts literally here, yeah? It feels as if you landed in an invasion point. Clan Jade Falcon of the Oh, they've got an executioner. We got more than 15 on the table right now. Oh my god! He has a hag as well. Oh, holy Jesus. Stone Rhino is cool too. I will take anything. I will take anything. I just want to survive. Just let us survive. All right, Exit Adventure. We got to pull away as quickly as possible. We're switching over to Inferno. We want to go in and burn up the high ground here to the Matar 29. Warlord up plus one accuracy. And away she goes. 32. Burn him out. Burn him out. All these mechs for only two pick, right? All access? This is the new difficulty system in Rogue Tech that can roll all the way up to 20 skulls. That's five red skulls, yeah? All right, here we go. Lumina, Lumina, Lumina. Uh, we were shooting at a Matar just then, yeah? Which era do you have installed? Everything. We have all of the above. <laughs> and oh, wait, come on. Dump out the Alicorn. There it is. 1v down. That's a Hag 40 and two Clan Gauss rifles off the field. That's going to be huge for us, yeah? I don't know if there's enough salvage on the table to make 12 new mechs. Oh, God. Are these WX or what is this? They might be WX. He did not fire on that turn and he's pulling away. So we might not have the range. Um, what is this? Is this a clan? It, does the C stand for clan for that Atlas? Straight to the back. Oh, no. Oh, my God. They've got tandem shot straight to the back of a squishy Naga. Oh, what have we done? Annihilator's up. Oh no! One down, more to go! Oh, what have we done? Do we need to withdraw already? This is starting to feel like a super heavy mission. This is the one and a half? Hey there, tank! Good to see you! Uh... Maybe a everyone tank? I don't know. It's probably an atlas with clan tech. So, tank, if you're joining us right now, we are just testing out the brand new difficulty settings for Rogue Tech, and uh, they're something. They're definitely something. Are we bunny bludgeoned away? I see Crunch may be dead. Uh, I sure hope not. All right, Artemis 4 away. Artemis 4. Stack up, stack up. We got to hit something reliably. Warlord up, plus one accuracy, plus the clustering. We've got the knock, and we need to drop out those arrows off the field. You know he's soft because we know ours is soft. And the clan arrow four is off, and he is potentially down. There we go. I should have wagered more carrots. Oh, my God. Especially in a limb loss bed of all. Oh, yep. If they're focusing our Naga, he's dead. 
He's absolutely 100% dead. There is no way that we can survive this. Yeah. Yep. It's one and a half red. It's one and a half red. The same exact difficulty scale as the eight super heavy mission that we took on at the beginning of the last stream. All right. What do we got? We've got the Naga. We don't have the line on that. Sorcerer, the Timberwolf, 91. Uh, we've got an Atlas out in the open. Can we connect with that? It's got the UAC 20. 61 on the Bane. How much armor does this have? It has a lot of armor for Clan LRM 120. Is the enemy Naga Arrow 4? All the all the Nagas are Arrow 4. Yeah, double. It's the same as ours for sure, but we can't shoot at it with this. Let's go in and ping. I mean, I snub those PPCs. Timberwolf. Gosh, I don't know what to shoot at right now. I mean, I guess Stormcrow with Clan Ag 20. Adsent. Naga will be the sacrificial lap. No kidding. I think this bet is off the table already, huh? Update the mess hall menu to include triple F burgers. We're gonna lose a lot on this fight. All the Nagas are arrow, yeah. Arrow 28. <laughs> I sure hope not arrow 28. That seems like really, really bad. All right, there's Stone Rhino. Stone Rhino just let loose. Our AMS Mark II is keeping the Naga intact for one turn. We just need to survive the one turn, please. We need it to get out. I, I, do we eject or what? We lose a lot of tech if we eject. We might, but this may be our last mission with this Nagaya. Yeah? Do we get a participation award for showing up this sort? I mean, if we do withdraw, we might get one part. That is something that we could do. We could try to withdraw and survive five turns and get on out with our, our yeah. You'd get out. Well, let's go in and start a withdrawal. We'll do a withdrawal. That means we have to survive for five turns, five turns. All right, Ripper, just tuck it back. Inferno Indirect, uh, 39 here. Let's go in and enable Enhanced Imaging. Uh, we can ping the Bane. Matar probably has a real... B what is a BFG 9000? <laughs> Wait, what's a BFG 9000? There's not going to be enough. It'll be shiny. Uh, let's see. And they've got UAC 10s. That's fine. Annihilator has Heavy Rack 2 times 8. Okay. Um, what if heavy PPCs, Bane has all of the above. All right, what about the Inferno's 46 here? Why are you facing a super heavy? Because it's a red mission. This is the new Rogue Tech difficulty tank. You said it was too easy last time. We decided to take a one and a half skull. 46. I mean, I guess we could hit this. When does he get to go? He gets to go at initiative 26. That is so soon. Maybe we should knock this guy down instead. So we're going to go heat up front and send. Not a railgun, but still does 250 plus damage. Oh, dear God. All right, so hopefully this Naga is not going to be able to shoot anything off. He was at initiative 26. That's going to bump him on down, yeah? 16 up. BFG is a couple hundred point direct damage. Oh, dear God. All right, what do we have here? Atlas. Uh, the Rifleman 2C. UAC 5's up high. All right, we got a focus fire. Focus fire. So we started on the Storm Crow. Let's go in and drop that guy out. Hit him. An AC-40? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. And I, I'm guessing it's ranged, right? I'm assuming it's not something that's just like a, a, a simple... Like, like it can shoot from far away. All right, straight in, straight in. We can tank that once at the cost of a mech. All right, there we go. Two are out. We got two out right now. That's two Arrow Force off the field. We have a Hag 40 and two Clan Gauss Rifles off the field. We're hoping to get this Hag 20 plus all of the lasers off the field as well. King Azakis is going to line this up and hopefully drop out that Stormcrow. We're going to keep him straight to the front. Vigilance up. And we'll send it right to the Stormcrow. And away. Drop him out. All right, we got a breach. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough, but he's definitely, definitely quaking in his boots right now. If you kill a few and withdraw, you get a bit of salvage. I think it depends. I think it depends. I think it depends entirely on what you do with the objectives. If you've got good faith attempt and you can wipe out the main objective, but you still had to withdraw, I think then you get salvage. But otherwise, I think you get zero C bills, zero picks. So we might be going out with absolutely nothing but a giant repair bill. I don't really know. Yeah. Hey, Kung Fu Hippie. Very good to see you. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, there's a breach. We got a breach. Oh, my God. Nice to see you. Hopefully you're doing well on this lovely Saturday. All right, Crunch. Hang in there, buddy. So so what initiative phase does he move out again? Or is he on his back? He's at initiative 21. Oh, dear God. Everyone. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Was that a variable speed pulse laser? 
All right, we get we have to survive one more, one more. Pizza arrived. Heck yes, Superior. High five, buddy. Hopefully, you're gonna have a, a good meal today. Come on, come on, come on. Timber Wolf, probably missiles to the crunch. Notes to the Dire Wolf. We might still have a chance here. We have to make it to initiative phase 21. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Like a week ago with a however many super heavy training machine got some salvage. That was true, but we actually took out a couple of super heavies as well, which I think were part of the main target. Let's see what we got here and we'll just try and drop out this storm crow with a set. You lose the head only. It is true. You do. You'll get a random piece if you destroy one full lance unit. As much as possible, I'd like to avoid losing anything. Superior and Engage, they've got another on 22. Uh, who who's moving at 22 that's what i want to know if there's anyone moving at 22 the sorcerer is on 22 18 25 26 24 so we can start working the sorcerer we'll push superior daisy forward we're trying to kind of coax their fire towards us um oh man i, I can't hit this guy direct so we're gonna have to Kind of soften things up a little bit we've got our alice at 39 we got the timber wolf all right so the timber wolf it is oh well we'll take whatever targets we can you can just click the chevron to the top two. Oh, very good point ed very very good point we've got a v okay they're yeah they're gonna knock the naga down the sorcerer and then one either the executioner or a night star oh dear god wow all right tiny and fancy for the tiny and fancy all right all out I'm in danger. That's right. We really are. I thought it was an assassination. You missed the main target. I could very well be mistaken. You were correct. It was, it was a, um, it absolutely was an assassination target on that eight super heavy mission. 33, we're overheating. This is our new ATM 12 setup. I mean, I guess this is a little, well, I guess we go for a breach, huh? We'll just drop out two and send standard. We'll go in and lock up. I'm going to try and lock up the sorcerer just so that we can make it harder for him to hit us and then we're going to go ahead and send at the our brand new atm 24 yeah how many tons did they bring what red skull rating is this this is one and a half red skulls one and a half red skulls low brow all right we tore off half of the timber wolf but now they get four mechs and or three v's and one sorcerer that can all hit the naga and the naga is about to fall down so we might we haven't even had the opportunity to let crunch leave yet Oh, God. Yep, he's going to be on the ground, and then there's going to be two more Vs. Okay, cross your fingers for Crunch. What is in the head? I know it's our only FCS indirect. It is, yeah. All right, this is okay. We, we, we will try to eject if we can. Oh, yep. Oh, come on, 119. Come on, cover, cover, cover. Still alive? They got a clan annihilate. Yep, they do. Yes, they do. That's the clan LRM carrier of one of two. And then we got another one. All right, Sorcerer's up on 22, direct line of sight, no shots. And I know they've got another clan LRM carrier as well. Oh, no, no, it was a storm crow. Holy crap. Wow, that hurt. We got eight armor left in the back here. And then it goes to 21 because we lost our only initiative level 21 mech on the ground. He got bumped down to 14. Ooh, Nelly. Oh, wow. All right, 41 left on this side. 20 mechs or vehicles averaging 80 tons at least from what I see. Yes. And some of them are in super heavy territory. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What was that? What just hit us? Holy crap. It just flushed our heat entirely. Who just shot that? That was on 21, right? It was the Annihilator? Or the Annihilator's moving now? Oh, my... Oh, Jesus. All right. Will the Bunny League win without any limb losses? That is a no. Cross your fingers for Crunch Troll. We just lost our double arrow for Naga. And we have to last four more rounds of this, and we are super slow. I estimated two to three super heavies and rest are 80 to 100 tons. They've been reading our tactical doctrine. I call crunches flip. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? Who are we going to nail? We've got shots to the back of the sorcerer. Definitely going to take it here. I mean, we could heat this up. I mean, I suppose we really need to heat up the Omega and the Stone Rhino. Atlas. Oh, they've got... Oh, they have more? Wait, they, they hid some? Okay, so how many are dealing with now? We took out three. We've got one, two, three, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. We had 20 mechs and Vs on the field, and they've got an Omega, and they've also got an Atlas too. They're super heavies. Yeah. The Omega, I think, this one right here, I think is a super heavy. The one with the BFG 9000. The Stone Rhino, I think, is just an assault, but this one is assault plus, basically. Okay, so what do we got? We got a Ripper. I mean, I like to heat up the rest. Uh, maybe tag the Annihilator. Maybe tag the 46 Enhanced Imaging on on the Bane. If we work the Bane, we could pop that up, yeah? We could pop this. He's got a lot of ammunition. Heat him up, heat him up. There we go. Nice, nice. Stone Rhino is super... Oh, really? I thought it was 100 tons. My bad. I saw this as a Matar earlier, but this is SHP. Yeah, this is SHP. I'm assuming that's super heavy prototype or something. Was the danger in the mission description? No, it did not It did not say danger in the mission description. From now on, we now have higher difficulty ratings, so they're going to dump out super heavies more regularly, yeah? Oh, we're out of AMS ammunition. This could get bad really, really quickly. We have the last four more rounds. 19, and then we've got three after this. Oh boy. Aren't the Matar and Stone Rhino the same thing? Uh, well, I guess in this case, one of them is a super heavy and the other is... Can't take much more of this. The other is a hundred tonner, yeah? Bunny bludgeon. Okay, we've got shots to the back and we could run hot. We got green. Should we give HB some packets for arranging the... <laughs> Artemis 4. All right, Annie. All right, Annie. Add send. Dump into the back. Dump into the back. Come on, tear that off. Tear that off. There we go. All right, one sorcerer off. So we've defeated four at this time. The Matar is 110. Ah, okay. It's not too bad. I'm actually really worried about the Bane. That is Clan LRM 120. They've got our Atlas DC. They've got an Atlas 2 on the field way at the back. I'm not too worried about the Atlas 2 at the moment. We are almost all out of AMS ammunition. Burn through multiple tons. Only one of us has three tons of AMS ammunition. Everyone else burned through like 200. Our right side's looking bad. We'll have to give them our left. So we'll walk it up. Or actually, we'll, we'll walk over to the side. Um, I guess we'll hit the Timberwolf. We'll give them our left side on blue. Which variant they got? Ah, uh, this one. It has two UAC-10s, two... Oh my gosh, go away. Oh, actually, it probably has four UAC-10s, four ER medium lasers, I think, and a couple of machine guns. Oh, let's see what we got. Timberwolf into the damage side and drop his gun off the field. Let's go. Come on, hit that. 83, 70, 64, 61, 48. And there's the breach. We got the breach. We got the breach. Beautiful. And the Rhino is the clan version of the failed Matar prototype. Failed? It does not look very failed to me. The thing is a beast. This is at initiative 24 on the next turn. All right, carrier, carrier, carrier. Well, let's push it on forward. We got a carrier. Standard. We'll use this to dump this out. Straight to core. Before the carrier gets taken out. All right, so we took five off the field. One star is gone. From there, four ER medium lasers combined to make a solid and well-rounded configuration. Four LRM... Oh, it has LRMs as well? Serious, I didn't even notice. I don't think... Ah, oh, yeah, actually it might... I think you're right. I didn't even see that. Oh, hello. Did that go through? I saw orange there, unless it hit our carrier in the turret or something like that. The Stone Rhino isn't filled, but the Matar is. Well, I mean, I guess the Matar, if it's that super heavy... Jingao? What's the Jingao? Wait, which one was that? I'm liking that we're getting more sensor information here. The Jingao. Oh, I want to see that. Atlas 2, that's at the distance. This is the Annihilator... Rifleman 2C. The, ah, the Bane. No, 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 that's not the Bane. What is that? The Jingao. What is this? Five energy hard points? I don't remember seeing that one. That just appeared out of nowhere. I want to see that a little closer. What do we got? It is a... Oh! Oh, it's a grass... Oh, no, 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 that's a grasshopper. The... No? What are we looking at? Oh, here we are, here we are. Jingao. Looks kind of like an Ebon Jaguar, yeah? It's a Capellan design. How odd. It looks a little bit like an Ebon Jaguar. That's kind of the heavy armor, 935, yeah? A little bit light for it. Let's go in and push up with King Az because we need him to tank if possible. Vigilance. Oh, we'll hold off on Vigilance. Who are we going to nail here? Atlas. All right, we'll stack up on the Atlas here. 
Stack him and send. Stack acid. And pain. The Capellan design. Head hit. We got... Oh my god, he's got nine injuries left. Annie with a heavy rack twos. That has four ER medium lasers, one medium pulse, and one gauss rifle. Oh, we're going... <laughs> there goes HB. All right, carriers out. Carriers out. We still have to last three more rounds. Three more rounds. All right, Sun Spider, we still have sort of decent armor. And we could try and drop into the... How about the LRM carrier? Yeah, we might have to nail that LRM carrier soon. Let's go ahead and do it. Hit him. 22. Typhon. All right, I'm going to start with Typhon and follow up with Artemis 4. Here we go. Stack Acid and hit him. Stack it, stack it, stack it. Full value. God, he's got so much in the front. With help from the Word of Blank. In other words, the Stone Rhino feels like a super boosted stalker at 100 tons with clan equipment. Oh my god. <laughs> this was supposed to be a relaxing Saturday. <laughs> this is not relaxing. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go, here we go. Stability damage. I mean, here we go. ER large and ping. ATMs, standard. All, all any of them have to do is just stand there. Oh, God. BFG 9000. Oh! Okay, that's... That's gonna be expensive. Wow, we just lost half our dire wolf. That's like everything. Hey there, Greybeard. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Is that a bunny man I see? Absolutely. Oh my god. Yeah, this is this the end of our career? <laughs> Hopefully having a lovely Saturday. As you can see, we're testing out the new difficulty rating for Rogue Tech, yeah? Could I vote for a restart? If you want to, but most of the bunnies are all about playing things through, yeah? Oh my god. Oh Jesus. Are we gonna? Yep, yep. Oh boy. Holy crap. And down it goes. Okay, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna lose this dire wolf. As long as it's on the ground, they've got, you know, at least 16 plus more super heavies and heavies and assaults up on high ground with direct line of sight of it. Yeah, we're all gonna die, right? Just look at it as free mech base. Eject when near it. Yeah, if we. Oh my god. What just hit us? That was all tandem, wasn't it? Was that the... Not the Rifleman? The Jing... No, not the Jingao. That looked like it was coming from that direction. I'm not too sure, yeah? Right? Well, we have another Dire Wolf, but it's very possible that could go up in flames quite literally. And you know what's kind of crazy is that this Dire Wolf is the one with the Feral Lamellar armor on it. And the Feral Lamellar armor is all about making sure that they cannot just get through crits or through damage. In this case... Ooh. It doesn't really matter, does it? ERPPC. So who, who can we tag here? We're going to have to shut one ERPPC down. 52, 30. I mean, we could ping the Bane. That thing is Clan LRM 120. We're all out of AMS ammunition. We've got the best chance of hitting this guy. He's probably low on armor here. Clan LRM carrier. Oh, still have a little bit. Or Sun Spider. Who's up next? We've got two on 21. Oh my god, the Jingawa's initiative 30. That's insane. Oh, 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 we got a breach in the middle. It's over. It's over. I think we're about to lose this dire wolf. I don't know if we're gonna have enough money to put that dire wolf back together, so we might be down a dire wolf for the rest. Yep. There it goes. Dire wolf just lost everything in the middle. AMS Mark II destroyed, optics destroyed. That thing is gone. Well, we can only eject if we can survive a full another round. That's not going to happen. I can guarantee it. So we cannot eject here, yeah? I think you bit off more than you can gum. We'll see. Probably. We're trying to withdraw right now, but it's going to be a little bit rough. Bane, Artemis 4, my kingdom for laser AMS. The thing about laser AMS is that it's only really viable for so long. Well, we tore off at least 60 LRMs. That's something on the Bane, yeah? All right, we go. All axis and cycle. We kind of gave up on taking out the LRM carriers. We're just going to go ahead and try and burn this out. Long Tom. Okay. <laughs> it has such a wide array of coverage there. Night Star inbound. Oh, thank God. Superior, you are still alive so far. You are still alive. 
at least for now. This is definitely where I think I'm a little torn. Like having something like the back starter on the field to be really useful to take down the Vs that are right behind us so that we're not taking all of that LRM fire. The biggest problem, obviously, is anyone even pings it once, the whole back starter goes up, yeah? Yes, so far, so far. We still have two more full rounds to survive. And you gotta remember they've got the BFG 9000 on high ground with direct line of sight to us and they burned away all of our cover, so... A single hit could it completely annihilate a mech every single turn. Yeah, it's a scary battlefield for sure. We've done pretty well, though, so far. We've taken out at least five and half of a Bane right now. So props to the bunnies, but it may not be enough with the Omega with a BFG 9000 shot again. Oh, 184 points of damage with a connect. Full breach right in the middle. All right, Sun Spider, Vigilance, clear the stability damage. Amiel barely survived. We're going to go in and flip it around. I mean, what do we have in the top here? It's FCS Advanced TC Sensor Tracker. All right, Amiel is out. Amiel's out. Amiel's out. Annihilator up. We actually had the opportunity to eject on that one. Oh, that's Superior Daisy. Oh my god. All right, Superior Vigilance to clear the stability damage. Let's go ahead and pull this around. What do we got? We got the Clan Demolisher. We got the Clan Mortar Carrier. We got the Clan LRM Carrier. Let's go ahead and pull it back a little bit. I want to drop out that Clan LRM Carrier if possible. ERPPC and send. That'll do. You need 8 times 90 plus tonners. That would be nice. Bunny Bludgeon. Oh, please don't lose the Evasion Pips. Come on, give us a chance here, Annie. A gosh on the tiny and fancy. All right, we got someone's back here with the Atlas. Interesting choice of deployment. Let's see, tiny and fancy is going to get wrecked. Let's pull it back. Roger that. 39 and send. We got a breach. Got a breach. Heck yes. All right, we tore off more weapons from an Atlas. Fantastic. But oh, dear God. God, if we get that Omega every turn, it tears off something from a mech. God, I wish, I wish we had that thing. That thing's terrifying. Resistance is futile. They are the Borg. All right, Chronic. So far, they haven't been shooting at Chronic, which is actually, I guess, a good thing. I mean, to be fair, oh God, oh Superior. To be fair, if they were shooting at Chronic, gosh, actually, now that I think about it, they shoot anyone. That BFG 9000 hits for 184 points of damage at range, so it doesn't really matter. That's even with damage reduction, yeah? No one shoots at Chronic. Oh my god! Oh no! Oh, we lost our only AM AMS double bin. We may have to go down to green again. Oh god, I think we have to go down to green. We have two rounds still. I'm taking heavy hits, Commander. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. To be fair, the bunnies were hoping for this, I'm sure. Let's go in and dump out the back. We're switching over to listen kill. We'll dump out the large pulse and send the hags. That'll do it. That'll do it. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. There we go. There we go. Mortar carrier. So we can't stop this. Can't, you can't even intercept that. Oh, there goes the arm. Oh, and there goes the leg. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is gone too. Oh man, are we going to be back down to four mechs? We might be back down to four mechs. Welcome back to the bad and primitive. Yeah. Night Star away. Oh boy. Yeah, BFG 9000 will definitely connect. And he's at 23. We have to wait all the way to the next turn. All right, Bunny Bludgeon. I mean, we'll back up. Here we go. Back up. Warlord. Who are we going to tag here? We've got EMP. We could try to stop the BFG 9000 on the Omega. We're, we're going to try and stack up EMP and make that thing miss. So here we go. This has not fired yet, and Superior Daisy's on the ground. So we've just stacked him up with as much mag pulse as possible. Oh, 1610. 19. All right. 19 is that is that the bfg no it's the bane with 60 60 lrms we got all access in the ripper we're gonna hold this position 
and we're gonna dump on the Omega. 52. Give him the heat. All right, he's a little bit hot. Perfect, then hold, hold, hold. We have to last one more round, one more round after this. All right, Atlas back online. He's got a single medium laser. Not too worried about this guy. Hopefully he takes burn damage on the butt or something, yeah? And he's panicking. And the backup, Grasshopper inbound. Two Bombast lasers. Oh boy. Bombast lasers are bad. 17 on Superior Daisy. And we're at 28, right? All right, Jingao. The Jingao's kind of crazy. Oh my god, the Jingao's kind of crazy. That thing had an initiative level 30 on the previous one, yeah? Thanks, Cyber. But I'm going to be laid up taking Bubba for all his paychecks while recovering in the med bay. Oh my, hey there, Amuel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, jeez. Yep, oh, jeez. There we go. All right, Superior's out. Was that? Oh, that was a Rifleman. Big. Oh, my goodness. That kid, that was a BFG 9000. He just missed. So stacking up the Mag Pulse really helped us out here, yeah? Annihilator Heavy Racks. Oh, my God. Two armor left. We have to last one more round. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What do we got here? Executioner. Yeah, there goes that half. Critical hit. The pilot is dead, melted. Who thought this mission would be a good idea? Well, I will I will take full responsibility for it, okay? Clan riflemen are terrifying. Yeah, this one's riflemen too. Jingao, riflemen too. We've got the grasshopper. And we could pop out the Atlas. I don't think we're gonna get through the front of the Matar. The executioner we can hit reliably. But We'll do our best here. All right, Hegage. I'm going to sensor repair the Omega. On. And we'll go ahead and ping to the Executioner, yeah? Rifleman 2C to the Atlas, to the Matar. Jingao, hold. Not the Annie. But, ah, the Night Star. Should we hit the Annie? I mean, in theory, the Annie shouldn't have too much armor. Let's go in and work. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to hit that Bane, yeah? We could wipe out the Bane. 39 were too far for that. So we'll hit the Annie instead, yeah? It was Darius he convinced HB. He told them there was a cache of flavor packets to be had in the area. Set up a vote for restart to see if the RNG can get more kind. Ah, uh, Yeah, minor opposition. You're facing an Annie and a Night Star. You don't sound... <laughs> we're also facing an Omega. And we're also facing a Stone Rhino. And we're facing a whole bunch of assaults all on the high ground. And we've lost maybe like three mechs already. So we'll see. I think the big thing is, on the last stream, we were taking on, like, four skull difficulty uh, clan missions, and the bunny said, this is too easy for you. So, we ended up bumping it up a little bit. If I'm dead, all right. Now this is getting interesting. Right, Stick? Say, so, hey, gosh, that's gonna pop. There goes the right. All right, so that one's out. So what do we have left here? We have three. One round, are we gonna survive? I don't know if we'll make it the one round. We've got the bunny bludgeon. Do we only have the three? We only have three left. We, have <laughs> we only have three left. Ah, oh, all right, this is fair. For bunny bludgeon, yeah, 118. All they gotta do is hit it once with the BFG 9000. Already injured here, yeah? Bane on the back. We don't have the funds to rebuild. No, we probably don't. We probably don't. But we'll, we'll, we'll see what we got, yeah? Alright, what do we have now? Atlas 2. So far, still barely hanging in there. We could lose the bunny bludgeon. We could. So far, they haven't really been hitting our King Azekis yet. So we might be left with a King Azekis. Does this mission have a turn limit? No, not at all, Stick. Although one round we can get out. King Azekis. King Azekis. All right, walk it up. Order acknowledged. And we're going to go ahead and connect, I mean, with the Annie or the Bane. We'll try and ping the Bane. Uh, not the Bane. Try and ping the Annie. Or I guess we could just drive out the Atlas. Annie has how much in the front? 205. Yeah, that's too much. Let's go in and just drive out the Atlas. Drive out the Atlas and send. Copy there. Hey there, Amiel. Thank you so much for the resub for five months. I really appreciate it. Yeah. There we go. Atlas out. 
So we dumped out one, two, and three. Four, five, and six. We dumped out six so far, yeah? Our Ripper. Long Tom Artillery. If we have to hit anybody, I mean, I, any Rifleman, Jingao's gonna get to go first. So what if we hit them with fire first? So on the next turn, maybe we'll have the chance to withdraw. Or we can ping the Bane again, just although that's a, maybe a little bit greedy. 39. We'll go for... Can we go direct? Are we close enough for direct? 52. Sure. 36. We're gonna go for that Rifleman and hope to sort of loop it in Fire. behind it, yeah? Nice hits. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm here. The downside. They gone out like four to five. No, absolutely. All right. Sidle it on over with Annie. Away. ECM. 10%. Ooh, that's really rough. We can go Artemis 4. We get one more salvo here. He's unsteady, 52. And send. I've been trying to lose weight, but this is a bit much, right, Kramer? <laughs> there we go. Stack that up. Sumir is overhead. If you don't withdraw in this round, she will retreat. So we have to wait until it's our turn again. So we're at initiative what? Initiative 17, 21, and 18. So we have to wait till initiative 21 before we can withdraw. 21 before we can withdraw. Jingao up 28. 109, 101. Rifleman's back. So now they're focusing Chronic. 26, we got 25. I'm not too sure how many are before initiative 21. 25 and 24. The Matar? Oh my god! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> Holy crap! Keep the flag up. Yeah, we, 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 gotta, we gotta survive this. King Crab's gotta stay up. Alright. Annie may be down. 24, we got 23. On 23, on 23. Executioner. Shot to Ripper, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine. Then 20, oh my god, they've got two more before 21. We have two more. Hey, Chappie, very good to see you, welcome. You wanna have the Annie? I would love an Annie as well. And then they got one more, one more. Ah, uh, I guess, friend, thank you so much for the redemption, I really appreciate it. All right, Annie's down. Thank you so much for the redemption of the Neuro Helmet 2.0. I really appreciate it. If you're joining us right now, it's looking pretty dire for the Bunny Ramen Operations Group, yeah? Damn it. And this allows us to withdraw right now. Oh my god. <laughs> that was unfortunate. Those Jade Falcon mechs were out for blood. All right. Oh, oh, that was so bad. All right, cross your fingers to see what we are left with. Minus 1.5 million. Injured. Injured. Survive. Survive. Uninjured. Injured. 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 Everyone's alive. <laughs> Everyone's alive. Holy crap. Everyone lives. Oh, that's amazing. All right. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, holy crap. Wow. We lost so much though. We got no salvage, no payout. Ooh. LRMs were like, hey, you want some vibes? Because you're about to get a whole lot of them. Hey, Parody Bit. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. And he started a hype train. I really appreciate it. But what about our wallet? Yeah, our, our wallet is going to be so bad. We've lost so much tech that took many weeks to get again. Yeah. Uh, we'll see what we can do. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to, to get out. Huzzah! We live, but we're broke. Oh, we are always broke. I mean, we're going to have to go down to a green. And even greens are going to be pretty tough. Yeah. We, we may have to be farming for a long time to get back from this one. I know we had a lot of clan LRMs, but I'm not too sure what we're left with, yeah? As the Necromancer said, it's not hard raising a family, especially when they're buried in the same crypt. Oh my god, 3.3... 3.3 million on the repairs, dear god. 4-1. How far are we gonna get out, yeah? At least order one of them to commit debt seppuku. <laughs> Thank you so much, Tank. I really appreciate it. Thank you very, very much, yeah? Place the vote? What vote? Oh, you mean... Wait, what, what vote do you want to place? My finger was hovering over the button to call Illumina to hunt you down. Oh my, we play the game to play the game. We now have to play the game more. Harm me more, please. All right. Well, let's take a look at the mech bay. We do need to start some repairs on what we can repair. And for those that we cannot, we'll just hold off. Yeah. Uh, Sun Spider. This is the one that we ejected. What do we need to repair here? 
just ahead. We lost the advanced optics. We do have advanced optics mark two, though. Here we go. We've got a two set, although we do need to repair everything else first before we can even do that. Let's bring this on up, although I guess this is 65 on the back and 70. Let's go maximum armor. We'll bring this down to 65, like so, and bring this down to 70 total. Bring the arms up. There it is. And the arms up again. And then I'm going to bring this up to 150 and we see where we stand, yeah? I don't think we have replacements for what's in the head. We just have the basic FCS Advanced TC. There we go. We'll get that in. Slick Suite. Oh, we might have a backup Slick Suite. Oh, no, we don't. We do have Sensors Tracker, though, which is even better, in my opinion. We'll go ahead and toss that in there, yeah? Remember the Exchanger? Ah, thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. We don't have the Clan one. We can use the Plus Plus. And that's actually looking not too bad. Slick Suite. We had Sensors Tracker already. We don't have the Slick Suite. Gunnery Support. Calm Suite. I mean, I'll go for the Calm Suite there, yeah? You lost the starting spot placement jackpot. You had another problem there in the mission, too. Oh, yeah, we were we were right there, yeah. Here's my contribution to the rebuild. <laughs> Parody, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. High five, buddy. Welcome. All right. I think this is good. 0.23. Uh, is there anything? Oh. We just need this in the front. There we go. 0.007. That's actually not too bad. We'll just pull this out, get the exchanger back in. And there we go. Nine days out in the dismount slab. Thank you so much. Thank you. There we go. Life support destroyed. This is all good. 200,000. That's not too bad. We're able to save it. It's the only one we're able to eject, though. Everything else is completely toast. The tiny and fancy got cored out. So I'm not feeling too optimistic about this one. What do we got? Repair. Yep. Actually, since it's an Omnimech, that's actually not too bad since it's an Omnimech. Let's just hold for a second, yeah? 297. Maybe rebuild the dueling mechs first and grind duels for money. Well, I don't know if we're going to have duels up in clan territory, right? It's very possible that we, we won't, yeah? At least the X-Adventure is an Omni as well. I'm just kind of taking a look at what it is that we can repair rather efficiently. And we'll go from there. FCS Indirect, we don't have another one, so we lost that for good. Patchwork Materials some ammunition we overall didn't lose too much let's just go in and max up we're gonna look at 58 in the back we'll get everything up in the front yeah back in a bit need to start on dinner our gray beard will catch you in a little bit yeah thanks so much for swinging on by hope you have a good dinner get that up to 130 130 here do you have any good assaults you haven't assembled yet i do i have a timber wolf actually so we do have a timber wolf down below Bring this down to, I guess, like 105, something like that. Bring this up in the front. And we'll bring this down to like 65 in the back, yeah. Retire the small ones. Potentially, potentially. Well, I just want to get together whatever it is that we can get together before doing anything else. And then we'll be able to sort of flex uh, with the rest of them, yeah. So we'll go 120, 115. We lost one of our patchwork materials so that's going to be a little bit rough motorcycles those go <laughs> the motorcycles that'll be a rough one yeah arrow four so i'm glad these are fixed we don't have to worry about that what about our ammunition types ammo arrow four and inferno we have enough to stack up an additional two arrow four and inferno patchwork materials here i mean we can get in a regular patchwork materials we don't have another three so 1.783, so we're going to have to drop that armor around, yeah? If you have 400 ton limit, for example, yeah, it feels like a big bully wrecked our favorite toys. <laughs> hey, they're raging. Yeah, it does feel a little bit like that, yeah? And yeah, 395, 395 is, uh, is, a, is a good place to be for sure. Let's bring it down to 140. This brings us down to 180, 180, 175. Ooh, that's that's a little dicey. I guess 125 on the arms. I'm not too worried about the arms because obviously the arms are fixed. So that's not too bad. Patchwork materials everywhere. We'll just bring this into the leg over here. See where we stand. It's best five tons you can use. Five left is good. Yes, absolutely. I think the big thing is you, you've got to have the slots for it. That's, that's the tough part, right? Okay, so let's see what... We don't have the FCS indirect. That's going to be rough. That's that's the big loss here, is that FCS indirect. Um, we don't have another one of those. Gunnery, I guess. Predator, I suppose. We can t toss in Predator just to, um, just to hope for the best. Sensors. 
missile range. I mean, we just have standard, I guess, sniper, sniper sensors, AR-24. We lost our air, air 12. We'll stick that in as a replacement. And that's about all we can do with this thing. Unfortunately, we did lose that other tier three patchwork material. So this is about as good as it's going to get 22 days out. We have one or more locations destroyed. That's full repair. We're a little bit under, are we? Now we're a little bit over. This says mech has unused tonnage. Do you need the engine heat sink? No, no, we don't. Very nice. No, we don't. Thank you so much. Didn't even realize that. I really appreciate that. We'll be able to get a lot more armor. Thank you. Super improved. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you for the armor. Oh, so useful. I almost feel like we should get the back armor up a little more. 70. And then bring up the middle. There we go. Down to 74. All right. Fantastic. Thank you. Heat efficiency is looking at 6634. We can actually probably pull this heat sink kit as well. Look at that. 3634. 1 million sea bills 24 days out. After getting wrecked, the name X Adventure Me. <laughs> it really does. It really, really does. Bunny, 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 wabbit. Hey, Mithras. Very good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're joining us right now. We're currently in a little bit of dire straits trying to get ourselves back together. Hopefully, you're doing well. Okay, repairs. I think it's just mostly armor that was lost. Yeah, so this one's okay. This one's still fine. Upper recoil. Oh, I'm so glad. This was our our crowning glory here. We don't want to lose this one at all. 174. We'll bring it up to 175 as a start. And then slowly bump that up 180. Yeah. 180 and 128. I think if we do this, brings it over. Perfect. We're all set here. Yeah. Who was driving Crunch's Naga one HB? Oh, uh, you were Crunch. You got it wrecked. High five. That's okay. Uh, we got our direwolf bunny bludgeon this one this one's kind of torn apart so i'm gonna have to hold off on the other one we'll just go into this one and repair i'm not too sure if we lost the launchers i sure hope not that'll be a catastrophic repair all right not too bad let's go in we've got 96 on the back of 101 we'll bring this up oh that's all the way all right so bring this down to 96 on the back here there's one and we want to bring it down to 90 was it 94 yeah does Clan Pharaoh not have its own case? It does. Clan Pharaoh does indeed have case integrated into it. And that allows you to use... So, like, we've got armor, clan armor. Obviously, we use Clan Pharaoh. We wouldn't be able to fit it, but it does come with case. The clan armor comes with case as well. Uh, let's see. We'll just bring up our armor a little bit. So, our bunny bludgeon is still active. That's fantastic. We'll just bring this up. Full 100 in the back. And that's absolutely perfect. 15 all around, yeah. And there we go. And confirm. All right. And then, okay, we might have to hold off on the Lumina at the moment. King Azicus, we'll get that back online. This is not too bad, actually. We can still make out of this, yeah? Repairs, 3.425 tons. What do we lose on this? Was it just armor? Whoa. How do we still have three? Did we lose that much armor? Then why do you have case in your long tom mech when it has clan pharaoh? Uh, so that's case two. So the big thing about case two, oftentimes you're going to find yourself in a place where the clanners can just shoot straight through the armor. They don't even have to get through your armor. So tandem missiles, things like that, they can go straight through and trigger everything. Case two limits the damage to five total, as opposed to it completely blowing off the whole torso and just stopping it from going internally. Yeah. So that, that's the main difference overall. How do we still have this much tonnage left? What happened? I'm confused. We still have a lot of free tonnage. That's odd, yeah? Uh, it's only eight days. What did we... Did we lose something? 0.686 tons remaining. Oh, the arm. I, I, did, I totally didn't see the arm. There we go. There, there we go. Perfect. Ten days out, yeah. All right, perfect. The King Crab soaked a lot of hits, but a King Crab built right can last decently long. Not against the BFG 9000, but it definitely did soak hits right at the very end. I think we're going to have to hold off on these three right here, um, but we can definitely get these in. 2.696. Let's go over to the navigation screen. We got 10 days. Uh, we need to get to something a little bit less, something a little bit lower. So we're going green now. Um, I'm going to look for like three skull, maybe green three, three and a half, something like that. Because we can definitely handle that, but we can't handle anything like too far away. So we'll go like three and a half here, yeah? 
The luminous threads are not working. You must like the job. <laughs> We're at Gatekeeper at three and a half. SLDF Collapse Ice World. I like the Ice World. High Gravity Planet. This one's the closest at 19 days. We're going to head on over here. Obviously, we're going to be near broke as soon as we get in, yeah? Storage medium. Let's go in and... I know this hurts, but I'm going to get rid of the Shadow Cat parts. I kind of want to hold on to the Mad Cat three parts if possible. Weeps for the sacrifice our wallet needs to... <laughs> uh, Okay, Nova Cat, Summoner. We'll get rid of the Summoner parts here, yeah? Plots AQ for the damage of the company wallet. Well, let me ask you this, bunnies. Here, let's, let's take a quick poll. Because I'm... So I'm, I'm going to be serious just for a moment, okay? So I'm going to be serious for a moment. I, I do want to ask, do you want to play safely overall? Or do you want to take some risks? And this, this has to do with the entire career overall. I'm going to put this up for 60 seconds. But what I'm basically asking for is on the last stream, there was a comment made that things were too easy because we annihilated everything in front of us. We had 300 LRMs dumping straight into our enemy, and there was that. So we were able to wipe them out very, very easily. We went all the way up to four and a half skull green. No problem. We fought against a one and a half red, and it was actually okay. It didn't have any super heavies or anything like that. As of the last patch, there's a brand new difficulty update that was completely different than what we were working with before. Wanted to check it out. Seemed fair to do. So that's what I did because I thought it might be more entertaining. However, if the bunnies want me to play safely, I 100% can play completely safely. I'm totally okay with that. So I'm going to put this up for 60 seconds because it seems like there's a little bit of maybe points of contention as to how we should play. Some risk is fine, but the last mission was too much. Well, here's the thing. There's no way to tell what the mission's going to be like until you get into it. So that's, that's the rough part. There was no danger warning, anything like that. I'm totally okay with the RNG nature of it all, but I think the thing is that if you do want me to play safer, I absolutely can play safer, but I do want to point out that, sure, you know, I take full responsibility for everything that happens in our career, but at the same time, you know, if this is not something that you want to see, I will 100% just play safe all the time. I'm totally okay with it if that's what you, if you want to see a completely like flat campaign that is like we make good decisions all the time I, I can definitely do that yeah it's totally fine you need to have an option in between for occasional risks well the thing is i mean like last stream we had zero deaths zero losses we only gained stuff we ended up with almost six million c bills we walked out with a brand new carrier so last stream we basically had no risks this was kind of our first risk in a while yeah now you know what you're up against for the future. We're just enjoying giving you trouble, not trying to actually get to you. Well, I I, I mean, that's that's totally fine. I, I guess sometimes I can't really tell. It is text, and that that's that's the challenge right now. So I thought it might be something the bunnies wanted to see. And I like seeing super heavies, even if we get our butt kicked. And if you notice, we didn't reload. We didn't restart. We didn't give up. We kept playing. So, I mean, I, I think it's a good one, yeah? This has been your run from the start. You just share it with us in an incredibly inclusive way. So wholesome, you make my head hurt. That's part of why I'm still here. Do you, HB, if it ends, we start again. I'm here to watch you. Well, thank you so much, Ed. If HB takes no risk, Crunch will not be able to complain. But you should restart if it's too bad. <laughs> I mean, do you want to... We can, we can take a vote for a restart. It's just usually when I take a restart, bunnies kind of, uh, I guess, are pretty adamant about not restarting. So I will I will take a vote. So let's go and refresh the poll. We can either reload earlier or we could keep going. 60 seconds. And in the meantime, I'm going to take a look at what we can do to get our money back. We got like 3.4 million. I mean, we, we can get out of it. It's just it's going to take us a while. That's all. Let's see. We got our heavies. Heavies are fine. The Marauders, you know, I'm going to get rid of the Marauder parts as well. We've got a lot of Timberwolf parts. That's fine. The Nova Cat. I mean, it's nice to have the Nova Cat and all. We tried to hang on to it just so that we can have new mechs to play with, but we'll hold off there. Dire Wolf, King Crab, Kodiak, Marauder 2. Executioner. I really don't need the Executioner as much as nice as it would be. The Puma. We can get rid of that part. Highlander 2C. I do want the Mad 2C. That's fine. The Warhack, Warhawk, Warhammer 2C. That's all good. The Orca. I think this is a good start. We're at 6.7 million. This is looking great. Yeah. We're your standard Merc company. It doesn't matter what the decisions were required by contract to grouse about it. Giving HP the business when stuff is entertaining as heck. All right. I like how Baradol does it. One restart per stream max. Ah, heck yes. Thank you so much, Cold. I, I, 
don't really get to watch Baradol too much, so I appreciate the insight, yeah? And right now we are leaning towards keeping going. Thank you so much for weighing in. We're going to keep going with what we got. We lost a lot, but it doesn't mean that we can't recover from it, right? All right. Thank you so much for the interlude. Let's go in and take a look at the command center and we'll see what we got in front of us, yeah? I'm not voting. I want you to enjoy it. If you don't enjoy it, then the watching isn't enjoyable. I enjoy playing. I really do. I, I think I think the thing is I'm... I, I hesitate when it seems like... When I can't tell if the bunnies are actually upset at me or not. So... In this case, text can be a little difficult sometimes. So I just want to double check. I want to throw out the feelers. Make sure that you guys are okay with it. Because if you're really not enjoying it, I can totally cha change how I play. Um, if I play safely, I play very, very differently. So just letting you know. Uh, the loss makes it more interesting as it adds stress and excitement. Okay, perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to know. Thank you so much. All right, let's take a look at what we got. Destroy base, polar, three skull. Three skull is decent. Escort, two and a half. Let's do an escort. It's been a while since we've done an escort, right? So we've got 879, 313. I think 313 is totally fine. We can definitely get some money parts out of that. Um, we've got a decent amount of fun so far. So let's see what we can work with, yeah? Our uh, Black Knight. And hey, we get to bring in some mechs that we haven't brought in in a while, right? So we got a Ripper, we got our All Axes. The Bunny Bludgeon is the replacement for a previous Dire Wolf here. Our Sun Spider, let's go to pull these out because I do want to make sure that we're bringing maximum firepower so that we are at least capable in this situation. So we got our Naga. We'll get Crunch Troll back in there. He's a fantastic shooter. Fantastic shooter. Uh, we've got, we're actually going to have to bring our Warhawk, or our, I'm sorry, our Warhammer back in. Sun Spider with Amiel still alive. All the bunnies are alive and kicking. We've got Big Brick. We've got our Grasshopper. And of course, we've got Deaths in the Black Knight. It's been a while since we've used it. Well, you know, it's going to be kind of nice to bring that in again, right? So we got HP, we got a gaj, a gaj in the kind of ghetto hop. Although, if I do want to make this happen, let's go ahead and get... What if we get Gramps into this thing? We haven't had Gramps into anything, yeah? And we'll get AB in a big brick. And then finally, I mean, we were 624,000 at 720 tons. We can get a mortar carrier with HP. All right, perfect. Two and a half skull, escort, tundra. This should be pretty good. We'll go for a limb loss bet here. I think we're going to be fine. I don't even know who we're fighting against, actually. Mercenary force, you are entering a restricted Nova Cat area. Withdraw, or you will be fired upon. Yeah, they weren't surprised at all to see us, and I'm sure Fred of Entropy's not gonna like the fact we're fighting against Clan Nova Cat. That sounds like a blown operation to me. Agreed. Bunnies, once you've dealt with the response force, you'll find our employer's people here at this facility. Try not to get any of them shot or stepped on. Good luck. All right, bunnies, let's see what we got. We've got a little bit of an escort. We're fighting on behalf of Snow Raven against Clan Nova Cat. Um, this is definitely a favorite of Friend of Entropy, so we got to be a little bit cautious about how we do this. We want to be kind but respectful when we fight against Clan Nova Cat because that is the only way to treat them with 100% respect. That's right. Uh, we've got our set. I believe we've got eight in battle right now. There we go. And set it. Steps on Capellan or... <laughs> Antonides, good luck, HP, and remember you are a great okay. person. Antonides, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you have a really good one. We'll catch you later. Heading off to dinner. Always have fun. You're an amazing streamer. Or why the butt? Well, thank you so much, All Access. I really appreciate it. High five, buddy. I hope you have a really great dinner, yeah? All right, our X Adventure. We got shots to the bot. We got a Storm Crow. We've got a Thorn. Ah, uh, we got a Thorn and a... Oh, it's a Thorn Bonanza. Heck yes. Rub Clan Nova Cat Belly. <laughs> Those were the decoy packets. No one will crunch his actual cachet of flavor packets. All right. Well, no one had to worry about it because no one died, right? The last mission did hurt you, but it was a lesson so you know what kind of firepower they bring, how much you should bring. I... It's a... I think it is a lesson, and it's also... Oh, hello, nurse. Nice, good connect there. I think it is a lesson, but so far we've done a few one and a halfs, and we've been okay. So... I think it's it's about what they could bring, right? And still taking the gamble. Obviously, we withdrew when we could, yeah? And send it. Hopefully, we'll catch that Thorn off guard. Distract him with the laser pointers. I'll respect them real well with my Hag 40. I would love to have another Hag 40. You saw that that Alicorn Mark III had a Hag 40 and two Clan Gauss rifles on it as well. That was nuts. All right, are we close enough? We're going to go ahead and turn on that Supercharger, the DNI cockpit. We're going to go in and try to connect. We're going to sprint move. And V. I don't know if we can actually connect with it. Sprint. We can get a little bit closer. It looks like I cannot go into melee from here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that back off. We're going to turn the sword off because we can't get close enough. And we're just going to push on in with deaths for now. 
And we'll dump into the Storm Crow a little bit. Give him a little love. Egg, yes. Hide the Hag 40 he stole from the local black market. Oh my gosh, I would love to have another one, yeah? Uh, we got the hop at 25%. It's not looking that good. So we'll just jump on in. <laughs> I miss Gramps. We had to use Gramps. We're losing bunnies here. They're still in the uh, the hospital. All right, 25 out and sent. No, we, you can push all the buttons and we definitely can't stop you, Gramps. So with just the four in front of us, yeah, he's the voice of my main character on every single playthrough. He's amazing. Gramps is amazing. I think the only reason why I've been holding off on using Gramps is because I've been wanting to use more of the bunnies at a time. Uh, but in this case, obviously, like we're a little bit of a shortage right now. So I love having Gramps as the only non-bunny there. All right, let's go ahead and stack up and send the best voice back. He's so good. He's so freaking good. And I love the fact we're tagging the right side of the Griffin. Usually the right side of the Griffin has all the weapons, but in this case, it's a Griffin 2C. I'm assuming it's set up like the SLDF version, so it probably has pods on both sides for missiles, yeah? Change all the bunnies to oddball. <laughs> all right, bunny bludgeon. Close range. We're stacking up. Artemis 4. They're not going to be able to get away from this. Warlord up. Plus one. We can dump into the Stormcrow at 52. We can dump in straight ahead on the Griffin. Let's go in and hit this guy. He's already a little bit pinged on the right. There it is. There it is. That's what we're talking about. There's the consistency of Clan LRM 100. You young whippersnapper, get off Gramps' lawn. <laughs> All right, rip her up. Rip her away. Indirect on Inferno. Uh, we can ping wide 33. Uh, we're actually going to turn on Enhanced Imaging. It's going to help us out a lot. 30, 36, and it's a little too close for comfort. So we're coming on in. We're going for high explosive and send. Beautiful connect there. It's so very too much cacophony of loud. I have never really used uh, Oddball too much, yeah? All right, and go. Cyber Gizmo with the Griffin 2C Splash. Fantastic. I gotta say that I dig. I dig this game so freaking much. I freaking love it. You youngins, stop that or I'll use, I'll use the bees. I'll use the bees. And hold. God, not the bees. Please, not the bees. The belt or the slipper, sure, but the bees, please, no. All right, we're going to switch this over to active. We got a line, double UX, and go. The Griffin got a full serving of fattening missiles. That's right. He had, what was it? He got Clan LRM 100 from the Bunny Bludgeon. He got Clan LRM 40 plus ATM 24 right from the front from the carrier. Yeah. All right. Sun Spider's moving. We didn't we see him go. before. We're going to do our best here. Go into jamming active mode. Vigilant to keep us safe out in the open. The bees or OPs. <laughs> hey, Sun Dog. Great to see you. Welcome. They're in my eyes. Yes. Add away. Dump that storm crow. What is this out here, actually? Do we know this one? Is this another thorn? All right. So they got... Okay. So those are all the thorns right there. We got the ex-adventurer. Line it up. We're going direct here. Trying to connect full in on standard. We'll drop out one and away. I guess. And down he goes. The flying mech is totally fit for grandpa usage. Right? Right? Gramps is great. He used to be our Kodiak melee pilot. He would pilot that uh, Care Bear Kodiak. That thing was absolutely insane with the vibro claws and everything like that, yeah? Well, let's go in and stack on in. We've got the Sir Mostly Good. He's just playing it at range at the moment. We'll just soften up the middle. There we go. Got a nice breach on the left side. Crunch is waiting for the clan to arrange an ambush against the bunnies with a star of Nagas. A full trinary of dire stars to rub it into trinary of elementals. I'm fine with everything except for the elementals. Because I kind of feel like even if we got the elementals, I probably wouldn't really use it. And I want to only fight against things that I could potentially get for ourselves. Yeah, I mean, that's the biggest joy of Battletech for me. is just every single fight being an opportunity to get something else that we're going to use, right? All right, so we got a carrier. All right, we're fully direct here. Get HP over, mortars out, and we'll just dump straight into the middle. It's going to be hard for him to do anything about this. He might get knocked out on this one. It's a lot of incoming damage that they cannot stop with AMS. Half the body gone. Definitely, definitely panicked there. Uh, we'll get a ripper. High explosive. 
Yeah, let's do it. We're going in. We're going in. Thumper artillery out. 59. We'll drop this off. Send a high explosive straight to core. There it is. <laughs> Heck yes. All right. And out he goes. Dire stars are paper tigers. All flash. No armor. Lots of clan good ERPPC salvage. Yeah. A lot of flash when you have that many clan ERPPCs. That's for sure. And damaging flash at that too. All right. Pull in with Gramps. Vigilance. We're going to use active to jam on that thorn. Wait for it to envelop him, yeah? Crunch forgot to mention the trine of error space to make it spicy. Oh my. Heck yes, there we go. And down the thorn goes. Fantastic. It's the very last of the garrison to stop us right here. At this point, we're just going to have to waddle our way forward before dumping ourselves into the ambush convoy release zone. Bunny bludgeon forward. We're going to go ahead and target, and no point in risking anything. We're going all in, dump them out, and there it is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm glad that we're taking a 1 million C-Bill payout. Our drop cost was almost 700,000 C-Bills, so we're definitely going to need a lot of money just to cover our drop cost, especially at the fact that uh, we do have ammunition costs as well, so we're just going to barely slowly creep along. From this position, I would assume they're going to take us over in this direction to to get out because this is the edge so it only makes sense to me if they're headed in this general direction to extract yeah i forgot to grab the update yeah no it, it just came out recently it's a good one yeah make sure most of your lance is down the convoy route yes you got it Greatbeard. that is the plan thank you so much for the reminder yeah hold with crunch sun spider full speed av and the big brick and we got the kind of ghetto hop <laughs> Just full sprint on down. It's going to take us a little bit to get there, but it's going to be worth it in the end once we're in position, yeah? Because hopefully we're not going to have to move at all. Ideally, we're going to position ourselves in a place where we all have direct line of sight, except for our Naga and our Mortar Carrier against any of the incoming Op 4. And then we're going to trigger that ambush convoy so that we can slowly move it on up. I want to have basically Scout forward with Dets in his Black Knight on the ground, ready to just sort of cause havoc as we go. We're kind of really, really slow bunnies, though, so it will take a while. We're going up unsteady ground. We're not on a road or anything like that. Full sprint, full sprint. I kind of feel like maybe we should get the Sun Spider back. The Sun Spider is going to be the one way at the back that's going to accompany the uh, the convoy. Kind of get a hop forward. Carrier to the side. Here we go. You're going to have to download the update tomorrow. Uh, why? I mean, you can download it right now, but I would say one thing I would ask that you do, though, is head on over to Updates and News. Take a look at this. So if you go to Updates and News, you'll notice here that Jamie Wolf, he actually posted there's a Rogue Launcher update. So before you do, if you do want to get the latest update 1.1.8.0, I would ask that um, just be aware that he did have a fixed uh, executable so you probably want to download that first before doing anything just so you don't you don't waste your time yeah all right anyway yeah. what hb needs is a combo you act and artillery piece so an ultra artillery gun we actually had that with the ripper for a while there we had double you act 10s and a single thumper artillery piece now with a long tom artillery piece uh, we didn't have room for it unfortunately yeah in front goes the fastest scout mech, the King Crab. Actually, actually, you know, it it should go in front. I don't know because it's the fastest, but it definitely should go in front. You are not wrong there. Just so that uh, we can all stick together. King Azicus can only move two to three hexes, unfortunately, so it'll take him a long time to get into position. So I'm actually not going to wait for everyone to get into high ground, but at least I want them in a space where wherever I think the enemy is going to drop, we're at least going to be able to shoot at them without having to wait like two, three turns just to get into combat. So I'm just going to get the carriers basically over to the right a little bit. So maybe like three turns from now, we should be able to start that drop. Yeah. Hold a rotary thumper cannon. I wouldn't mind that at all. Although I would hope that was a rotary or thumper artillery. I think that would be better just because whenever it comes to cannons, they tend to be sort of like sawed off shotguns or something like that. And that's always that's always really, really difficult when you're trying to hit things at range and effectively utilize your your weapons. Yeah. All right, carrier. This is probably as far as we're going to go with the carriers. Just keep them right here because at least we'll be close enough. We can shell anything in this area right here. I think the drops come here, here or here. So we'll just get two up there and then at least center ourselves so we can get some shots, yeah? 
King has a kiss out. Uh, the Ripper, I guess, just right here. We'll get the X. X Adventure probably wants to break back. I didn't notice he got that far forward, yeah. And I'm actually going to move the Sun Spider. I think the X Adventure is going to be the one to trigger the convoy. And Big Brick is going to try to get on the hill as well. So we'll go forward with Gramps. And then Supercharger up. And we'll sprint on forward as far as we can go. Carrier to hold. HB and a Mortar Carrier. And there we go. Every time I hear Sun Spider, it makes me wish the Amazing Cab modelers already had the Sun Cobra from the filthy, blasphemous, dark age of Clicky Tech. The Sun Cobra. What's a Sun Cobra, friend? It is a... Oh my! Why Why the Sun Cobra? So what do you like about this? Is it the fact that it has, like, cobra eyes? Or <laughs> That's a unique one. Kind of reminds me a little bit of, um, I guess, a guillotine, sort of? Are those... Are those jump pack panels on the back or, or or what do those do do you know moving out all right high ground gramps is in position so we're mostly good forward and then we have to turn off that supercharger very soon carrier forward mortar carrier forward all right king azakis hold the bunny bludgeon ripper x adventure pull on back we got to get back to the zone Get on up. Big brick on up. I copy. Get a hop to the side. So mostly good. Let's turn off that supercharger. We want to play it safe. Be ready. And we got the carrier to hold and hold. There we go. So that leaves Crunch. Crunch is running back. Going to take about a couple more turns. King Isaac is pushing forward. Bunny bludgeon. Ripper hold. Sun spider on the high ground. Big bricks almost there. Gramps to hold. Death's on the high ground. Okay, let's go. Carrier to hold. And hold. Alright, crunch again. He almost has the speed, so we get one more turn of movement. One more turn here. Let's just center ourselves. I thought someone had made a Sun Cobra at one point. Well, it sounds like they've got it in the Clicky Tech. I just don't know if they've got it in, um, in Battle Tech, the video game, right? All up. Aye, aye. All right, one more turn and we're in position. I what you wanted. Can I please go home? All right, carrier, hold. There. And there we go. Okay. FOE Clicky Tech is your friend. Come to the Clicky Tech. We have Sun Cobras and Cookies. Oh, FOE already likes Clicky Tech. <laughs> he already likes Clicky Tech. I don't think you have to convince him at all. He's actually the one who's been generous enough to gift me so many beautiful models. Yeah. All right, I think we did it. We're good. Affirmative. We're ready. Carrier. Taking a protective stand. We're glad to see you folks. I was worried we'd have to walk home. We have an LZ marked for you. Is your team ready to move? Everyone who's left, we're mounting up now. Let's move, people! Alright, here we go, here we go. Clan Nova Cat's out there somewhere. What do they got? Oh, they're out here. They got an elemental. They've got a firefly. Oh, hello, nurse. What is this? Looks a little bit like... A little bit like a sentinel or something. And then we've got a mist lynx. So we got three and... Oh my god, we've got toads. We've got so many toads. All right, come around, come around. Standard, can we burn out the toads at all? I guess we'll hit the mist lynx. And send. There we go. 110 heat. Holy crap. Squish them toads. Awaiting orders. All right, Sun Spider out. Bring it around. We got the green. We got the green. He wants them out of his presence and cursed you with him. I freaking love them. They're so beautiful. They're so cool. If you haven't seen them before, you definitely got to check them out. They're really, really pretty. And away. Dump those toads. Dump those toads. There we go. We got some breaches on the toads. It's just a medium with two Gauss rifles, but not sure about those shoulder pylons. I think the original Clicky Tech sculptor just made it look cool, then Tabletop had to pick up the pieces and legitimize it when they got around to it. Oh, heck! That's actually not a bad rendition, yeah? Grab toad weapons. Oh, great point! Great point, Amiel. All right, liner ups are mostly good. We've got heavy MRMs. We're gonna hold this position until we get... Because one of the biggest problems that we have, if I move Deaths down, he's not going to be able to res respond to the opposite side. So I want to hold him in this position for now until we can get the convoy into the escort zone. Because we are going to trigger more reinforcements at that point, yeah? Oh, that's not nice. That's not nice. 
Battle Battle Toads is a hard game. My goodness, I I played a little bit of it and then I just gave up. That was that was a little too much even for me. I love the clicky text scale. Tabletop is too small for my ancient eyes to paint anymore. And I like the fact that they come painted already. That's huge. You got it. I realize quad mechs are missing. They, I think they are. I think they are. You, you are. I think you're correct there. I got Stack them. I guess you got a breach. It would be really, really nice if we can get another Amiel machine, yeah? Oh, God. Please don't DFA. Oh, my God. I thought he DFA'd. Holy crap. That's terrifying. If they DFA'd, that could have been bad. And a bunny bludgeon. Uh, we want that green. Here we go. Sprint on out to the back. Artemis 4 up. Warlord up. And let's go in and drop out this toad. And send it away. Yes, one toad down. Fantastic. This is where I think they actually dropped in a set of four, right? Technarchy, thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the Bunny League. It's very good to have you with us. All right, kind of get a hop around. And if you're joining us right now, we are currently uh, trying to build the Bunny Ramen operation again because we did lose a lot of technology on the very last mission, yeah? 33... And ping. Him up, knocking him down just like Bella Woods. All misses, but we still have quite a miss. number of shots before they can do anything. We definitely want to rip out. Ooh, go fancy. It's the Ripper, yeah? Definitely want to get rid of the Mist Links, and we want to get rid of our... Oh my god, that was so wide. <laughs> that was so off. We also want to get rid of the other Toad because it's danger close right now for our ally, uh, King Azicus. All right, carrier up. HB burnt and spilled the ramen. Yes, we lost a lot of ramen. It's so true. And dump him. I guess this leaks down. Three left. There we go. We didn't burn nearly enough for us. It's so true. We didn't really get too much of an opportunity to, unfortunately. All right, so this one I'm not too worried about. This one we've got to work. It's a small chance to hit, but I'll take any right now because we got to make sure that we're hitting that back there. Straight to the butt. What can I do for you? Wield. I hear ya. Oh, we. I, oh, I forgot that we're controlling the convoy. Holy crap! Wow, I totally forgot. I mean, I guess we'll go green. Well, sir, I managed to place Inferno on the same hemisphere. Darn straight, Oxford, and welcome. We absolutely did. That was the key. Moving fast. I never had a problem with even the quick play, clicky tech rules and gameplay. I just hated the whole Dark Age thing in the lore, so when I complain about the blasphemy, it sometimes sounds conflated with the game or the models themselves. You know, to be perfectly honest, you know so much more than I do. I, I wouldn't be able to. I, I would never take what you say out of context. I would just be like, oh, he doesn't like part of Battletech and he likes other parts. Heck yes, there we go. It's going to be a lot easier to hit these tiny little guys. All we got to do is focus in straight to core, and it's going to be done. Hopefully, we're going to be able to move Amiel straight into him. Amiel is at 25. We got 15. Who's next on 15? That leaves us with... Oh, convoys. We got convoys left, basically. Ooh, that's a little bit rough. Hopefully, we've got some more convoys with LRMs. That's my hope. I wish it was easier to step on them. They're actually really, really... Um, they're really difficult to hit, those elementals. I mean, they seem pretty darn agile. I guess that's well in line with lore as well yeah all right so this guy's on the ground we've got lrm 15 i don't know if it's going to be enough but we're going to do our very best to ping this guy's at 22 so i think one of us can move a little sooner than him hard gel repaired some of them sun spider this is what we need this is what we need there it is there it is there it is all right vigilance for amiel and let's go ahead and make sure that azakis is safe straight to core drop him out AoE is the best of fire, and lots of it. Darn straight. That is our modus operandi for sure, yeah? All right, we got two left here. Death's, death's gonna hang on back. Still hanging back. We don't want to charge in just yet until we absolutely know where the reinforcements are coming from. The Toad croaked. All your fire are belong to us. That is the hope. I'm hoping that all the fire is only ours and not theirs. We're switching on over to indirect. And since they like the fire as much as we do, let's give him a little bit of love. 
There we go. Give him a little bit of burn damage for those salamanders. Nuke from orbit or from a nearby ridge where your artillery is planted. I like the ridge. I wish I could nuke from orbit. I don't know if we've got that opportunity unless we're in a target acquisition mission or anything like that. So I think we're going to have to suffice. It's going to have to suffice just being able to shoot from a ridge. All right, dump this guy out. And Salamander down. Fantastic. All right, one left. We are just raking it in. Just super, super clean. I'm all about this. Or right, we'll just sprint on forward. Cool off a little bit. And hold. We got the bunny bludgeon. And send it a firefly. A little indirect, so difficult for our Artemis 4, unfortunately. Remember, Darius took some side contracts to clear out forests for agricultural purposes. Start burning people. Well, I mean, we kind of were doing that, yeah? I mean, that's one of the nice things about this is that we've got a lot of people to burn with the elementals, right? We had 15 elementals to burn and we were able to burn them to a crisp, yeah? All right, line this up. You whack fives and away. Hope to connect. We got a good ping here. Heck yes! We... Oh my god, wow. So much for that guy. All right, we are clear. Let's just go ahead and hold this position. Stay on edge. Make sure we're all set. Wield APC. We're too far from the convoy, so little movement in red. The mon momentary pause while the target mech thinks, am I dead yet? Hang on, let me check the paper doll. Oh crap, yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> oh crap, yeah, I'm dead, you're right? One, and then we've got our carrier to hold. Good to go. Wheel ABC forward. Got it. And there we go. And then we got our fourth. It's probably going to take us about, I would say, maybe three more you, turns Commander. to get the next ones through. So we've got a lot of time to position ourselves before any of this goes awry. Yeah. So we got Chronic Toast. Let's actually have him climb the hill. That'll make him incredibly dangerous. We might as well start marching forward to the Bunny Bludgeon. Ripper's going to hold position in full indirect mode. Even though we lost our FCS indirect for our um, for our big guy. Big Brick's going to climb. Kind of Ghetto Hop's going to move and brace here. Sir Mostly Good is... I guess Sir Mostly Good's going to start down low on the base level. Because if we can stand near the road, it shouldn't be too bad, yeah? Carry over. HP to the side. And everyone through. Stay on the road. Stay on the road. We don't want burn damage, though. I'm a little bit nervous, but I think it should be okay. We've handled worse. Heading up. Ripper to hold. Roger. X adventure push up a little bit. Uh, we'll maintain that high ground with a sun spider. Big brick is a ranged fighter. Kind of ghetto hop's gonna get over to the very edge. Sir, mostly good is gonna get down below. That sounds like when you have to roll a death saving throw and check to see if you've disintegrated. Rogue tech lets you control the escort. Yeah, right. It's a really, really cool feature, for sure. We're a little too far from the convoy, though, so there are some restrictions, but overall, it's a, it's a really, really nice system. It definitely takes a lot of the frustration out of the, the mission, for sure, yeah? Please wait. System processing. <laughs> All right, march it up, Azekis. Since we got the time, Bunny Bludgeon, hold. Hold for Ripper. Hold for X Adventurer. Sun Spider. Disintegration damages HP minus two. Results happiness. Disintegration equals HP plus two. Results is lamentation. <laughs> All right, kind of get a hop. We just got to watch out for the, the landing. So we'll just walk it back and brace. You're asking a lot of an old guy. Sir, mostly good. Stay in cover. And uh, we're pushing it up. We're really staying with the convoy. I'm getting them confused. We can't quite make it yet. There we go. That's as far as they're going to allow us to go. We got one more turn. One more turn after this. Don't need to tell me twice. And there's the red. Azekus on the climb. Holds one. Hold two. X-Adventurer hold. Sun Spider hold. 
big brick. I'm just going to center us a little more. Hold for ghetto hop, hold for Dertz, and the carrier to the green. Moving out. Carriers to the green. All right, this is looking good. Here we go. Let's find out what we got. On my way. Hey, boss, I'm seeing more contacts. Whatever these guys stole must be important. I'm assuming it's on the... Okay, so it's on the other side of the hill here. All right, so we're on the, we're on the wrong side. Sleep near... Make sure we're facing that side. Wield APC. Face that side as well. Wield APC as well. There we go. Because we cannot rotate or move on this next turn, yeah? They're doing the landing. BXC doesn't let you control them. Yeah, no, it... There's definitely pluses and minuses depending on what, what uh, mod you're playing for sure, yeah? All right, what do we have here? We've got a Storm Crow. Uh, we've got a Mist Lynx, a Griffin 2C, a Jenner 2C, and a Shadow Cat. Shadow Cat. Very, very nice. All right, Sun Spider. Let's get up there. We're sprinting on forward. Artemis 4, Active Guardian. I mean, do they have protection? 11%. 11. 9. 13 on the Jenner. We'll take the highest chance here. We just got to hit anything at this point. Oh, by the way, the cab has now moved to mods in exile. So it is no longer on the Nexus. So if you are looking for um, the cab, it is no longer on the Nexus. So just keep that in mind if you are going to uh, to get it. Yeah. All right. Sprint on up for deaths. And hold. Oh, we got grabs. Exit. All right. X adventure. Here we go. This is the AOE that we need. Warlord up. Double Inferno. And we'll just hit somewhere in the middle, and away we go. I'll give him the whole night, yeah. Heck yeah! <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, All right, Ghetto Hop, let's move. BTA is up to version 11.03. BTA is freaking awesome. They do such a freaking good job. All right, here we go. AMS Mark II, we're switching over to Acid, and we'll just stack whomever. Storm Crow away. And send. Give him a ping, soften him up. Beautiful. Got a breach here. All right, all access in the Ripper. I think we've got some green. But we'll just rotate indirect. Enhanced imaging is still online. Storm Crow and shot. Oh my god. It is a bad day when they're dropping straight into our artillery. Huh? All right, big breaks up. We got shots to the back. AV 11. Miss Link's 22. And away. There's going to be a huge update to BTE in the near future if not just posted. Oh, did they just post it? I didn't even see anything about that. Thank you so much for letting me know, Crossbow. I had no idea, yeah? Are you talking about the Battletech Extended? All right, they actually get to move now. So we're looking at this Jenner. Jenner gets to go. He's got breaches everywhere, so... Since he's got all missiles, obviously he does have missile ammunition that can explode. So that's actually something that could help us out, especially with his breach and all the burning and the burn damage and everything like that. So it's cross your fingers. He's going to hurt himself as he moves. Yeah. So far, so good. He's fine. Getting those shots out. We want to take as little damage as possible since we really have a lot of repairs to do. One thing that we can really do to help ourselves out is to actually replace one of the UAC 5s with one of the clan UAC 5s that we have. That'll be a huge boon to us. Uh, the Mist Links, the Jenner, 24, 19. I think we should just hit the Jenner. He's already got that breach. We're going to switch on over to EMP. Or actually listen kill because it's indirect at 27%. Dump him. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, BTA. Not sure when... Ah, got it, got it, got it, crossbow. Got it. Right now, they really don't have many choices, so the fact that they're thinking this through tells me a lot. It tells me that they know what they're up against, and they really don't have any good choices. They just have to make the best of a bad situation, and even that's probably not going to be enough for them, yeah? Shadowcat's a beautiful, beautiful mech. Especially with the clan ERPPCs. I think we've got a little bit of a backup. Kind of wish we had some more, though. Standard. No, we're going to switch over. Oh, air burst. All right, we'll try it. And go. Oh, my God. <laughs> I guess he's, he's like, nope, I don't want it. I don't want it. I really don't want it. 
please no. And they've got three left. That's it. Just three. One, two. Oh, never mind. They got four. They got four. Three left to move, though. Griffin 2C, yeah? The delay tells me someone wrote some looping C sharp code in the AI algorithm. They do they do take a little bit of time, especially the VTOLs. But I've been told that the reason why the VTOLs take so long is because they have so many options to calculate as like compared to something that can only move on the ground, right? So um that's that's the that's my biggest I guess I guess my biggest con with the VTOLs in the game is just because they take so long, so they slow gameplay down by quite a lot. He said, bunnies, why you do that? Right? Right, definitely? I guess. Yeah, we, we, if you're curious, we do have a panic system, ejection phrase, a custom phrase text file in there that the bunnies have been working on basically for like over two years now. So really, really freaking cool. I'm glad that we were able to hang on to that and that the developers haven't changed it so that, you know, they, they changed the format or something. I'm, I'm really, really glad that we can keep that part of Bunny League history. Barely a ping. All right, so... Since we are now in melee range, we can probably give it to our opponents sleep near. It's it's just a shame that, um, oh, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. We want to stay in this position, right? We only have to stay for one round. Yeah, we can't move from here. So just brace. Uh, Sergeant Palamas, what do we got? Shot will take anything to the Shadow Clan it is. Clan UX 10 would be nice to have a third. The last time we had the career on BTA, we ended up running three Clan UAC 10s on a blood ass. And that was nuts because you definitely had the ability to shoot at the head. And that was just so much firepower, yeah? The all powerful Nidhogg can do anything. So it has to consider all the options. That's right. All right, so they're out. So we have succeeded. We just need to minimize the damage that we take now, yeah? It's unfortunate we brought Death down. I was thinking they might drop on this side, but I was wrong. So he hasn't been able to do any sort of melee. Um, we can sprint around. We're just looking for any lines of green. I'm not seeing green. Oh, never mind. I stand corrected. We'll pull it on back. We got green on the Shadow Cat. Warlord up, plus one, plus the clustering. And let's drop out the Shadow Cat with a UAC 10. And enemy down. We got three left. That's it. Very, very, very efficient. All right, sir, mostly good. It's too far out. We're going to turn on that supercharger. See, we can't get in line of sight at least at the end of the next turn, yeah? Uh, let's hold. Our X adventure it's a little too close, so let's just go ahead and hold on this one. A little too close to the bunnies at the moment. Kind of ghetto hop in with Gramps. Vigilance to keep him safe. Jamming applied and sent. I guess it'll be down. That leaves us with two. We've got two on the field right now. Right, Chronic coming in on the flank. We got choices of either. We're going to switch over to Listen Kill. No point in softening them by many more. Stormcrow's got the breach on this side and drop him. Heck yes. Oh, is he, is he still alive? He's still alive. Okay, I stand correct. He's still alive, but barely so. Barely so. He's definitely breaching the middle. And he's got the bludgeon. Let's go ahead and drop this guy out. We're going straight to core. Now he's done. All right, one left, one left, one left. And of course, we still have our Warhammer Omni to bring the bring the joy to our opponents. Crunch wants to see the Alt 4 shoot down a dropship. That would be kind of cool. That would definitely be different for sure, yeah? All right, he actually gets a move. Let's see what he can do. Hopefully he doesn't come behind us and absolutely blast our butts. It is a Griffin 2C. He's got a lot. Clan. Streak. Eight. And that's all he gets to do. Because at this point, it is completely over for him. He basically had the single large laser. Carriers up. Airburst not. We'll go ahead and stack him with acid. I found the drunk mech. But herb. <laughs> Heck yes, Payne, bring it to see you. That's a fantastic joke. Those hags are so unfair, and I freaking love it. It is so good, especially when they got that opening there, yeah? Well, tell you what, with those hags in mind, I'm actually going to stay away, because I don't want to get to get in their way, yeah? There is friendly fire after all. We'll go ahead and send, and send. High five, Payne, high five. Right now, we're trying to recover because we lost a lot of tech. Fortunately, we didn't lose any of the bunnies, yeah? Hopefully you're having a lovely Saturday. 
And we're going to go ahead and dump in extended range and send. Might be all she wrote with the crits. Got the breach in the middle. Five left. And out he goes. Beautiful. Well done. You managed to wipe me off the route. I can do an extract right now. No need to get to work plan, Delcy. All right, bunnies. Total win. Total win. Will the Bunny League win without any limb losses? That is a resounding yes for sure. Congratulations to those who had the faith. Hey, Dulas, very good to see you. Welcome. Bunnies, if you're joining us right now, we had a bit of a snafu on the last mission. We now need to rebuild the entire Bunny Ramen operation. Not quite from the ground up, but we're getting there. So right now we are farming like crazy. We have encountered the new difficulty system in Rogue Tech. Let's go ahead and flip this over, yeah? Definitely a better result, Greatbeard. You are correct. 465,000. We've got a bit of a, a bit of a plus here bring us over seven million yeah you still haven't found the mech baby <laughs> toad elemental griffin to see the jenner the mistlings the shadow cat we've got three here thorns a lot of them heavy machine guns lrms i don't know if i kind of want the ba lasers for our cyclone rider so let's hold off on that small heavy laser streaks srm sixes we're actually low on this i'd like to grab the uac 10 that way we've got three. Engine excels to sell. I'm going to grab those preemptively. And then we'll see what we've got. Heavy gyro. I've never seen this before. Minus 20% stability damage taken. That's actually really nice and entrenched as well. We have we don't have this. The best that we've got is minus 10% stability damage. It's minus 20. But I kind of want the money right now. So we're going to hold off there. Engine excel is worth 4.5. The clan heat sink is 3.5. So we'll just take these instead. And this is what Greybeard would say. Go for the monies, bunny. So three, two, and one. We're always at our best when we're hungry. Mechs can be bought with sea bills and bunnies usually reproduce quick. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sell one, sell two. Fantastic. We're now at about 8.7 million after we get back that 400,000 plus, yeah? I see bills. I definitely see a lot of bills. All right, let's see what we got. We're going to flip it on over. We're going to go to the mech bay. And we're going to try and do more repairs. So out of all of this, we've got the ATMs. We've got the Luminate Xenia. Let's go ahead and try and put our Dire Wolf back together. I'm a little nervous about this one. At least we didn't lose the targeting computer or anything like that. AMS Mark II is gone. So we're going to have to replace it with, I guess, maybe we'll pull off our AMS ammunition and we'll just stick in a laser AMS for now. Um, we will repair this. What do we got? BC Artemis IV. Oh, we're out of that. Ooh, that's rough. We, Because we need that, basically, to, to do what we want to do. we got BC Gunnery, and then these are Clan LRM-40. All right, so let's go into Max Armor first. We'll start there. We'll start with the weapons first. We've got the replacement LRMs. That's fine. We have Feral Amalur still. That's good. So we will have to replace this, unfortunately, because we do not have access to another artemis 4 battle computer so uh, let's see we lost our what were we using up here exchanger and advanced optics so we can get the advanced optics here we can get a standard exchanger in like that that's going to keep us efficient um we're going to need an artemis 4 fire control system like that range finder sensor tracker it's going to be the best that we can do right now and then you know what just to compensate i'm going to stick in another gunnery as well can we do that or is that oh double gunnery support never mind pull this off put this back in so it's cheaper 852,000. balrm sounds like some political <laughs> it kind of does you're not wrong you're not wrong there all right let's take a look at our lrm ammunition we've got artemis four we've got six how many did we lose one two three four five and six and seven so can almost get all of it, actually. I'm pretty impressed. I didn't think that was going to be the case. So we'll just stick in all of the Artemis IV ammunition. We can stick in a half as well. That's going to help out. Bring this down to a solid four and a half or maybe a five. Yeah, like that. BLM, B-A-L-R-M in 3020. <laughs> that's, actually, that's actually not a bad joke at all. All right, uh, LRM clearance. I mean, we can get in a double set like that. And what else do we have? All the targeting computers, advanced optics mark two. I mean, we've got three tons left, so I suppose we'll just stick in the doubles and we'll stick in another one here. There we go. And that'll do. There we go. Zero tons. 
450. Mech has unused tonnage. Really? One or more locations is destroyed. That's fine. All right, here we go. 849,000. We can definitely take that. All right, maybe maybe we will go back and, and we'll try and adjust our tiny and fancy. How about that? What do we got here? Maybe we'll turn it into a Lumina Xenia 2.0. I'm glad that I'm so glad that this is okay here. Omnimex are great. All right, engine heat sink two. There we go. Cooling is probably a clan kit. There we go. We got a backup. They're perfect. Feral Amalur to stop shots going through, and we'll go max armor here. Not even that expensive to repair, right? Because it's an Omnimex. The Lumina Xenia though is going to be really, really expensive. That's the one I'm really, really worried about. Right now we're sitting at 625,000, so we'll go ATM 12. And are we... We may have lost too much ATM ammunition. Let's take a look. We had three tons of this stuff. High explosive... Oh, actually, no, that's IATM, yeah. I guess we can go extended range for now. It's a little unfortunate, but it, it's what we got to do, yeah? I recently had to replace a lawn pop-up sprinkler model named SRM, but no one around would know why I was smiling. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. And then we get two tons, two tons. ER large. That puts us too heavy. What are we missing here? ER large, one, two, three. Oh, ferrofibrous. That's what we need. We need ferrofibrous armor. There we go. 0 0.04. Bring this down. 0.015. And there it is. All right. We can actually put it together again. This is fantastic. ATM 12. I mean, should we just make it more homogenous? ATM ERs, maybe all extended range. We'll take the, uh, we'll keep the high explosive. That stuff's really, really handy when you get close. Yeah. All right. 16 days. Not bad at all. In your experience, what's the best way to break it gently? I just dropped into a mission facing a black knight with stealth and a gun of some sort. You must have. It's precious. Um. I am not the best person to ask about breaking things gently. <laughs> I mean, burn it. If you can burn it alive and then shoot at the head, that, that's helpful. But uh, I generally am not gentle, so I don't know if you should ask me about it. But uh, yeah, headshots are nice. Headshots are nice. Knocking it down and uh, overheating it. That helps a lot. Yeah. All right, let's go in and get the 37 up above. And we'll just hold in this position and let that work in tandem. Yeah. 6.8. Yeah. Stub your toe on one of those and you'll definitely take 10 damage to a leg. 12 days out. We're going over the finance report here. Legging it. Legging it helps for sure. You you won't get the full parts, but uh, it, it definitely helps. Leg shots and mines. Mines? Nice. I like that. I can confirm that whenever HP said he goes gently cores the mech. Yes, we gently core it. Usually we get... I mean, you can get lucky and you can crit the engine multiple times such that you get all the salvage, but... It's a little give and take, which is why you kind of want things like cluster rounds or hags or something like that once they get a breach, but it can easily rip it into pieces as well. Okay, before we do anything, I'm just curious. I want to see kind of how much this is going to cost. So I'm just going to do a full set like this, immediately 609,000. And the moment we've got to replace the cores, that's going to get really, really rough. We don't have a replacement 300 core here. 12 days out. I'm really, really curious though. Do we have Omni Timberwolves in storage right now? Is there one that we can use? So if we go over to the heavies, we take a look at the TWA, TWGW. Which one is an Omni mech? Is there a way to find out? Configured specifically for a long range. Missile boat configuration, all ballistic. This is these these do not look like Omnis. Personal ride of Carlos Camacho. Can you headshot a mech by only using tandem missiles? You could, you could, but it, it would be a pretty low chance, I think, to be able to manage it, yeah. You need a gauss based mech for Gently or PPC, yes. I, I don't know if there's a way to find out which one's an Omni. Usually it'll say Omni mech here, and I don't think it says that anywhere, so maybe we'll hold off instead. Let's go by the barracks and see what we got to work with. Pilot-wise, any points to apply? Oh, we got AV, all access. There's Cyber. Heck yes, he's got a point, beautiful. Let that set. Check uh, specifically the wiki. Well, I'm not going to do that right now. I thought all the timber... Right? I thought they were as well, but uh, apparently they're not. And that's that's the roughest part, is that obviously the Omnimex were easier to put back together. So let's see. We got an urgent matter, battle, polar, enemy company, strike fast, hit them before they escape. All right. 315 for 856. That should be enough. 
Actually, who are we fighting up against? I, I, I probably should double check who we're fighting against. Clan Fire Mandrill. All right, that's fine. 315. Uh, we've got A, T, G, W. Those are the three that I remember. And then there's there's probably more. Maximum 400 tons. We're a little bit heavy here. So the King Azakis, the Ripper, the Bunny Bludgeon, the Ex-Adventurer, uh, the Sun Spider. Let's go ahead and pull the King Azakis off. He's a little bit slow for this. Yeah. Uh, we got the Bunny Bludgeon. Definitely want that. Uh, we've got our Ripper. Definitely want that. The X Adventure. I'm going to hold on the X Adventure. It's fantastic, fantastic mech. And let's work with something else here. Yeah, we've got our... Okay. We have 205 tons. 205. Well, we've got our Tiny and Fancy back together. We'll get AV into that thing. Uh, we got our Sun Spider. Very, very flexible. I like more missiles. We dig it. Amiel in that. And we got another 60 tons. 60 tons total. So, can we bring a carrier as well? Is that possible? A mortar carrier? Or do we go backstarter and 15, and then we get a... We'll get the pogo low. There we go. We'll get death Clar. Actually, we'll get deaths into the pogo low. We will get Hegash into the backstarter. And all right, let's do it. Three and a half skill difficulty battle in a polar biome. This against Clan Fire Mandrill. We're going to go five minutes on the clock and we'll see what you think, yeah? We've got a bunnies right out in the open. These guys are amateurs. Get eyes on them and take them out. Good hunting, Commander. Olivera out. All the models you named are Omni. Greybeard, thank you so much. That's really exciting. That's really, really good news. That's very, very good news. We might actually just rebuild the Lumina from scratch if that's the case, yeah? It's definitely going to be cheaper. All right, let's just go ahead and set ourselves down in the middle here and see where they're at. How's your elbow and hand feeling? Um, it's feeling a lot better. It's not okay. perfect, but it's feeling a lot better than it was, Order. Thank you so much for asking. I've been to the doctor. I've had uh, chiropractic uh, care. I've had acupuncture, cupping. Um, I've been to maybe like four appointments since the last time that we talked, which is a lot. But uh, it, it's been great. It's been absolutely great. So thanks so much for asking, yo. Uh, Tiny and Fancy will just sidestep it. Not too sure where they are still. They're right in front of us, Sun Spider. Let's go in and we can climb over to the left. The nice thing about this map, we can crest from this position, get direct line of sight shots, and still pop back into cover, no problem. Pogo Low is going to convert. We're going to arm all of our SRM launchers, and we're going to speed on through the breach, straight over to the right. Backstarter's up. They've got a rifleman, it looks like. Is that right? Oh, no, 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 no. That might be a Lancelot, I think, yeah. Oh, yeah, the pinky. Sorry for forgetting. A lot of weed between... <laughs> I freaking love you, Ed. All right. No worries. No worries at all. You know, that is great. That's one of the best explanations I've heard. You know, I will take that. You can forget all you want, buddy. I just hopefully you're having a good time doing it. Yeah, at least he's honest, right? Right? I freaking love it. I freaking love it. That is fantastic. I can't ask for a better response. Yeah. All right. So we're getting on out there. We got a lot of evasive pip six yet. Name checks that, right? All right. Pogo low. Let's get in there. Full speed. Go Dennis. We got a Mad Dog, we got a Thor Artillery Vehicle, they've got a Fire Moth, an Arctic Cheetah, another Mad Dog. Looks like the Mad Dog's looking a little bit saucy, giving his butt to us. The Thor Artillery Vehicle's a little bit nasty too. We'll ping that Lancelot with a little bit of tandem. Hoping to catch, but I didn't realize that it had all energy hard points, yeah? I wish we could just take drug. Holy crap, you guys remember a lot, yeah? Good stuff for salvage. Darn straight, definitely. At three pick 12, this is gonna be great. I have a great feeling about this one. They may have rained on the Bunny Agricultural Division's parade, but they will not completely destroy the Bunny Ramen Operation's hope, right? All right, back starter. Let's go in and pull it around. We'd like to be able to ping these guys. Uh, we can give him the green, we can give him the side. Actually, how's our jumping? 48%? I don't know about that. Can we... Maybe we'll walk on in, jump on over 5. We'll come in on the 5, come in on the 4. We don't want to get too far out. Let's go ahead. We're going active for jamming. AMS Flare online. And here we go. Get them all locked up. And let's go in and ping this Lancelot. Beautiful. Oh, wait, what? Oh, no. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? Wait. <laughs> I 
didn't see him there. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even see the Pogolo there. Oh my god. Wow, I just killed the Pogolo. <laughs> Well, will the Bunny League win without any of them losses? That is an unfortunate no. Uh, that's a little too bad, isn't it? Oh, well. Wait, what? Oops. Friendly fire, right? I didn't even see him. He's so low to the ground. Wow. That's embarrassing. Oh, well. All right, Amiel. Let's go ahead and rock these guys. Here we go. All right, perfect. Amiel with the Warlord Cluster. I won the bet, so I forgive you. <laughs> a rig bet, right? It's totally a rig bet. Oh, that's fantastic. I, I will admit to rig bet on that one. I did not mean to do that at all, but uh, that's hilarious. Wow. That's a vibe check for sure. HB, you need to bring back vodka shots. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, what happened? Why did I see it? Oh, I'm seeing a lot of battle armor stuff go up in flames. In Yenin, there's a region called Haban. So if you're from there, you're Habani. Heck yes. Oh my god. Wow, that's not good. We're going to get toasted with a Gajia. We didn't quite kill the cycle. It's still active, but uh, it's 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 hurting for sure. Isn't that how we lost the other Cyclone Rider? No. Although we have hit the Cyclone Rider before, but we didn't actually destroy it. The, the way that we lost the other Cyclone Rider, we were right next to like a Savage Wolf, a Timber Wolf, and another Clan Mech, and they shot us out. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if that happened in the in the at least in the future. Yeah. Lost Pogo parts from Mech Warriors in fighting. Oh, yep. Hegaj is going down. We're going on our back. There it is. We got the knockdown. Oh no, this is so bad. This is what I was worried about. Because you can see we've got... Oh, Alright, we got a breach. So the backstarter might be out for the foreseeable future. If they focus in on him, they've got five chances to do so. All they got to do is pop off one of the sides. That's a total of like a hundred. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> well that pogo is uh, no more so cross your fingers for deaths hopefully he's okay see you remember how oxford was talking about how the computer delays when it has to figure out how dead you are that is the one time it delayed for us and that is not good at all yeah f f to pay respects i mean i mean i mean cross your fingers for deaths pogo more like no go that pogo went low <laughs> That Pogo went low. It went really, really low. Wow, what are they what else are they gonna do to us? Oh to the backstarter. Oh to the backstarter. Oh my god. Oh jeez. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe deaths? Maybe not. Cross your fingers for deaths. Artillery. Oh, yep, the artillery's going in. Oh my god. Oh jeez. How many do they have? They still have three more turns. Alright, Annie. Get out there. We gotta salvage this if possible. They do to us, wasn't it? Friendly fire. <laughs> Nightshade Royal, quad missiles. Oh, that's what hit us so hard. And we got the Nidhog with the bomb racks as well. Okay, um, the Mad Dog. All right, Warlord up, Warlord up. To the Mad Dog, drive him out. We're going Artemis 4. And sent. Que pasa, Pogo no go. <laughs> there we go. Almost unsteady, almost unsteady. They still have three. He's way at the distance from the mad dog. Pogo no go, it go blow. <laughs> it go bo Pogo no go, it go blow. All right, Ripper. Indirect. Uh, I mean, if we're going to work anybody, let's go ahead and uh, work that. Oh, actually, we can try Flak. We've got 0.9% chance, though. That's pretty bad. All right, indirect again, and we're going to try and work that Thor artillery vehicle. Come on. All right, one to the one to the arm. Will we survive? We might survive. Standing by. Tiny and fancy. Get around, tiny and fancy. Get around. We're going active. Do we have shots on high explosive? We do have high explosive. This is what Tank Hair recommended the ATMs for. This kind of damage right here. Oh my! <laughs> Tank high explosives, not that bad. Holy crap! Half the body gone, leg out, and down it goes. All right, we got here. Are they at the back? They've got Archer, Royal Archer, Mad Dog, Arctic Cheetah. 
Come on, come on. And to 26. They got another one here. They got another one. Getting a stutter on the stream. Oh, really? I'm not seeing anything on my end, but that's odd. Well, hopefully it clears up soon because it shows as green for me. A Twitch issue? Oh, thank goodness. I mean, that's bad, but also thank goodness. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so glad. When you go to a mission to put back together the mechs you lost before and you got to rebuild one more at least. Well, maybe we just don't rebuild it. We just don't rebuild it for now. We can go in with the uh, Phoenix Hawk Lamb, at least for now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wow. This isn't looking too good. On 23, where are we at? We're at... Oh, it's 17 now? It changed on us. Okay, I don't know if we're going to survive this then. We're at 17. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Uh, That leaves Arctic Cheetah. The Nidhog. Nidhog's gonna wipe us out. And the Thor artillery vehicle. Okay, okay, okay. Sun Spider, we're coming through. We're coming through. We've gotta start working these guys. Alright, Typhon. EMP. I mean, I guess EMP, because I don't think we can drop out the Nidhog on this turn. That's almost impossible with what we've got. So we're going EMP on the Nidhog. Hopefully we'll be able to get him to miss with the ERPPC. And send. Stack that. Send to repair. Stack that. Send to repair. That's a lot of center pair stacks. That is a ton. All right, ERPPC. He did not take the shot. Are we good? I mean, if I if I can just jump him out, I will, Anakitas. But I think the biggest thing when you call for the ejection, the biggest thing is we it has to be our turn to eject, and we are probably not going to last that long. Pilot incapacitated. Okay. Pilot's out. Pilot is out. Hey, gosh. Oh, wait. Pilot incapacitated. How? But he's still there. Wait, what happened? Pilot incapacitated. All right, we got a breach. Wait, he's incapacitated, but he's still there? What happened? That's weird. Uh. And this is why we generally don't bring the backstarter to heavier fights, but, uh. Oh, no. How is he? He's incapacitated, but he's still on the field. I'm confused. Exterminator. Bullet allergy. All right, pull it up with the Ripper. Who's up next on 19 at a range for the Archer? I mean, we could try and overheat the Archer. And send. We should probably turn on the enhanced imaging, though. Clan L or LRM 40. To the back starter. Yep. Yeah, that's it. That's it. How is he still alive? Okay, he's out. He's out. Wow. We didn't even get a chance to control him. Ejected of his own accord. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be using the backstarter anytime soon because we'll have to rebuild that, and that's a lot of tech that we don't have anymore. All right, to the archer, it is 54. Something like that has happened in the books. The pilot dies, but in a position where it looks like the mech is still active until someone hits it. Archers tend to run toasty. Yes, they do. All right, Bunny Bludgeon, AMS Mark II back online. At least we are in a safer position here. Nidhog rotated, the Nightshade, the Mad Dog's on the ground, 35, high explosive. And then we have the Thor artillery vehicle, ER large. Let's go in and... Oh man, this is rough. I guess we'll just ping the Nidhog a little bit. Probably needed to switch over to standard. I totally forgot. Mad Dog's back up, lost half the body, lost the leg. Only going to be able to limp. Not really going to have many evasion pips. Mandrills forward. Shot to the Sun Spider. This is the time, actually, to pull Amiel back through the choke point. He came out to try and save the backstarter. That did not happen. 25. He's moving at 23, so he should be able to move pretty soon. 25 is... This Fire Moth right here, yeah? Alright, that's fine, that's fine. They had been great, but it'll be hard to use them soon. You could use them, it's just not really that safe to use them, yeah. There are also stories of an outnumbered mech. All right, Sun Spider pulled through, flip it around. Going Vigilance to, to keep us safe. We're going active. We're switching over to Artemis 4. And we'll keep slamming into the Nidhog here and go. There are also stories of an outnumbered mech winning a battle when the friendlies reach the mech. They find that it has been headshot all the time. It was my whole one. How does that happen? Is that like a like a ghost story, an urban legend for Battletech? No? That is wild. Alright, Nightshade away. Nidhog is out. 
So we're able to take down two so far. And there's basically half a mech on the field. So the Lancelot is out. The Nidhogg is out. We can definitely take out the Mad Dog on this turn. There are many ghost stories, most of them fan-made. Oh my goodness. Well, I mean, aren't there mechs? I think I heard about, was it the word of Blake or was it Comstar? They had mechs that were sort of AI controlled or something like that. Isn't that something that could potentially be the case? I mean, that could be an explanation. Maybe it was in order to start that sort of fearful um, situation. And if, if, if they were headshot, I'm assuming they didn't even have the cockpit. That's what's scary. Maybe they have like, redundant AI systems inside the center torso or something like that, yeah? All right, we are in a much better position now. We are basically fighting from a choke point. That's fantastic. We just have to drop off and control line of sight. So that means nailing that VTOL, VTOL dropping that Royal out of the sky, destroying the only mechs that have a line of sight through that choke point. That includes a Mad Dog. That includes the Arctic Cheetah. Those three are going to be our main targets to drop first. And then we're going to go ahead and try and work our way and slice the pie and get nice angles straight on through. The Fire Moth could run all the way over to our flank, but by the time he does that, his friends are going to be dead. So I'm not too worried about that. Let's go in and try and drop out the Nightshade and Scent. I think they're a drone or remote controlled mix. This was back in the Third Succession War and before Comguard. Or oh, okay. There do exist mechs with no pilots. I thought it was remote control, though. Start burning the forest. Darn straight. That is what Elon Musk's robot is going to be in urban. <laughs> That'll either be awesomely cute or incredibly terrifying, right? Let's see if it can uh, take off and land all in one place. All right, a ripper. Ripper's going to keep the angle. Just back on away from the choke point. It's going to be the safest way to do it. We got the Arctic Cheetah. Uh, we're super, super close here. Try to connect uh, close in 27. Our enhanced imaging is on. It's going to increase our chances. And we'll go high explosive. Good connect. Got a breach. AV. We're going extended range. And we'll pepper him in from the damage side. Indirect. Get the crits. No crits there. I think that one was a DNI cockpit headshot, like your body dying while hacking in hot sim VR and Shadowrun having your body killed while astral projecting, also in SR. Well, the friendly pogo hit you, got you a bit off balance in the map, and the backstarter got down. You aren't in danger of losing, but will the gains be more than the losses? Ah, uh, I think it probably will be in the long run. Losing the pogo low, we still have a backup cyclone rider, and losing the backstarter, we still have the Phoenix Hawk Lamb as far as having a scout um, in that role. So even if we didn't repair them, uh, we didn't spend to repair them. It still will be okay, I think. I, 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 it's obviously not ideal, but I think we should be okay. SLDF did have the drone tech normally used for warships and security mix. That is true. We did see a lot of that in the Bounty Hunter and Black Widow um, uh, missions out there, yeah? Rosie, say your prayers. The Jetsons promised her Elon is making it happen. Rosie, the, the maid from the Jetsons, yeah? Stuttering again, stupid Twitch. Damn, buffering every three minutes. Oh, seriously? That's so weird. Thanks for letting me know. Although it, it, it is showing red on my side now. It is showing red on, at the moment. So, oh, we went back to... Okay, so it's back to green. So weirdly enough, my connection to Twitch went red for a moment. And then now it's back to green. So hopefully it's okay. I did restart all of my internet before we started. Just 30 minutes before we started. And I restarted all of my hardware as well. So just as part of standard operating procedures so um hopefully it'll clear up i'm crossing my fingers crossing my fingers for it but thanks for letting me know worst comes to worst we'll like play card games or something you think a bot in such a far future would have an ai of such a pilot's abilities over time that in an event of pilot death the ai would take over with the pilot's recorded skills now it's starting to sound like front mission yeah L losses are part of a mercenary mech company's life darn straight we're just recovering from those losses. Mad Dog at extreme range. We still have AMS Mark II coverage. Obviously, we had to sort of downgrade one of our AMS Mark IIs because we did lose it. All right, here we go. AV coming around to the side. The Tiny and Fancy with a Fire Moth. We've got him jammed. We're switching over to Standard, switching over to High Explosive and Scent. Oh my god! 
you flanked the wrong bunnies. Oh my god. That's a way to clear out lights, yeah? Single salvo to the fire moth with a high explosive 24 ATMs and two clan ER large lasers at close range. Yeah. Alright, Ripper. Back away. We're going into wrecked again. We're gonna go in and try and connect with the mad dog. And that is it. Mad dog out. Beautiful. So we dropped one star. We've got one star left. Bunny Bludgeon's got the direct. We're switching on over to Warlord plus one accuracy plus one on the clustering roll. And we're going to go in and dump that Arctic Cheetah straight to core. That brings it up to a star and one. That leaves us with four mechs and Vs on the field. Thor Artillery Vehicle, the Royal Archer, and that Mad Dog. That was a very gentle kill. Darn straight it was. I can't wait until we can get our LRMs back on the field so we can continue to be so gentle, right? All right, we got our Sun Spider. Let's go ahead and push it on out. I think it's it's okay to push over. Or I guess, uh, unless we can get a nice direct line of sight without exposing ourselves too much. There we go. Staying indirect to everybody else, but staying direct to our target only. And we'll hammer that Thor Artillery vehicle with a Thumper Artillery. The sign has 40, 30. 30 points of armor, 30 and 30 makes 60, so he's got 60 on the left side. He's giving us his right, so he's hiding that left side. Smacked us right in the face with a Thumper Artillery piece. Annie with a bludgeon. Push on forward. Vigilance to keep us safe. We're going active. AMS Mark II back online. And let's go in and work the undamaged side. Hopefully we'll connect to the front. There's the breach. And Thor Artillery vehicle down. Beautiful. We got three left. Three left. That's the Royal Archer, the other Mad Dog, and a whole bunch of coverage for the indirect. Beautiful. So we're now able to control that line of sight. This is really, really good for us. Ripper. We've got three. Not too sure which one this is, so let's go ahead and target the Archer and hope for the best. High explosive. I gotta turn that back to Inferno so we can burn them out. Missiles away. I kind of wish that we had the Bane that we attacked on our fateful mission, yeah? That Bane was absolutely insane. That Bane in Clan LRM 120. That was nuts, yeah? All right, we got our Archer. Still not sure what that is. We're going to switch on over to Extended Range here for 24. And can we hit anybody? No. Old. Hey there, Joke. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You're joining us right now. We're currently in a recovery mission. Hopefully you're doing well. How is my hand? Oh, uh, it's doing a lot better. It's still not perfect, but it's doing a whole lot better. Thank you so much for asking. We got a recovery plan. Been to like four different uh, therapists and doctor appointments. So overall, it's, uh, it's looking pretty good. Thanks so much for asking, yeah? And I gotta say, I'm really, really excited. Um, if you're unaware... I, when I was in a car accident, I actually, you know, broke my knee and I was able to get a special, I tore my PCL and I was actually able to get a special brace as well. So I'm going to be able to run again. That's going to be awesome. Yeah. He said for, yeah, no, definitely very helpful. Thank you so much, Greybeard. And Archer is down. We got breaches all over the place. Only LRM 20, not clan LRM 20 to worry about. Pilot is panicked. The mad dog is indirect. All right, single large laser. Not too sure what that could be on the enemy mech. I don't know what the tonnage is just yet. He's hiding that information. Could very well be with a null signature system, chameleon LPS or something. Let's get an assassin. All right, we got a stealth assassin here, a stealth assassin. When you were in a car accident. Oh, no, 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 back in 2002. I had a, I had a really, really bad car accident in 2002, and uh, it pretty much fractured me all over the, all over the place, but at least it was a while ago and we had a lot of rehab, so, so it was a good time. But I'm, I'm just very, very excited. It, it, life has been good to me. What can I say? It's been really, really good to me. All right, ham away at the exterminator. Give him the love. Heat up both. Beautiful. All right, tiny and fancy. We got that line of sight. We're going to switch on over to standard. Ah, let's go ahead and ping this guy. Here it comes. Stack those ATMs. Now he's unsteady. So that's going to make him lose all of his evasive pips. But he gets to gain them back or he can clear them or shoot. He's probably going to clear them. No, he's taking the single large laser shot. I'm assuming he's got Ace Pilot to shoot and then move. 
a strange guy. There it is. He does have Ace Pilot. He's moving. He was able to clear some of the stability damage. In so doing, we got our Sun Spider. Let's go direct here. Vigilance to keep us safe. Now is the time to come out of our hole and just hammer this guy until the spotter's gone. That's going to force the Mad Dog to come out. He's been staying indirect this entire fight. And we really, really want him to get out. Yes, yeah, so we're just going to get into cover. And away. HP was dropped into a surprise six skull. <laughs> I don't know it was six skull it was i guess it's technically like 12 to 13 rating right life's been good to me so far so your maserati did <laughs> i wish i had a maserati exterminator is a 65 tonner well that'll be nice i'm glad that the uh this is what we came across instead of something else yeah we should be able to drill that guy out pretty easily av is going to be able to come on over it's going to flush the mad dog out get on through we're gonna switch over to high explosive there's not gonna be able to be really much he's gonna be able to do and he is done there it is that's way too much damage way too much damage for him that leaves just the mad dog j rippers out and send the new high rating is 40 oh seriously yeah no so we were the one that we took on was a one and a half skull red and all the reds are at least 11 minimum so do with that what you will can you zoom in on the exterminator oh <laughs> i mean i can he was somewhere in the fire right i think he was oh okay there we go there you go friend this is the exterminator hopefully uh this helps out a little <laughs> yes that's the exterminator right there this one right here you can kind of see uh a bit of his pelvis left yeah all right sun spider uh we'll switch over to typhon and sent. He already went gentle on that one. Surprise six goal. Can't wait to see the loot box at the end. Uh, more like what was left of us. We almost had many, many bunny deaths and we lost a lot of tech. Um, but we made it out and we're trying to recover from it. Yeah. Here we go. Stack that acid. We stack the acid and we should be able to follow up all access with the Ripper. We're just going to hold this position and go. Just hammer away, hammer away. And back it up. Each skull is two. Green is 1 to 10, red is 11 to 20, orange 21 to 30, and purple is 31 to 40. Well, in this case, uh, we had a one and a half. So if you think about that, that's 10 for five green. Plus two is 12. Plus third, so it was a 13. We had a 13 skull mission with super heavies in it. That's what it was, yeah? Confirmed. Thank you so much, Cold Smoke. I didn't know it broke out that evenly, yeah? I guess that makes sense, though. Five for ten skull rating. So it'd be two per. All right, tiny and fancy away. ATMs. There we go. There, we got that breach. Pulling out of the fire. Standing by. All right, Amiel's going to zoom forward and close. EMP, Warlord up, and send. Hey there, Will. Very good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm doing just fine. Thank you so much for asking. Hopefully you're having a lovely, lovely Saturday. If you're joining us right now, we're currently in the middle of clan space, trying to recover from some of the losses that we suffered a little bit earlier. You had been placed with them in your left and right flank. No, that is true. That did happen. And we're going to go in with standard... I'm glad to hear it, Will. Glad to hear it. Hopefully, uh, I rem the last time I spoke to you, I remember you were, I think, working on a game, right? I guess we got a breach there. Beautiful. I've never gone beyond just green. I'm a chump and I like my medium mix. I think I think the big thing is that I, I really, really want a super heavy. So I kind of have to go above green. I think the big thing is that you never know what you're going to get. So far, prior to 1.1.8.0, if you went above green, like half a red skull or one and a half red skulls, and it didn't say dangerous, we have not seen any super heavies ever. So the fact that I was really, really excited, and I'm glad that they have super heavies now, because I was worried that I'd have to go in and do change the difficulty rating. So I'm, I'm glad that I didn't, yeah? One of my pilots just got blown up and won't be ready for 120 days. Heck yes! You're still you're making the 3D models? Heck yes, Will. High five, buddy. Hopefully it's going well, yeah? C 
seems you need more assault for red. Yeah, it would be nice if we could have more. A milk run, just as we expected. Good work, bunnies. I don't know about a milk run here. We have a win, but uh, definitely was not a milk run. We did lose a couple of mechs here, yeah? All right, let's see what we got here. Everyone's okay. Oh, I forgot to check if any bunnies are dead. Oh, crap. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Lancelot, Exterminator, Mad Dog, Nid, Hog, Nightshade, Thor. ERPPC, we might need a replacement. So let's hold. We still have some money, Thumper, Artillery piece. We could go double Thumpers. BC Energy, Case 2. Engine Excel to sell. We can do that. Fair Fibrous, we lost some of that. And then what we can do is grab a clan ERPPC because I know it was destroyed on the Lumina Xenia. So this is all in the name of replacing things. We got Nightshade, that should sell for a decent amount. Clan ERPPC, ER small. Engine core is gone. Sell this. Jump jets. Save the arms. Fusion engines to sell and the sensors to sell. And we're back up to 6 million. Beautiful. And it basically has like 5 armor. Oh! <gasps> Oh no. All right, bunnies. Um, apparently, well, Dex was in that pogo low. So, all right. That's unfortunate. Memorial wallet is burgers. 20 days. Dex is out. Bunnies have to pay respects in chat for Dex. He was struck by an enemy. Resolving display name on Battletech mech definition. Get object by string from ob... <laughs> We need your shovel. Oh. oh, such a shame. I guess Death Claw is going to have to bring up the rear, yeah? You survived the previous mission without death and died on that, yeah. I'm pretty sure we shot our own guy. <laughs> you killed Kenny. Uh, crunch means death. What voice change suits this? Uh, what, do you, what do you mean, pain? Friendly fire kill. Even the memorial wall is trolling death, right? Oh my goodness. Such a, such a, such a travesty. <sighs> All right, let's see. Let's back it on out. We'll take a look at the mech bay, yeah? Uh, let's see. Storage. We've got lights. So one thing that I learned from the bunny is from Terminator is you can alt left click and sell 421,000. At least it was a long epitaph. All right, next victim. <laughs> Medium. Storm crow. Storm crow's out. There we go. And we'll go to the bay. So everything's being repaired. The Cyclone Rider, uh, the Backstarter. Let's go ahead and drop out the Backstarter. And we're going to drop out the Cyclone Rider as well because they've got a lot more to do. Yeah. One lance on the memorial wall, right? Right? We got a full lance here. Although if we're if we're Clan Corsair, then you could say that we could come around with a full... We need five for a star, right? Howdy die. Um... A really, really unfortunate setup there. He he died bravely. Very, very bravely. Let's just put it that way. Yeah. Died very bravely. Struck by an enemy error. What a way to go. Enemy error program. Uh, yep, it's a total program glitch. I have no idea what happened. He died very, very bravely. That's for sure. That's the only thing that we can really know. Is that he died. Oh, God. <laughs> Friendly fire. <laughs> Friendly fire is a brave way to go. What can I say? A very, very, very brave way to go. He was derezzed. All right, 15. We'll bring that back. All right, what do we got here? HP. I did not stomp on him. I did not stomp on him. I shot him with some lasers, but I did not stomp on him. Let's just let's just be accurate about that. He was not stomped. Just just shot a little bit. This is fine. Uh, we're just going to go with our... You know, we're going to bring the uh, lasers over to the arms. Bring the SRMs tightly. 0.031. Grab that up there and drop this down. All right, beautiful. Obviously, we can also get some tandem rockets, but we don't have any on the follow-up yet. Bolt-on tandem on half a ton. I don't have a half ton here. See above, quote, bunnies are supposed to... No! <laughs> Did some of his targeting malfunction. One day do a poll. Humanoid legs or chicken legs? So burgers, he just punched him. No stop. I did Wait, what? What? No, I didn't. No. Absolutely not. That would never happen. Oh, my. PA jump jets. I mean, unfortunately, we can't get the uh, tandem. So we're going in for six. And here we go. We got the Pogo low under 53,000. Our back starter. Oof. So we don't have a replacement for sensor flight, so it's not going to be jumping as far. That's the roughest part. Repair all. What do we got? Jump jets. Ooh, that's painful. Okay. Um. Let's see. Armor up. Medium X pulse. 
No, it's small X pulse, right? We lost a medium X pulse here. We lost a small X pulse here. We lost a double heat sink. That's easy to replace. There we go. Uh, we lost one improved jump jet. That should be easy to replace as well. There we go. We'll do it like this. 0.686. So that's medium, small, ferrofibrous. We lost that. So we can go over and toss that in. 1.952. Tactic support, all of the above. Guardian ECM. We have a replete. We have regular ECM, not Guardian. We'll toss that in there, yeah. You were supposed to use your inner voice. Uh, unfriendly fire in reality. We know HB truly feels about us. I, someone I know can give you half a ton. It was the Mad Dog's Charge that finished what HP unintentionally started. So who got paid off to call in an error in the computer bot? What flashpoint did you get the Sea Riders in? It was... Oh, I'm drawing a blank. I'm drawing a blank right now. It was the... I All I know it was the Gundam one. I just don't remember what it was called, though. But it was a Gundam flashpoint where we got them. Absolutely. Uh, let's go ahead and bring this down to one ton. We lost a half. FCS Energy Slick Suite Sensor Flight Guardian ECM. Ferrofibrous. We can fit in one more, I think. We put ECM here. We can fit in one more jump jet. Did we have two? Yes, we did. We did. There we go. That's 0.258. That's 0.202. I mean, I guess... This is 317,000. Were you are the commander ate some damn good drugs or smoked it. Yes, that's true. That did happen. That, that was a thing. 0. 0.482. So I'm actually going to make this a little bit worse. Take a look at the movement right now. So we've got a jump of 10. We lose 15% because we lost the sensor flight and I don't have anything else to use there. So I'm actually going to pull off the AMS flares, which is a little bit dangerous. Obviously, very, very dangerous. Uh, we are going in with... Actually, do I have any... I don't have laser AMS. So what I can do... What I can do... Is I think... Don't we have a jump booster somewhere? I think we may have a jump booster. I don't remember where it is. I think I think it would be here, right? Lamb turbine, that's not it. Have we come in from the bottom, yeah? Your suspicious package. My filter doesn't work very often. I tend to blurt out my honest opinion or the truth. <laughs> Plus, there's a person in my neighborhood that looks and walks like an atlas, but it's impolite to draw the camera, so I don't have hard evidence. Uh, jump jets, jump jets, only 10. Gosh, this just doesn't jump as far anymore. Yeah, 10 still a lot. It's just not nowhere near as far. Half a ton. Fire control system, predator, standard. I mean, I guess we'll get SLDF. And then we will get sniper for now. And then for the cockpit, I mean, gunnery support to help. Small advanced comm suite. Just go like that. And then I guess we'll get the AMS flares back in until we can improve it a little bit. Eight days here, yeah? There we go. Only an issue if you get caught. I thought the name was something like that, but I also remember it sounding similar to the Bull Shark Quest. I'll get it in this kind of, kind of. I'm just not too sure. Yeah, I honestly don't remember what it was called. All right, so since Greybeard said that these Timberwolves are Omnimax, I definitely want to put one together. This one's ballistic. This one's got missiles, everything like that. Uh, we can go in with the Timber GW. We'll grab the A and the T. 107. All right, cross your fingers here. What do we got? Switch it over. We're going to the bay. G Great White Timberwolf. The Great White Timberwolf. And it is, heck yes. It is an Omni. That's fantastic. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and pull the Lumina down. It's 849,000 there. Right, we're going to pull the Lumina down. TWRC. Let's go ahead and scrap this one. We'll scrap this out. And then pull this in as a replacement here. Take a locust. Don't want to find out. What if he brawls like an atlas? Oh my. Alright, we'll get the repair. Get the armor up. And we're going to toss and we got the clan ERPPC already. So we got another one over here. We've got two. Uh, we've got clan double heat sinks. We need a kit. So we'll get that in. 
Um, this is good efficiency for cooling. Do we have LRM 15s? We do. That's one and two. Perfect. Um, I think we're low on Artemis 4. Oh, Artemis 4. Perfect. 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 FCSTC Mark II. Perfect. Improved targeting. So this one's a little bit different. It doesn't come with the experimental targeting computer in it, but that's actually good for us. So we'll go BC Artemis 4 to protect it. Uh, we've got tracking. We've got energy. We lost our headshot. Oh, no. We lost the headshot, BC. Where is it? I, I thought I could have sworn we had a headshot, BC. Yeah. Uh, we've got energy tracking Artemis ballistic gunnery. We'll go gunnery here like so. That's three tons overall. Uh, we're going to go and grab fair fibrous just like so. Keep that. That's five tons total. Engine heat sinks. We can put a plus five. We can get plus three if we need it. What if we do this? It's going to save us a little bit of space here, yeah? Hey there, Hawk Hunter 68 Thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the Bunny League. It's very good to have you with us. If you're joining us right now, we're currently trying to rebuild out our mechs because we ran into a bit of an issue, but uh, hopefully we'll be okay. We got LRM, Artemis 4. We're going to keep them in the legs if possible. Uh, we have very, very little else to utilize. Um, we've got... Our sensors, sensors tracker. There we go. In the, we got gunnery support to assist. And then for the cockpit, I mean, I guess an armored cowl for now to get injury resist. And we're a little bit low otherwise. Heat efficiency 78, 86. We will need an exchanger. And we will need some optics as well. So it's a little bit rough without it in the meantime. We'll just get a jammer at the moment. And uh, now we'll do it like this. Bit of an issue equals euphemism for buzz sun. No! <laughs> All right, we're going in like this. 24 days, 1.6 million. That's not too bad as a start. And then we'll work from there. Obviously, we need advanced optics again. All that kind of stuff. Uh, the kind of ghetto hop can hold, yeah? Derelict. Yes, the you're talking about the bull shark. The bull shark uh, flashpoint. All right, how long are we out? Let's take a look at what we got. Manage tasks. So 20 on the dire wolf, 24 here are the back starter. We're gonna bring these all the way down. And let's start. You can improve it over time, painted it. Uh, I'm not gonna paint it just yet, just because I wanna make sure that we actually get it put together where we can use it. And if I if I stop it to paint it right now, then then I'm gonna reset all the work that we did. Patch around the prom, borrow a mech warrior, no lasting consequence. Oh, the motorbike flashpoint. Oh, it was called Derelict. I didn't realize that. I run like a tire wolf. Even Atlas Man would catch up on me. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're getting another dire wolf in. Five. And hold. There we go. All right, we can get in a little bit more money. 5.15 million. This has been very, very good for us. Yeah. Very fast rebuilding. I'm pretty impressed. We'll get AV and with tactics here. I pulled up the video and you... Oh, heck yes! Well, then you know for sure. Was it called Derelict or was it Derelict? Cyber... Demik... Uh, Gramps... And we're good. All right, Command Center. And let's get in. We want to have about 2 million C-Bills to offset the overhaul as four Skull. I think we can manage now. By just as we mean dead, Clan Nova Cat. Or better yet, if they've got Clan Ghost Bear... If we have Clan Ghost Bear here, then we might be able to put together a Kodiak as well. We're now one part away. Proxy Duel. Four and a half skull. Sure. 557. Why not against Clan Snow Raven? Tex Gram. Yes, right? It's good, isn't it? It's so freaking good. Bunny Bludgeon. King Azakus. We're getting Chronic Toast in. And let's do it. Four and a half skull. Solo Duel. Polar Biome. Against the Clanners. We got one pick on this. We're going to go for a limb loss here. Hopefully, it's going to be a one-sided fight in our favor. Oh, it's a mad dog. This should be fine. In the name of Snow Raven, I hereby challenge you to this war for Gatekeeper. To the victor, the spoils. At least we're keeping casualties down to a minimum here. Good luck, Commander. Wait, keeping casualties down, Darius? Wait, is he trying to imply that we're going to die? This is odd. All right, here we go. We got this lined up. Push on in. Get over to the side. Hopefully he doesn't have any sort of... Yep, we've got this. Stack acid and send. 
Even Darius is trolling. <laughs> Alright, come on, come on. Hang in there, hang in there. Alright, we got it, we got it. Tuck in, get in close. Gauss dog. Controlled burst. And send. Got a breach? Alright. <laughs> Job done, buddies. Now we've saved some stuck-up governor their job. Time to get some rest, Commander. All right, bunnies. Total win, total win. Will the bunny league win without any limb losses? That is a resounding yes. Congratulations to those who had the faith. Very nice bet kit. That was a nice light. And that was fast. Darn street. I see your true color shining through. Clan McWarrior, we'd like to inform you. We are renaming your spleen to uh, the spoils. Yes. That was an awesome sneak in. That was awesome. Bopped him good. Dude, that was fantastic. That's the thing that I like about the Clan Hag 60 is the fact that you can usually get a breach and follow it up with a few right after, yeah? 492. King Azicus is all set. We get to pick one. Medium Pulse Laser Rack 5. Nice. End of Steel, Ferro Fibrous, Double Ammunition. I mean, I kind of feel like we need to get that get that uh, weapon because it's very rare that we see it. We'll sell off these two here. Here we go. Big Brick is set. We're going to go in and get that in there. We'll sign all this on over. We've got our UAC 5s. We've got one. We're going to put it on the right side. Look at that. It's saving us two tons. Two tons. That is insane. That is absolutely insane. Do we need more ammunition? We've got a UAC 5 double. We can toss that into the leg. 0.01. And there we go. Making us a little bit cleaner here. Big ship, big brick. It looks like a hair dryer. <laughs> this ain't Solaris. No making it last. We just kill them and get paid. Heck yes. Well, let's wait the one day. All right, big bricks in. Hold. And let's get into another one. We won't be able to bring in Chronic Toast. See, four skull. We've got three. Data scope against a Nova Cat Cicada or a four skull against a Rich Hornet. You know what? We're going in for the... We're playing the safer route because we are building things up a little bit. 315, 419, we'll go three. Here we go. Three skull assassination, polar biome. But now we can bring all of our missiles. This is exactly what we wanted. We now have Clan LRM 200 on the field again. We've got a Ripper. Fantastic. So let's get all access. We've got Animatter into the Bunny Bludgeon. We've got Amiel. Well, Amiel's in the Sun Spider will hold. We're going to need a replacement, so let's get HB into the King Azicus. We've got Gramps. We'll hold on Gramps for a second. We've got our Sun Spider. That's going to be Amiel. Our Naga with Crunch. 545. We could keep it a little bit lighter if we wanted to, right? We've got our Tiny and Fancy, and then we got the Tavar. We'll get Deathclaw in the Tavar. The tiny and fancy with a or with Demik, or or better yet, Av, and then Demik will go into our dire wolf. Here we go. Three skull assassination in a polar biome. I if you ask me, boss. Anyone who sends their VIPs out in a cicada is asking to be shot. Do you have anything helpful to offer, Yang? Hey, these little bastards are fast. So watch for the VIP to make a run for it. Noted. Bunnies, remember we're expecting a very heavy escort, so it might be wiser to hit the target and run for the LZ right here. Good luck and good hunting. Oh, baby. All right, what do we got here? So we're all set. Um, I'd like to be near the ocean if it lets us be. I remember we saw a little bit of uh, a sneaky, sneaky Nova Cat presence on the side. Um, it's letting us be way in the corner, which is actually not too bad. I wouldn't mind starting way in the corner here, although it would be kind of bad when it comes to our king crab uh, it still might be better just to be right here all right let's do it we'll drop and go let's be honest he is not wrong about the cicada yeah ready to this looks like a prime spot for an ambush definitely a prime spot for the ambush all right Tavar. so we're actually going to start out with land air mech mode first just so that we can see kind of a better opportunity to see where we're at Full in nine for Death Claw. He does have the plus two evasive pips when he moves. Heavy bunny fluffy toffy. Please no. Wait, what's up, Greybeard? Oh, it read it out.
Oh, it's green. Is it green again? Oh my god. <laughs> you, we see you being looking aggravated. Yeah, uh, my apologies. Yeah, Twitch is acting up today. HP. Yeah, no, we did a full restart. Not totally cut out. Okay, that's good, I guess. Oh my goodness, that's that's rough. Seems okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. Mute the mic and say the words. Sometimes you gotta just for kicks it straight today. Look stable, then come. Okay. Ooh. Oh, we're back to red. If you're, if it might stutter again. I'm showing red again. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna keep going. Commander. All right, Sun Spider. All right, sprint out. Let's see. We'll just close in. Affirmative. And hold. Go into active. I mean, it is a good thing. We could see you there staring at stats. Yes. I just, it keeps flashing back and forth between yellow to green to red and, and all over the place. So we're not too sure what we got here. Yeah. Yeah, the category may still be whatever it was from the phone, but I am not going to mess with it right now. I 100% refuse to touch it because it seems to be all over the place. Seems the death glare of the router seemed to do the trick. I guess it may be a bit unstable, but lowering resolution may help. I mean, a bubble, that's a great instinct. Uh, that's a great instinct. I think the big thing is that um, I, I've been updating sort of neurotically over the last few days, and I'm pretty sure everything's updated as far as I can tell. I mean, the only thing that's not updated that I, that I'm, I know of is my DaVinci Resolve, but that's video editing software. That's not really the, um, you know, Windows update or anything like that. Yeah, but uh, that's a great instinct. Honestly, it is. All right, what are we dealing with here? We've got our... Oh, the is that the cicada right there? Wow, I kind of feel bad for this guy, yeah? Go and flip it over, yeah? <laughs> Azekis, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Welcome, 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 raiders. Hopefully you're doing well. <laughs> Sorry about all of the, all of the issues, yeah? We're chatting the enemy mechs into submission. Oh my god, poor Cicada. So in your new role as benevolent dictator of your city, you should wave your hand and make municipal fiber happen. Yes. Receiving you. All right, we got our dire wolf. We are going to go... I mean, I guess we'll just tuck up a little bit. And uh, send. Hope to connect. Anything, just knock him down. They're doing the fiber install all around me, just not my house. I made it from 40 viewers to two. Yeah. Yeah, things things have been a little bit rough technically, so my apologies again, yeah? And thank you so much. I really appreciate it, man. Copy that. Uh, we'll hammer away standard. Come on, just any hits. Just drive him, drive him unsteady. Drive him unsteady. Or at least drive him on the knockdown, yeah? Surprised he was right next to us, and we didn't even see him there. It's kind of crazy, yeah? All right, King Azekis on the tuck up. There we go. And... Uh... Do we have you? Not quite close enough to drop that out, yeah? He's trying to run. He already got hit by a long tom and a thumper piece, yeah? Good to go. All right, we got X Adventure. We're a little too close for that, so let's go in and see what we got. They were behind us. We've got a lot of Vs here. Sun Spider, a Rifleman 2C, a Galahad. Uh, we've got a Nidhogg. A lot of choppers and VTOLs. Over here, we've got a Ripper. So a lot of VTOLs. All right, so let's go in and make sure that we're changing our facing. We got the Galahad. We all got all that kind of stuff. Let's go in and try and hit the mechanized Vs here. Inferno, Warlord, plus one. And we'll just start the fire. I'll give them the whole nine, yeah. There we go. Got a little bit of a... Almost a breach there. Deathclaw into with Tavar. Come in with a ping. And go. Knock him down. Heck Yes. And shot. All right, heck yes. Freaking beautiful. That's our target destroyed, Commander. Meyer, you ready for the pickup? I'm on station. Head for the LC. I'll catch you out of there. All right, so now we don't have to worry about him running away, but obviously we still have a lot of mechs in front of us. One, two, three, four, and five. So we've got at least ten. We got ten here, yeah. Not too bad. Out of all possible mechs, he decided to use the almighty Cicada. Darn straight he did. He really, really did. He kind of made a little bit of a mistake there. All right, they got a Sun Spider. Probably want to get rid of it. They got the Nidhogg. They got the Honor AAT, medium pulse lasers. This one has ERPPC and bomb racks. And then the Sun Spider with all the IATMs. Let's go ahead and Warlord up. 
And we'll try and hammer that guy. Stack him. 99, 63, and 59. Someone is shooting a Lambert. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what happened? This feels like using a sledgehammer to swat at a fly. We kind of did. We shot him with a long tom artillery piece. We shot him with a... Ooh, ow. Wow. Internal structure damage. All right, we almost lost the limb there. That would have cost the bet. What just hit us? Bomb rack? Was that a bomb rack? Ouch, that hurt really badly. That went from fresh to completely breached and almost falling off. Sun Spider to reposition. Attack helicopter. More VTOLs. I'm glad that we're still close together so we can provide support for each other. And on 19... It's a little rough when your sensor information isn't very good because you can't really tell who's who. Mechanized ICV. All right, beautiful. King Azicus. Let's line this up. Let's get rid of the guy who smacked us in the side. Aim that or sensor lock first. Lock him out. I'm pretty sure it was the bomb rack that hit us and nail him. All right, there we go. One VTOL out of the sky. Beautiful. The forest needs a name change. Shroom's Hill. Is that yes? All right, Dire Wolf. Indirect fire. Laser AMS in overload. Let's go in and keep working that mechanized unit. Nine. And there's the breach. There's the breach. Oh, my goodness. A little bit of Ripper is going to do him good. Yeah. All access. Speaking of Ripper, we're going to go in and line this up. Make sure we got the appropriate facing here. Arm indirect and go. Oh my god, he's still alive. That's crazy. I thought that would have been enough. He's already breached on the side, but it w did not connect. Bunny bludgeon. All right, here we go. Here we go. Lining up with a Nidhog. Warlord up. They probably have AMS flares, but stack him. Soften him up on the side. Soften him up in the front. And we got a breach on the rotor. I'll take it every day. He was able to stop all but nine. He was able to stop 19 out of 100. Tiny and fancy on standard. We're going to active guardian ECM. I'm hoping that we can finish off the mechanized ICV. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, I gotta say, a little bit, a little bit dicey. So we've eliminated three so far. One VTOL, one mechanized ICV. We got rid of the cicada. Obviously, they don't really hit very hard, but um, we definitely need to get Tavar out of here because he's in a bit of a pinch at the moment. So um, let's go ahead and pull on back, get those nine evasive pips. Sprint over. Calculate. Still going, still going, and bring it around. There we go. Better than naming it the Coal Factory. All right, for Tavar, we got Sight and Sent 25. Stack him. Standing by. Amiel in the Sun Spider. All right. We want direct line, especially for Artemis 4. Firm. And we're going to Nidhogg again and Sent. Hit that rotor. Or breach the front. There it is, a Nidhogg down. Holy crap, 170 LRMs drops the Nidhogg. That's two VTOLs out of five down. There's only three on the right side. If we can clear that out, we only have one star in front of us, a Galahad, a Lancelot, and all the all the rest. X-Adventurer over. Inferno. Uh, we've got our Palamus, Sun Spider, and Burnham. Heck yeah! <laughs> Heck yes! All right, beautiful. We will take that every day. Direct hits from arrows are fantastic when we're sending them. Galahad. Rifleman 2C. Oh my god. Four UAC 2s. Very, very long range. I'm surprised he's not trying to crest the hill or something like that. If he tries to push closer, it's not really going to do him much good. Because he's very, very fragile. But he probably doesn't have many opportunities to actually see us uh, without getting completely drawn out. Yeah. All right, beautiful. We do have three more on that side. The Ripper, not really the best for this. So we'll just flip it over, shoot to the left. We could connect with the Galahad. Give him that heat. Probably not the best for double Gauss rifles, but hey. 
If we can get him over Threshold, it's good for us. Or Gaunt Toasty, which is a usual problem for Riflemen. Especially with the UX. They do a very good job of keeping themselves hot. Nerf is make Yes! The Colonial Marines, yes! We saw that. It looks so freaking awesome, yeah? Alright, let's go in and work that Nidhogg. Stack him from the front. I think it was like $95, is that right? Is that the same one, Debeer? And it has a digital counter on the side or something like that? Yeah, 95 USD. I know you're all about the sweet honey water now, but doesn't your stomach lining miss feeling like that forest from the Naga Chili Vodka? Glad you stopped the masochism and feel better. So actually, I'm missing whiskey. I haven't had whiskey or anything like that in, in quite a while. Other than, I mean, you've pretty much seen the last time that I had it. Um, but the only whiskey that I have in the house is back there for Anubisoria. Yeah? Oh my, Azicus, thank you so much. Azicus, thank you so much for the huge tip. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I don't I don't know what it was for. What does this button do? Uh, do you... It, I mean, do you remember what it does? I mean, you can take it back. By all means, I can return it if you don't remember. But thank you. I really appreciate it, yeah? Maybe I have to order alcohol then. <laughs> Maybe I have to order alcohol. All right, tiny and fancy. So we got basically two VTOLs left. Drive right into them. Stack them. Okay, I'm glad you need to order whiskey now. How do you... Okay, I don't... I have never... Doesn't it work differently in Washington, I was told? I will need to order some whiskey. I would really like a hibiki, but uh, that might be a little bit more. But but thank you so much. I really appreciate that. All right, we're going to go wide, and we're going to EWS ping. We're just going to scout with this thing. Our right side is the good side, yeah? That's really generous. Thank you. Seriously. Lock on two. Lock on three. Beautiful. Enough pizza. Whiskey. <laughs> right. I'll see if they can... Uh, I'll see what we can do. Inferno away. Gosh, we're running so hot here. Sent opposite. And a good connect there. Beautiful. Amiel in the Sun Spider. In Montana, you can order drinks delivered with your food. Pizza Hut delivers beer. Heck yes. Why not Pizza Hut? Oh! Thank you so much. Thank you, Parody, for the cheered bits. Why not Pizza Time 2? Well, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. That means a lot. It. You have no idea. I will, I will definitely order something. How about that? Or I'll combine the two and I'll get a whiskey, huh? Yeah? All VTOLs are down. That leaves four. No drinking on an empty belly. All right. Well, thank you very much. Well, gosh, I... You know what? Just so I don't forget, I'm going to write it down that I need to order whiskey, okay? It's been a very long... Ooh, that... I forgot how much AMS coverage that is. Holy crap, that is so loud. I can't take much more of this. So one moment. Order... Whiskey. I guess I could I can go to the store tomorrow. Whiskey to the liquor cabinet. Oh, that's right. We've got a cabinet. But the thing is, I don't know if it'd be safe to drink any of that. Yeah. In Poland, $50 is enough for a gentleman Jack and some Coke. That is decent. Ah, okay. I haven't really had Jack Daniels very often, but I can try. Weirdly Twitch lists you. Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, I could change it. All right. I mean, I can, I can change it to Battletech, but I'm a little nervous to mess things up. All right, here we go. I'm going to try and change it. Hopefully it won't mess up. Dashboard. All right. Edit stream info. All right, here we go. We're switching to Battletech. Raid Rain. And go. All right. It should have updated now. Yeah. All right. There we go. Hopefully it updated. I don't think all the tags are there, but hey, hopefully it didn't uh, ruin anything. Yeah. Who did your music playlist? I like it a lot. I did it. I actually, if you're curious, it is from, oh my gosh, I'm so drawing a blank right now. This is from uh, Monster Cat. They're from Monster Cat. So I subscribed to Monster Cat Gold so that it's legal to use. 
and uh, we run from that, yeah? It has Crab Rave, all kinds of stuff on it. And it's what we use in the background. Yeah, and I'm glad that you enjoy it. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you enjoy it because it was one of the only options I had. I, I do dig it. Sun Spider away. Yeah. All right, let's go and wreck these guys. Woo! We've had a, a little bit of a technical doozy today, but we're gonna we're gonna get them. We're gonna get them. All right, indirect. Here we go. We're going high explosive. We're gonna slam into that Sun Spider. And for Anakitas, that's, I believe, Kalispera was good evening. Is that right? The other one was good morning, I think, yeah? Shower away, shower away. One armor left in the left torso on this. It's kind of hard to see them amidst all of this forest fire, yeah? Oh, hello, purple lasers. It is 410 A. Oh, so is it? It's still morning then? It's still morning? Oh, I suppose if you haven't gone to sleep yet, is the morning considered the evening, yeah? Kalimera is good morning. So still evening. Oh boy. Yep. Don't like that. That's a double Gauss rifle M7 from the Galahad. Yes, Commander. All right, Sun Spider. Let's get into cover. Get on over. We need to hit that enemy Sun Spider. We're going active. Warlord plus one accuracy vigilance to keep ourselves safe. And we'll dump in and drop out that torso. There we go. We got the breach. And enemy down. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It brings a lot of positive energy along with your positive. I'm glad to hear it, definitely. You have no idea. Really, really glad to hear it. Bunnies? A what breach? Bunnies, I, I, I just want to say, like, um, I, I know that, uh, like, I pride myself on trying to make the stream at least a little bit professional. So it, it really means a lot that um, you hung with me even when, you know, things are going wrong. So thank you so much. You have no idea. Smokey Bear says that only you can prevent forest fires. I know, that's the roughest part of it, is that uh, even though we can prevent forest fires, honestly, we try not to. Uh, we just kind of let them happen and, and, and see what goes on behind the uh, behind the, behind the curtain. Uh, we'll just shower this. We're going to go in with standard here, double arrow four, Warlord up. And we're just going to ping this Galahad all day long, yeah? I still have 75% rough. I guess I tend to sleep at 1 to 2 a.m., but still... Anakita, thank you. You can totally go to bed at any time, but I, I I appreciate I appreciate the support. Thank you so much. All right, let's stack these guys. High explosive, Smokey. Smokey Bear says only HB can start an uncontrolled burn. <laughs> I don't watch it because you're professional. I watch it because you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I guess something being professional is my way of paying respect to you, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Can is not the same works as should. I'm starting to develop the addiction. <laughs> It's only right since you get back on my phone and show us what happened. Oh, I guess. All right, and knock this guy down. All right, we only have two left. This is not too bad. We're making it back. We haven't really lost anything, which is fantastic. Um, repairing, repairing our Phoenix Hawk Lamb shouldn't be bad at all. Shouldn't be too expensive. And that, after all, is the whole name of the game right now because we are trying to recover. We are trying to do our very best uh, to make sure that we can get back in the saddle and. Keep up in the stakes, yeah? We want to get back to those red difficulty levels, yeah? Oh, holy crap! Jeff and Elliot, thank you so much for the gifted subs. If you show some love in chat for Jeff and Elliot, that would be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for taking care of the bunnies. I really, really appreciate it. Holy crap. Bunch of pyros in here. Hey there, Fuego. Very good to see you, yeah? Thank you. Uh, let's go ahead and lock out the very last one. Rifleman 2C4, UAC 2s. And hold. My goodness, that's crazy. All right, Berserker up. Vigilance. And we're going to try to connect. I don't know if we can. In theory, we could charge, but we'll come straight in from the back, yeah? That's awesome. Thanks so much, man. All right, and we'll go in and ping this guy at the back a little bit. Make him toasty. There we go. Uh, Death Claw in for the swoop and the punch. And we'll go ahead and uh, nail him. Here we go. Fire Fist as well. There we go. Good ping. And give him a little bit of burning. Perfect. Keep that heat on. Amiel's up. And sent. Slowly but surely. 
Crunch is not going to shoot. Crunch is not shooting. Just bracing cooldown. Bracing cooldown. We got a Ripper. Ripper is not going. Bracing cooldown. HB and the King Azekus full ahead. Obviously, he's going to be able to move. Hopefully, he doesn't absolutely destroy the Tavar. For a Rifleman, he seems tanky. For sure. Look at that. He only had 40 armor. We didn't really hit him that hard on the back, I guess. Uh, we got Annie and the Bunny Bludgeon. And away. Stack that on the side. There it is. How is he not? You can see it impacting there, yeah? Dire Wolf. Send 100. Fourteen. Fourteen are oh my god. Alright, tiny pen. This is it. This is it right here. I don't think he's gonna be able to stop this. We're switching on over to standard and go. There's the breach. There's the hit. Half the body gone. Beautiful. And death clar. Alright, we're all in. Let's go in from the back again. And do it. Give it to him. There we go. We gotta breach straight to the back. And dump him. Yeah, he's running pretty hot. Heck yes! Commander, the area has been cleared. Dars, give me the green lights to land immediately. Hold position. All right, bunnies. Total win, total win. Will the bunny league win without any limb losses? That is a resounding yes for sure. Congratulations to those who had the fame. All right, so overall, that was pretty good. Obviously, we had a breach on our left arm with our Tavar which is unfortunate, but we should be able to get out with at least a bit of a profit. 76,000 in the negative because of costs, drop costs, everything like that. All we need is a little, like a Nidhogg part, something like that. We should be able to recoup. We'll just do a double check arrow for one shot. We've got the clan ERPPC, LRM 15, always all about that, but we kind of need the money right now. Even though we're at 5.7 million, we're about to tick over in one day. Got to keep that in mind. Engine excels, we'll sell two. That should be enough for our money, so we can take something else instead. Guardian ECM Clan, Single Heat Sink Cooling, Ammo Gauss, MRM Apollo for increased accuracy. Always nice to have. I kind of feel like we should get that LRM-15, yeah? Three, two, and when Comrade was hurt, we Easterners care about each other, right? We got to make sure that he's okay. And to steal, we'll get rid of this. Two, three. We got the Guardian ECM anyway. We really needed that. We actually made out with a total a total ton of sea bills i will just stop by the mech bay and let's go ahead and do a little bit of house cleaning right storage up our lights will get rid of this that's 214,000 for an anure the nidhog let that 492,000 we're at 8 million 8 million we got the royal archer we'll get rid of that that's fine the assaults you know this is all good um yeah not too much else to do here make him a dfa highlander that'll be nice all right, what's the backstarter doing here? I know we had like another half ton, right? We do have that Guardian ECM that we just picked up, which was one and a half ton. So here it is. I think this is only still a ton though. So let's go ahead and pull. I mean, I guess we'll, we'll pull this down. We'll put this in. We're all filled up on slots, but we can bring the back online. 0.7. Um... This brings us to one ton. We could turn it into a medium X-Pulse if we have it, but we won't jump as far. I mean, I guess we'll just go in like this one day. That's fine. Here we go. We'll just let that be. We're a little bit under ton, but but that's okay. That, that's all we got to deal with right now. So far, so good. We can get almost everyone back together. This is fantastic. All right, perfect. Well, let's take a look at the command center. I think we can actually start to wrap it, ramp it up again. Three. Oh, no, I don't think so. This is a little too much for us. Um, let's go, we can go four and a half capture base, five skull recovery, uh, recovery. How about a four? We'll step it up to a four. That seems to be plenty for us right now. We're going to tick over in one day. It's going to cost us 2.2 million. Going to bring us down to 6 million sea bills overall. Not a bad start for the bunny league, yeah? Arctic rage was what? Uh, we'll have to see, yeah? A DP Highlander needs to be named Headlander. High spirits for AV. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, all right. So let's take a look at the command center again. Oh, three days out. Hold. One, two, and now we are set. Actually, before we do anything, let's stop by the mech bay. We do recall... Oh, hello. Tavar, get that repaired. Probably has, like, 
a servo or an actuator or something. There we go. Lower arm repair, zero days, zero payment. That's totally great. We'll back it on out. Obviously, we are remaking the Luminazenia. So we need to rename this one here. This is the remake of the Luminazenia, except this time she's an Omnimech now, which is awesome. And we'll set this up. I think we don't have the... We do have Artemis 4 there. Perfect. Um, we would need something like patchwork materials. That gives us 0.24. That's not really much. We, we're going to need more than this, yeah? Spiked fist, upper recoil. Yeah, this is all good. We'll just go like this, yeah? Locust needs 2B named fast low cost. All right, so we're good. Let's do it. Here we go. Command center's up. Four skull. Oh, and you said, what was Arctic Rage? Arctic Rage. Jealous Logic. Arctic Rage is a battle in the tundra. Four skull against Clan Snow Raven. Our scouts have observed Snow Raven military units. Several priority facilities. Well, how about this? Let's have you, let's have you ask, yeah? We can either do a battle, that's Arctic Rage, or we can do an assassination, that's that. Both are four skull, 60 seconds on the clock, and we'll let you decide, yeah? Or perhaps top hat for a DFI, DFA Highlander. We actually have three out of four of a Highlander to see, so I would imagine that we'd see at least one assault when we're taking on any of these right here. Um, obviously, they're going to be a little bit harder. The last time one, one that we did was one skull down. So I think we can manage now that we've got our mechs back. Yeah. Hey there, Tag. Very good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Joining us right now, we just got our mechs back and we're hoping to get them into um, a little bit of a step up of the difficult that we've been doing. Hopefully having a lovely Saturday. Yeah. Locust is chicken legs will get you far. Locust is also locust on a stick, which is actually pretty, pretty um, brutal, prevalent. And is the poll? All right, there we go. The poll is up on the screen. My bad. I was on the wrong scene. So right now we're focusing on Arctic Rage. We're half and half between the assassination and such. We're completely even. Seven seconds left if you want to break the tie. Three, two, and one. All right, we're completely tied. So this is how we're going to do it, okay? So this is Arctic Rage. This is going to be our battle right there. And this is Wonderful Leopard which is going to be our assassination target, the Timberwolf, all right? In three, two, and one. All right. Arctic Rage it is. Good job, bunnies. Here we go. Let's do it. Arctic Rage, four skull battle in the tundra. We're going to go, you know what? We might as well, we've got the money for it. Let's go a full 315 on this one. We're going to have to make the money back somehow, but you know what? It's going to be okay. All right. So we're going to be able to bring in uh, the biggest things that we can possibly get. We'll get Chronic Toes back into King Azicus as always. We've got Annie. Annie's in the Bunny Bludgeon. That's got Clan LRM 100. Uh, he's got Enforcer, Direwolf, and Bullshark. Perfect. We've got the Meek. The Meek is currently in which one? He is in the Direwolf, the Crab, and the Warhammer. Uh, we got all access in the Ripper there, yeah? Uh, Sun Spider, Tiny Infantil. Let's go ahead and pull the Tavar down. We're going to go ahead and grab... It's been a while since Superior Daisy's been in battle. Let's get him in there again. The Tiny Infantil, I'm going to hold off on this one. And we're going to go ahead and grab our big brick. Because we're going to test out that Clan UAC 5, right? And we saw that Demik liked to pilot that thing. So we're going to go ahead and toss him in there. We've got Demik in the big brick. Amiel in the Sun Spider, Crunch in the X, Adventure, Superior Daisy. Everyone is in their their respective mechs and av i think also pilots yes he does he does he also pilots the direwolf perfect so we got 690 tons 641,000 on the deployment cost and the last thing we're going to do is grab the clan hybrid carrier and let's go in and stick hp into that four skull battle in the tundra we have solid intelligence that the enemy lands is in the region and after all we know it's solid because it comes from me sweep the area find them and clear them out all right, beautiful. Well, let's see. I don't want to be across the water. I definitely want to be on their side. Uh, so if we do a quick sweep. It looks like we could start over here. This is not too bad. We have a ridge to play with. I'm all about that. So let's go ahead and start it in cover. Get that in there. Perfect. And I guess... Don't be open on all sides. Yeah, we're, we're right on the edge right here. So if, if they're going to be on our side, they'd, they'd be like right here. You can see we're in a corner right now, Anakinus. 
extra RATM will reunite again. Name Rage Against the Mech Thing. <laughs> You guys, thanks for the kind hat. Heck, yes, absolutely. Thanks so much for swinging on by, man. All right, Bunny Bludgeon. Let's go ahead and tuck on up. King Azekus. Laser EMS. We're just staying behind the ridge line. They're all far, far away. But I'd like to go in and fight our way up to the high ground here. So let's keep moving over to the right. We'll tuck up. Guardian ECM is to active. Set it all to Artemis 4 and go. And we've got our ex-adventurer. We're staying far, far away. Big brick to the four. We're going into active and sent. On my way. Lumina is back online. Fantastic with Superior Daisy at the helm. And then we got our carrier right back there with the Naga. Perfect. We're right in the right in the pocket right here. It's going to be impossible for them to get behind us unless they do a new drop. But it seems like they've got a plethora of mechs right in front of us. So. Um, I'm pretty sure we're safe back here. Pretty sure. 99% sure, yeah? Obviously, they got a lot to move. They probably have like 15 mechs and Vs out there, yeah? Bunny Bludgeon is going active. Oh, coming out for the sprints. We got enemy contact. All right, we got a Stormcrow. We got a Balak Spotter. Manticore 2C. A Mad Dog an Osprey, and another Timberwolf. We got two Timbies on the field right now. All right, our Dire Wolf. Walk it on out. We cannot shoot on this turn. We don't really have a choice. Pull the Ripper over. Sun Spider is going wide. X Adventure indirect. Big Brick staying near the water. And Lumina as well. Here we go. We're just getting ourselves set up. We'll tuck in behind the Ripper. And here we go. We've got at least... At least 10 in front of us now. Much better than that old song from several missions ago, Some Mech I Used to Know. Hey there, Cold. Very good to see you. Welcome. Sorry I missed you there, buddy. If you're joining us right now, we're currently fighting against um, the Clanners. It's Clan Snow Raven. And we have just put our lance back together again. And we're doing our best to keep it that way, yeah? Hopefully you're doing well on this lovely Saturday. Uh, we're going to switch on over to Inferno. Plus one accuracy. And we're going to try and keep the Mad Dog potential. I guess the guys on the high ground would be nice to keep them hot. Um, but they can move pretty quickly. So maybe we'll work... Yeah, let's go in and work the Timberwolf and the Osprey, yeah? Oh my god, I guess that's a lot of heat. Yeah, it's Saturday already. Darn straight, Azekus. We gotta plan a counter concert while I invade after we expend a lances of eight. Oh my. I remember the bunnies actually in the Bunny League Discord talking about the difference between BXCE without the mission support and the ability to bring on more mechs. I really, really do like the small combat for sure, yeah. It's Sunday in the EU, darn straight. All right, on high, the Balak Spotter. We've got more than enough to take this guy down as long as they do not have AMS coverage. Send it straight to the front. Burn through, burn through. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, the bunny league curse for sure. Oh, no worries at all, Cold. Thank you so much for swinging on by at all. I really, really appreciate it, man. I hope that you had a good time with your family, yeah? We shall. It must be done. All right, a miss with a clan or PPC. I'm guessing that was a Storm Crow. Superior Daisy to the four. We'll push on up. Only one with the direct is the Balak Spotter. We're just going to go ahead and we're going to send two ERPPCs. There we go. Save on the ammunition. We only have three tons now. We used to have four. But unfortunately, you know, we lost a few things that we had to replace. But at least, hey, at least... Now, Lumina is faster. Previously, she only had a 300 rated core. Now she has 375, and that's fixed. So that's freaking awesome. So granted, she can't carry as much, but boy, can she move a lot faster. And the nice thing is Superior Daisy is built for evasion. So I'm sure he's a very, very happy clam right now. All right, we got the Meek Gamer. We're bringing this around. We're coming straight in, shooting right over Superior Daisy's head. Hopefully we're going to be okay. Warlord up plus one accuracy. And we're going to dump in the new Clan UX 5. No joy. No connect there. But that's okay. Stormcrow's definitely quaking in his boots. They got 20 
Initiative 20. They've got the two on the hill. These are the ones that we're burning, the Timberwolf and that Osprey, yeah? You are, heck yes, high five superior. Hopefully we'll be able to use your mobility to our advantage. I know that because you've been focusing on piloting, your mo you have the mobility ability, so you get an extra evasion, you get extra movement, things like that, yeah? We shall rehearse the song Mechie's Farm. <laughs> Osprey in. Oh my goodness. And the Timberwolf. There's the two on 20. Stack to Amul. I kind of feel like we need to remove them. Because they've got some serious firepower in direct line of sight to us. So let's go in and shift. We've got our King Azekis. He's all set. And we're going to go in and try and ping the Timby. Clan LRM 20. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful breach on the arm for that clan large heavy laser. All right, we have even more now. They got more dropping. I don't know if they're going to bring a uh, Kodiak, but hopefully they'll bring something big, yeah? It seems like they're far, far away. I'm guessing it's an archer. Yeah, they got an archer 2C way back. Oh, it's damaged already. I did not do that. How did that get damaged? That's odd. Thor artillery vehicle. I like to get rid of that as well. All right, Annie and the Bunny Bludgeon. We're going to come around, bring it on in. I ain't going to LRM for Maggie's father no more. All right, stack up Artemis 4. Wait, did you say Superior was a happy clanner? Quick, shoot the clan. <laughs> Cold, ixnay on the spiest day with Superior, right? We don't want another sauna incident, right? Hmm. But no, I meant, I meant he's happy as a clam. And send, 72. Soften up that Stormcrow. Love to hit the Timberwolf, but he's not making himself visible at the moment. Timberwolf is definitely unsteady. We can push him just a little bit more. We need more Sana, not less. Oh, no, we need a lot less Sana. We need all the bunnies that we have right now. We're low on pilots. So who was the clanner? Nobody? Nobody was a clanner. Everything's fine. You'll see. You'll see. You'll you'll be so impressed at how much everything was fine, right? All right, bring it around. Uh, ping to the Stormcrow. This is the Bunny League. We normally let HB deal with pilots. Clam. I'm no dirty clam clanner, but don't tell Lumina. I said. <laughs> I said happy as a clam. How? There's no clan clam. Oh wow, that's hard. Can you imagine? Welcome to Clan Cla Clan Clam. Clan Fire Mandrill. Clan Ice Clam. Clan Clown Clam. Hope that bullet only grazed you. Wait, did I miss another? No, no, Chappie. Everything's fine. There, there were no. There was nothing about that. Repeat after me. There is no clan in Basingse for what? Thirty. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn on EI. And send at 33. Confirm. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> we gave it the one two punch. One hit the Osprey, one hit the Timberwolf. Fantastic. Clan Shore Clam. Clan Volcanic Clam. Clan cl Clan Calm. <laughs> clan Clan Calm. Clan Calm Clan. God, that's so hard. Why? Man said eat. Hey there, MC. Welcome. Clan Cold Chrome Clam. Back from my walk? Are we bankrupt yet? Absolutely not. A gecko? I'm proud to say that we have six million sea bills in the bank. Darn straight. And everyone is repaired. They seem to dislike your sun spider. Well, Amul is a total beast. That would explain it. The clam guards of Clam Star. Clan Concar- <laughs> Clan Concarne! Yes! Oh my god, that- I don't know why, but that sounds so delicious. If I could get a Clan Concarne, I would. Clan Concarne with clams. Or that- I guess that would be- Clan con carne con clam. Oh my, oh my gosh. I can't even right now. Ooh. All right, Ripper. All right, we, we, we need to focus a little bit. Crab, star <laughs> crab stars. Oh my gosh. I miss the days when I would eat crab. Crab pot? Oh, wow. Crab pot with... Uh, they had garlic butter and crabs. And they had a dewy sa sausage. Cuckoo at you. Actually, there is a V, I think, that was called the... Was it the... the Cuckoo? Cuckoo? I think? Cuchu? Or something like that? 
All right, Dire Wolf, what do, we do? what do we got? We need to knock this guy down. We're going to crest. We're coming on top. Everyone's going to hit us, but it's going to be worth it. Artemis 4 for a V. We're going to go ahead and tag that Timberwolf and knock him down. Give him 100. There we go. And down he goes. Beautiful. Clan Linguini with a clan. So oh, now you're making me hungry. You're making me very hungry. But fortunately, I'm, I'm going to be able to order some whiskey, maybe have a little bit of... Clan Concar- Clan Linguini Concar- <laughs> The silent clan mechs are ineffective on Death Star. Oh my. Alright, Mad Dog away. Very, very dangerous mech here. Mad Dog with- Ooh. Ooh, that's a lot of- lot of weaponry there. Clan Pizza. Why oh, miss the days of eating crab? Uh, I'm- I'm vegan now. Raven was vegan and then I ended up- She cooked so well, I ended up vegan as well and then- Kind of didn't go back after that. And now if I if I do eat non-vegan things, my my stomach doesn't do so well. So that's why. You wish you didn't try pizzas we had today. What a surprise, right? Right? Or a crab pizza either works. Clam linguinis con carne with clam. Oh my god. I gotta say, that, that sounds so good. It kind of reminds me a little bit of like um, carne asada fries or something. I mean, obviously with linguine and clams and things like that. One of my favorite things to eat when I was in Italy was... Um, Penne con pesto with mussels, which is very similar to clam linguine con carne with con clams, right? Clan con carne needs some bachal sauce. Heck yes! My sympathies all eat your share of the meats. Uh, you know what? Please do. I will live vicariously through you, Fuego. Three large pizzas. We five people couldn't decide which one was the best. Oh, that sounds amazing. That sounds amazing. All right, X-Adventure, let's go in and work this guy. We're, we might as well go in for the heat. Straight to core. Wow, we're getting really hot now, aren't we? I wonder, maybe we need more cooling on this thing. Previously, we were able to shoot this every single turn, but since we've revisited this thing, we, we haven't been able to keep ourselves cool. I'm, I'm curious if it's our clan exchanger or not, yeah? Run away. The op four has dropped several lances of crab stars and coin stars. The best pizza is the one closest to your mouth. Darn straight. Oh, come on, Annie. Hang in there, Annie. We got to get him moving again. Superior in the Lumina. All right, beautiful. Let's go in and tuck it forward. Artemis 4, all armed up. Let's go in and drive this Timberwolf out, and we are going straight to core. There it is. And stack up. Beautiful. Timberwolf down. Timberwolf down. Clan up, all ya. Heck yes. We got one down. A big one at that. A Timberwolf. On top of it, they all came in fresh and hot. Three totally different flavors. Heck yes! God, pizza's so good. Pizza is so good. So I was doing a destroy base today when I had a special dire wolf. When I saw what it did to a heavy V, I knew what it had on it. So after the mission, they had four of these from the dire wolf. Only able to get the bundled three now. I need the ammunition. Had this last year. The range isn't great, but it can be devastating. What is this? Rotary AP Large Bore Gauss Rifle. Six tons? Uses RAP LBGRM. <laughs> it's six tons? Oh my god. That's insane. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, Rapple BGR ammunition. What did the world. Oh, yeah, all right. We, we, we gotta nail these. Let's nail him, nail him, knock him over, knock him over. That sounds like everything in this direction just... It dies. Everyone loves it, right? Six tons, seven letters. Seems low for 120 damage. That's insane. That's crazy. My goodness. All right, let's line this up. Let's knock this guy down. Line him up and knock him down. Give him that ping. There we go, there we go. And down he goes. 120 damage in six tons. That is action economy. That's crazy. Slap two of those on a mech and you have the same damage as- Oh my god. BFG 9000 is frightening to say the least. 200 points, anything it hits. That's crazy. Rapple Burger sounds like a dog going after a sprint. <laughs> Rapple Burger. King Azicus, let's go ahead. Drive out this guy. He's on the ground. Straight to core. That's the delay we like to see. Heck yes! All right, another one down. We got three down, three down. But oh my god, they are multiplying. They are seriously multiplying. Oh, they got a Helepolis back there. No freaking way. 
Hang in there, Amule. Wow, they have so many on the field right now. All right, all axes. Can I have Hag 80? Yeah, I would love it. We saw a Hag 40, another one out there, but we were unable to get it, unfortunately. Um, 33. Enhanced imaging. They got the crossbow. They got... Oh, my God. They're all grouped up here. What's our chance to hit? Go. Oh, I wish we... I, I sure hope they stay grouped up like this. I want to hit them. I want to hit them with our with our burning. Hairband mech will suit you, boss. It comes with long, pointy ears. Is that from the, the spoof? The spoof battle tech? I think it was a critter tech, yeah? Probably that oversized mech 9000 should be the primary target to get off when it appears. Our chance to hit it is screw it, hit the button, need to mine those buggers. Yeah, I would... Yeah, we need it. That would be awesome. I would love a Rapple Burger. Move on, tank. Kill suits me. Hold. Oh my goodness. Amuel's. I don't know how Amuel's able to dodge all this. It's kind of crazy. Uh, give him the fire. That's right, Cold. That is the way. I mean, they've got to come through on this hill right here. Thor artillery vehicle. Ah, oh, man. So many targets that we need to hit. Looking a little soft in the middle here. AV, Dire Wolf. Uh, well, we could step it up. We could walk it back. I mean, we'll just slowly back on up with AV. Well, we've got direct line on the... Oh, we've got a direct line on the Helepolis. That's nice. we got the crossbow. Uh, we got the Griffin. And we got the Grendel. Griffin probably has a clan ER PPC. Maybe. But I feel like we kind of really need to hit that Helepolis. But we've got a much better chance of burning this guy out. 110. All right, we're going for the better hit chance here. Hairband mech is still in the blueprint space. Is it uh, something you're making yet? Call me crazy, but my builds are like, oh, you're in range? I Goodbye. I guess. I said it. They seem to hate your sun spider. And I think it's by AI design. They just see which mechs with significant firepower seem to have less armor. No, they did. A, they're doing a great job, Anakitas. Um, I'm just glad that Amiel is so dodgy, yeah? I gotta go, HB. Thanks for the stream. Glad to see your fingers doing better. Enjoy your weekend. See you next stream. Joke, thanks so much for hanging out for a little bit. I hope you have a really great weekend. We'll catch you later, man. Always good to see you. Have a good one. Yes, All right, carriers up. Carriers up. I mean, I'll stay high. I mean, they'll probably shoot at this and then we'll lose HP, but that's okay. Let's go in and lock up. Uh, we got 37, Artemis 4, and we can talk. Poke this guy down 28. We're not in range here. Let's go in and lock up the mad dog. I've got a sensor lock. Switch to extended range. Extended range for all. All we got to do is knock this guy down. And send. Aye, aye. Was that enough? Heck yes. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Is that an LRM direwolf? Yes, Inquisitor. That's the... <laughs> We've got two of them. We've got two heretics, yeah? See how they focused last time the backstarter because it was a 45 tonner with significant firepower? It makes sense. It makes sense. I think the big thing is, is that no matter where we move him... He, he's gonna get hit, so I kind of feel like we need to move him in the best place where he can actually do some damage. That way, if we can get guns off the field faster, then it's gonna be less damage to him, I, I believe, yeah. Alright, Bunny Bludgeon, we'll just shift on over. He's on the ground, we're gonna folk- ooh, that's that's not so good, is it? I guess EMP, I guess listen- alright, we're going listen kill here. And we're gonna come in straight to the right side, dump him. They want to lower your damage on the field. Yeah, no, that makes sense. I mean, we're basically trying to do the same thing to them, too, yeah? Is he out? He's panicked. He's not completely out yet, yeah? Imagine that. Not too crazy build, but because of the range, it just does the kills. We've got two clan gauss rifles, a heat bank, and... I do remember this one. I do remember that build, Azicus. That is a good one. We ended up using that quite a lot, yeah? Oh, 35. Okay, now we got to pull Amuel indirect. Taking heavy hits, Commander. Helepolis shot. Unsteady. 17, 17. Oof. Reporting heavy damage. He's on 22. They still have three, yeah? Toss two of these in the lance. I think the, the biggest thing is, is getting the technology to use it. I think we only have two clan gauss rifles at the moment. Grendel. Fifteen. I can't take much more of this. And they still have two. Oh, I'm not liking this. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, it's an archer. Of course he's got LRMs. 
15, 11. Wow. Took a hard hit there. And then they got another. Who's up last? Multi-terrain vehicle. Oh my god. It's a little bit. Not enough, not enough, not enough. 11. Woo! Oh boy. Wow, that's rough. 25. Who's on 25? Who's on 25? Oh, and of course they're close. It's this little guy, Miss Lynx. Where's he moving? If I were him, I'd come in closer. They've got the surround for the most part. Hide it further from them. I mean, there's only so far we can go. We started in a corner. I mean, we can get him back here. But we can't do that in one turn. And again, the, just like when you were saying we should eject, we don't really have much choice until it's our turn again. And they hit... Commander. Who did they hit in the head? They hit all axis in the Ripper in the head? Ex-Adventurer. All right, who's up next? We got 23, 24. All right, bring her back with a Naga. No problem. Grendel, Telepolis, Prowler, 32. Double Arrow, Double Inferno, 29 and 32. All right, maybe we'll just go in standard and try and drop this Griffin out. Send. There we go, there we go. It helps. It's not enough to take him out. Oh, I didn't realize he had an NSS. Superior Daisy's up next. 32. Not so good. The Mad Dog. The Manticore. The Osprey. How much armor does he have? 110? Or we can hit that Helepolis at 38. Okay, we're coming around. Coming around. To the Osprey. Amping. All right, good connect. That was a really, really, really solid salvo. All right, Amiel. Amiel, Amiel. Visions, clear the stability damage. Let's go. And we got to get out of here. Make sure we're oriented correctly. We're sprinting away. Give him our right. And we can hit the Osprey. All right, we'll take it. We'll take it. We're switching on over to EMP. Magpulse dump him. And if we can, drive him over that threshold. Is he unsteady? And he is unsteady, so we lost all the evasive pips. Perfect. And that's a perfect lineup for a dire wolf. Play it right on the edge. So AV is currently in the open. He has no resolve. So he's completely open to full damage shots, but we're taking this moment to keep driving into the Osprey. We got that breach. Beautiful. And down he goes. Fantastic. Yeah, the Sun Spider barely survived somehow. We're giving him a right side this time. We're giving our butt as well. And he just sprinted as fast as he could possibly go. He can't go any far faster, yeah? He's still kind of up near the front, though. And they shot the, they shot a Ripper right in the head for all access. Superior's tanking at the front. I'm going to have to use mobility on the next one so we can get squeeze out one more evasive pip on him. All right, Bunny Bludgeon in the Annie. Let's see, what do we got? Obviously, we can hit this guy when he's on the ground. Uh, we'll tuck up. We've got the armor to take it. Listen, kill. Uh, let's go in and dump into him and drop him out. Drop him out. There it is. All right, beautiful. So we've taken out four. We've taken out four so far. It's slow going, but we're slowly making it through. The Helepolis is still there. They still have the Thor artillery vehicle. They've got a lot of indirect firepower to bear. So we're just going to push on forward with Big Brick. Position confirmed. I want to start working that Helepolis, even though it's really hard to hit him. We got some pretty good connects, though. I dig it. Commander. Carrier. Line it up on the missed links. Switch over to standard and go. Stack him. A little worried about the kind of payload that the Mist Links can deliver. Super, super fast, super, super light, but uh, ooh, they can punch depending on what they got, yeah? i kind of given up on shelling this all with fire so far, yeah? Greybeard, thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you have a great weekend. We'll catch you later, man. Have a good one. Uh, let's go in and drop him out. Copy that. 
and Miss Link's down. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So that's a first five here. First five are out. We gotta keep wrapping up the flanks. So we can drive out these guys here. That's only gonna leave the ones in front of us. And we can play with a ridge line here, yeah? Happy hunting, good night, HB and Bunny's order. Thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you have a good one. We'll catch you later, man. And we're on 17 right now. So we know the Grendel is in the back with 17. We've got our Grendel up front with 17 as well. His UAC 5 is currently jammed. I don't know. That's a third. And a second here. So we've got a Manticore and two Grendels in play. UAC 5 is on is jammed. Manticore pulling away. A big connect on the left torso. That hurt a lot. And of course, we got the Grendel in the back line right back here with Clan LRM 30 and a medium pulse laser and an ER small. Probably still trying to figure out what to do from way up there. I mean, if I were him, I'd just come down the hill, dump the LRMs and call it. Drive up that unsteady, drive up that instability. Fortunately, our right side's mostly to the enemy with Superior Daisy because his left side's a little bit soft right now. We got all access. We'll just hold his position so we have maximum, maximum accuracy. And we'll try and hammer in to this guy. All right, we got one connect. I will take it and we'll just hold. No point in moving, even though we got Ace Pilot here, yeah? All right, we'll catch you a little later, Cold. We're on 16, initiative 16, so an archer in the back line. They got a Mad Dog Prime back there as well. Oh my goodness. Wow, they've got... I feel like they're trying to keep up with us with the number of LRMs that we have on the field. And they got another. They're all grouped up. Double archers back here. Our left is now 49. <laughs> Maybe we all need to go indirect, and but they still have... Oh, but if we do that, at least this guy's busted on this side. If we try to connect with that, we can breach that open. But we really got to get rid of the Helepolis. And we already started working on him, and I don't want to keep switching targets. It's just been really, really hard to hit the Helepolis from this position. So I kind of feel like... But it's kind of our best shot, you know? If we're... At least we've got direct line of sight on the Helepolis, no matter how low the chances are. The only thing that we can really hit him with is the Ripper. So we keep the pressure on. We could hit these guys with the Ripper, although we did get a good shot on the Lepolis, and that drove his heat up by quite a lot. Rose's stability damage is probably going to clear that now. Yeah, he cleared it. And he whiffed with the Ballistic Hardpoint, but uh, we are we're suffering some serious shots here. The Griffin's finally back up, Initiative 4, so we know it's time for the next turn. But I don't think he really has much in the way of weaponry to worry about, yeah? There he is. Yeah. He pretty much has a crit missile launcher. Oh, I thought we busted his NSS. Wow, and he's still able to connect with a crit launcher for seven. Still decent. All right, what can we do? Sun Spider. Keep our distance. We will give him our right like that. Vigilance. I mean, I guess... Crossbow, we'll switch over to Artemis 4. 30 on the crossbow. How is it to hit the Alepolis? 20%. I mean, we might as well do it. Here we go. Keep working that Alepolis. I feel torn. I kind of don't know if this is actually the highest priority. He hasn't hit us very much. It's just terrifying to have artillery on the field. All right, X Adventurer, staying indirect. Arrow 4. Warlord up. We're going to try to connect with the Alepolis. We're running hot. Do we have anything to cool that down? No, we don't. So send one. All right. Artillery misses, right? All right, Superior's got to get away. Uh, let's see. So we're going to use mobility. Gives him plus two maximum evasive plus 50% run speed. We will pull back and give our right like so we've got a direct line here on the crossbow 
and away. Oh my god, that was a crazy shot. Basically flipping a 180, sprinting away, snapping around and popping off two clan or PPCs and clan LRM 30. Not bad at all. And connecting right on that right torso. We've got to get King Ascus forward. He's kind of slow, but we've got to get him to the front because he can definitely take a serious, serious beating and return it all the same, right? Uh, we're sitting on 20. Then we get two on the next turn. So we've got two Grendels going, I believe, right? Oh, the Griffin. Single shot to the Meek. And he's able to connect really, really well. I'm actually yeah, very, very fine. impressed. And we can pop that crossbow and go. I guess half the body gone. Beautiful. All right. Finally, we got King Azicus on the field. All right. Vigilance up. We're getting up high. Or at least a little bit higher. And the crossbow's open. And dump him. Dump him out. So he's not dead, but he's definitely opened up, yeah? All right, bunny bludgeon forward. We've got the armor to take it. We might as well. Now let's go ahead and dump into this guy. We're going to switch on over to Artemis 4. We have 1,100 rounds and go. All right, crossbow off the field. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then, of course, I would love... Let's just go in and dump the griffin out as well. It's still up close. Don't want it there. All access. You know what? Let's just let's just hit this guy. There we go. Griffin down. Beautiful. We got a line on him. We're coming out in the open, so hopefully they'll shoot at King Azicus. And ping. Ping that Alevolus. There we go. Oh, nice. Not bad at all, I guess. Alright, Demik. And go. I guess. Still has sniper artillery. Unsteady. Bunny bludgeon. Push it in. Clear the stability damage. 54 and go. Dump him out. Nail him. There it is. Oh. Thanks, sweet baby Jesus. That's amazing. All right, here we go. You know what? I'm going to have HB out in the open. He's going to sacrifice his life. We're going to go in and lock up this mad dog. Artemis 4 and high explosive. And we'll try and do something to this guy. Oh my god. Close range carrier is a little high risk, high reward. Open him right up. That's beautiful. All right, dire wolf. Line her up, and we've got to drop out this mad dog for sure. Send it. Stack it. There we go. Mad dog down. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. In general, I like my heavies with shotguns and rocket launchers and more armor piercing for snipers. I'm guessing the jump jets on the snipers help you to get to high points, yeah? All right, here we go. Chronic's up. Stack and finish him. There it is. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Banned by the Ares Convention. Thunder gas ammo. Burns, melts, and causes EMP. Excited muscular. <laughs> and we'll dump into the Thor artillery vehicle and go. Hopefully we'll finish this off. He's got a breach on the side already. Heck yes. All right. It's starting to come around. This mission didn't have extremely strong mechs, but they are sort of overwhelming you with numbers, or at least they try. Darn straight, Atticatus. All right, big brick. Let's go ahead and clear that stability damage. We're just going to go in and walk it back. Give him the right side. And we'll start working this. Some really, really nice pings there on the multi-terrain vehicle. All right, Sun Spider. Cycle over. On the move. And nail him. 17. Heck yes! Heck yes! We got a line on him. On the Manticore. Give him our right. We got the high ground. There we go. Those are the opportunities we like to see. Much, much better chances. And you can see the Vulture in the back. So we do have at least six here. 
Ex-adventurer crossing on out. And we're going to switch over and send. You want some of this? Give him that heat. All right, Sun Spider, you got the line. I mean, let's stay in direct. Give him the right. Uh, we've got Typhon. I don't think we're in range here. Oh, we are. All right, we'll stack it. Three in the front. There we go. We got the breach. We got the breach. 19. 19. 13. Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> These things are so durable. And sent. Should be more than enough. There we go. All right, six left. Oh, my goodness. All right, liner up. We're switching over to Artemis 4. We've got a direct line. Now, let's dump that Grendel, yeah? Copy that. Blocks the only way down. Well, I know the I know the Grendel was on their ridge, and he was able to come over. It's very possible they're, I don't know, stuck on a rock or something. Standing by. All right, Amiel. Moving to position. Vigilance for us. Artemis 4. And nail the damage side. Oh my goodness. Target's taking a critical hit. Alright, superior. I call Hit the same guy. 21. Come on. <laughs> They're like immortals, I swear. All right, bring her around, bring her around. We could hit this Grendel 3544. Nail him. Heck yes, there we go. Finally, jeez Louise. There it is. And down he goes. Oh! That was rough. I mean, they got a nice spot and all, but they're basically just sitting in the fire. So we just got to stoke that fire. Keep it burning this whole time, right? We got the Meek. He's on the ground. We're shooting up, so it's a little bit rough. But uh, we'll go straight to core, as Azicus would tell us to do. And the Grendel's out. There we go. I thought Hairband Mech was a first by me. Someone stole my idea. <laughs> they are stringing us out. EMP up. Stack the same. Stack him. 20. Oh my god, he's breached on both torsos. Alright, that's it. And go. Both sides, both sides. Hallelujah. Wow. We've been going at that guy since round nine. That's insane. Alright, pull it around. Alright, we got some tr got some problems here. Just die, right? Sure feels that way. That's him right there. He's hot. He's hot. Give him the right. Affirmative. Vigilance. Artemis 4. Give him 70. There we go. And an This is what we wanted. An actual direct line. There we go. We got a breach. We got a breach. Beautiful. It was a boring Saturday. Storms knocked out the internet for most... Oh, no. All right, King Azekis. Get out there. Get out there. We need to drop somebody. Mad Dog Prime. What's he got? Large Pulse Laser. All the LRMs are out. Let's go in and work the breach. Work the breach. Work the breach. Heck yeah! Heck yes! It took so long! Yeah, we got a Sun Spider with Clan LRM 70. Hopefully we'll be able to maintain it. Uh, we'll give him our left. With Demik for the Omni Warhammer. The Grendel. I mean, they got the large pulse. This is 47 and 40. 761, 716 will go to the Grendel. Beautiful pings there. Heck yes. Oh my god. Thank god for. I'm dead. No, you're not dead, a bubble. The delayed. Kaboom, right? Archer's up. Does he have any rounds left? He still has rounds. He still has rounds. Oh! Oh no, we lost a clan LRM 20. We got some backups. We got some backups. Hey, Irby, very good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're doing well, yeah? Let's see. So this is 22, 23, and 17. Let's go in and drive and knock that Grendel down. Knock him out. There we go. Grendel down. Beautiful. 
Kirby, thanks for streaming. Thank you so much, Uber Force, Wayne O'Bye. Thanks so much for the resub. I really appreciate it. 22 months is no freaking joke. Almost two years, man. That's crazy. Thank you so much for all your support. Yeah. There we go. Unsteady, unsteady. That's going to allow King Azekis forward. And send. Knock him over. I guess. There we go. Oh, finally, we're making progress. I shoot the butt. I don't get pro. That's right. Well, they're not going to do it to you. All right, let's get Big Brick out. Got to give him the right. Vigilance. Focus in. Straight to core. And go. One left, bunnies. One left. Just the Mad Dog Prime. We just got the Mad Dog Prime. Don't worry. They aren't aliens. All right, bunny bludgeon forward. Bunny bludgeon forward. And away. Finally. Finally, we have a firing solution. There it is. Completely unsteady. We still have three more bunnies. They're worse. They're the clan clams. That's right. High explosive is all that is left. Knock him down. And that is a win, my friends. A really, really costly one. That's for sure. All right, Ripper. Straight to court. Half the body gone. All missiles are gone. And no arm losses. That's right. So far, we got to be careful still. Still open. Standard up. Straight to core. Come on, drill, drill him out. Drill him out. Drill him out. Drill him out. There it is. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, that took so long. Well done, buddies. That should slow down Clan Snow Raven's offensive. All right, bunnies. Total win, total win. Will the bunnyling win without any limb losses? That is a... That was a crazy yes. Congratulations to those who had the faith. That was way longer than it needed to be, right? They really drug it out, but uh, you got to give their tenacity a little bit of respect, right? That was kind of crazy, but oh my goodness. Wow. I guess I think my hair grew an inch from time. I was feeling it. I definitely felt it for sure. Minus 259,000. Hopefully, we're going to be able to get... Wait, I know we get three pick on this, I believe, right? Didn't lose any arms or anything. We did lose a clan launcher. We are going to lose... They're going to replace this. They're taking a Timberwolf part of Vulture part. Mad Dog. You know what? I'm going to accept that. That's fine. I, I don't really care. We'll accept that. They're giving us engine excels. Yeah. It's about time. Oh, that... that uh, what What time? It's currently 7.40 p.m. We should have about a little less than an hour left, yeah? Archer, Crossbow, Grendel, Helepolis, Manticore. Manticore would sell for a lot, yeah? ATM 6, ATM 9, ER Large Lasers. Clan, all the clan ERPPCs, you gotta love that. Large Heavy Laser, Large Improved Large Pulse Laser, LRM 15. We lost an LRM 20? Clan LRM 20, Clan LRM 15, Sniper Artillery will sell for 3.5 million, Thumper Artillery will sell for 2.5 million, Clan UAC 5 as a replacement, that's going to allow us to upgrade the Warhammer again, it's going to be fantastic, BC Long Range, that'll be really nice, plus 2 accuracy at long range, holy crap, I'm going to grab that, and then we need something to, online map, yeah, Snuggle Nugget, the online map is gone, I saw the announcement, hopefully you're doing well despite that announcement, yeah? G gyro XL? Single heat sink cooling. So no clan double heat sink kits or something like that. Let's just go ahead and get the gyro, the uh, engine XL to sell. Or actually, instead of the engine XL, how much does it sell for again? This is 2.5. Let's actually get a sniper artillery piece and we'll sell that off. Yeah, we'll see what we got. Grendel, Mad Dog Prime, Griffin, ER Medium Laser Sniper. We'll sell that. 630,000 standard and go. All right, not too bad. We're almost at 7 million C bills. Six days for repairs, 600,000. Um, the one that we definitely need to do manually is going to be the Sun Spider, yeah? Don't forget to check the Naga Centering Clan areas. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Sun Spider, we got to stop work here. We're going to flip this on over. It's 200,000, but we need to re replace one of the Clan LRM 20s. You could be checking store on equipment. Got it. Thank you so much. If they've got a clan exchanger, that'll be awesome. But obviously, we were trying to save a little bit. Uh, clan LRM 20. There we go. There we go. There's our backup. 
flip this over. BC Artemis 4 tracking and missile. Perfect. We'll definitely take that and hold sensors tracker. FC advanced targeting computer. Bring everything up. We'll go maximum armor all around. 65 and 70 in the back. Bring this down to 65. Bring this down to 70. I'm noticing the game running a lot slower right now, so we'll be able to eke out one more, one more fight before the end of the stream. And let's get these legs back online. There we go. All the way to 150. There we go. Beautiful. Exchanger here. How's our heat efficiency in this thing? 8763. I kind of feel like if we pull this off, we'll get a standard exchanger plus in there. And now we're looking at a difference. This is fine. 7863. That's not too bad. That should suffice. And then we'll be able to get our clan exchanger onto the Arrow 4. Maybe get in that engine heat sink plus two. Yeah. The big thing that we're missing is, of course, a, oh, an additional no. set of the patchwork materials, right? So we'll go over to the mech bay. We'll go back over to where clan. Oh, hold up. We need to hit the store, right? Wow, it's really slow at responding now. There we go. BC piloting. Nice. I dig that. Engine heat sink plus one. Ammo. LR oh my god. We've got more LRM Artemis 4 ammunition. Okay, I, I definitely need some more of this. Let's get six. That's going to be helpful. Unlimited clan double heat sinks. Holy crap, that's incredible. All right, what do we got here? So, I think we have enough kits. Yeah, one more time. Let the beat drop. <laughs> Let's take a look at that arrow. There's the Naga. Refit here. Okay, fess up. What Fess up for what, Tank? To the Naga. All right. Patchwork materials. I'm pretty sure we don't have yet. Kool-Aid HB and... <laughs> Patchwork materials. One here. Arrow 4. Let's, let's pull this down. I think we've got enough there. That's going to allow us to fit in an engine heat sink or something like that. Um, we're going to go over, pull the Exchanger Plus down. We're going to the Clan Exchanger. Our heat efficiency is at 45, 67. Wow, that's so bad. That is so bad. You know what? We don't have the kit, do we? Radical double heat sink kit. That did it. Wow. That made a big difference. Holy crap. I think that might have been it. I think I just didn't have the kit in there. Wow. That made a huge difference. That was a huge difference. All right. One day out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is not balanced. 115, 115. Balance on both sides. There we go. One day out. Ooh. I get to that delay in Rogue Tank after just a second mission. Well, I don't... I mean, technically, we did a full restart, you know, a couple of missions back, right? Is there anyone else? And then it was our big brick right here. This is the other one that we wanted to change out. We got that UAC-5 just for him. Let's take a look. I think we might have had another gunnery support. We do. We have another gunnery support. It's going to help us out a lot. And we're going max armor, 99.75. So we'll max out the armor. That 75 here, we're going to go up to 99. Bring that down by one. Bring up all the armor from here as quickly as we can. We're up to 150. That was a first mission after the full restart. That's scary. That's scary that we're already at this point, yeah? Dread Misery. Thank you so much for being my memory. And bring this all the way up to 150. Oh, that's true. We did do a duel. But that was over so quickly, right? That was like two turns and it was over. All right, there we go. Full repair. We're going to pull this UAC-5 off. It's going to save some space. Oh, uh, we got the clan UAC-5. And heck yes, we got two tons to mess with. That's crazy. I mean, we can get more computers, battle computers in. Make this a little more accurate. You gotta love that long range. I love that. We've got energy. We've got ballistics. Uh, gunnery, heat, BC long range. Plus two accuracy. I dig it. All right, let's go like this. This is fantastic. Uh, we'll just do a quick stop by in case they've got clan equivalents of ECM or anything like that. Not too bad. Seven days out. All right, let's do it. Big brick becoming more hardy brick. Darn straight. All right, bunnies. Let's go in and set this up for the very last fight. To be fair, the last fight was hella long. Yeah, it was very, very long. It really, really was. 
All right, what are we doing here? 11 days out. We'll just go in like this. This is fine. We'll get everyone repaired. We're going for one last one, yeah? For this night. Thank you so much, bunnies, for hanging out. Thank you so much for your patience. I know that we had a lot of technical issues, and um, I just really appreciate everything that you've done for me. So thank you so much. Three days out. Everyone's back online. Heck yes. All right, beautiful. We'll just do a quick stop by the mech bay, make sure that we're not under-tunned or anything like that. Our arrow four with our Naga should be a lot better now. We'll stop by the barracks, make sure we've applied all appropriate points. Now we got AV. Heck yes. I kind of want to save up for a gunnery skill, so we'll hold off there. All access, we'll get that. Uh, for all access, we'll get the guts up there. He doesn't really get close enough for any sort of piloting and melee shenanigans, so we'll hold off on that one. Uh, we've got Cyber Gizmo, uh, Damik, and all right, here we go. All right, bunnies, so I think for the very last one, we should probably do that assassination. That was the other one that I wanted to do, so that one seems pretty good. We're fighting against Clan Novacat again, unless, unless they've got something. I'm seeing Clan Fire Mandrill, I'm seeing Clan Novacat again, Novacat, a lot of Novacat, Diamond Shark, nice, Snow Raven, Novacat. This is a solo duel. Let's hold <laughs> Let's hold off on that. Novacat and Novacat. Okay, so here's the question. Capture base, Diamond Shark. Actually, that's that's gonna be the question. Do we want to do Diamond Shark or do we want to do Novacat? It's up to you. So we got Diamond Shark or Novacat. That's gonna be the choice. 60 seconds on the clock. If we go with Diamond Shark, it's gonna be this capture base. And if it's Novacat, it's going to be this Four Skull Assassination. At least the Assassination is going to be in the Tundra. That's going to be a big difference. And then this one's a four and a half also in a Polar Biome, but we're also going to have to fight against turrets, things like that. But we got a lot of LRM, so I think it's going to be okay overall. So it's really a matter of who is it that we want to face off against. The last one that we did was basically a Four Skull. Four Skull battle. We had a lot of fighters on our hands. One is 1.4 million. One is 1.5 million. So it's not too big of a difference yeah. Right now we're leading with, it's tied up, two and two. We've got 20 seconds left. It's anyone's game at this point. Three and three has been pushed up again. Completely even so far. I didn't expect it to be that close. Oh, we got 14 seconds left and we're getting into the last 10. We've got a lead with Novacat for the assassination mission versus the capture base. Five, four, it's even again, two and one. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for weighing in, bunnies. All right, here is how it's going to go. Heads for Wolf is going to be the assassination mission. And Timberwolf is going to be Diamond Shark. All right, here we go. Assassination mission it is. I guess. Thank you so much for weighing in, bunnies. I really appreciate it, yeah? Coin toss it is. All right, wonderful leopard. We do not care about the Novacat forces. You know what we're going in? 419, all the way in on this one. Rafen Buta. What is... What should we bring on this? I feel like while the King Crab is amazing, while it's amazing, it is so slow. So what else can we bring here? If we pull the King Crab off and we take a look, we've got our upgraded big brick. We've got the Luminum. We've got the X-Adventure. It's improved now. The Sun Spider was great. So we've got a clan hybrid carrier. We got a mortar carrier that we can bring as well. Um, Cyber Gizmo can get into the hybrid carrier. I'll get into the mortar. And that basically leaves us with another. We've got ATMs, the grasshopper. Maybe we need a scout. I feel like we need a scout, yeah? Assassinations have the potential to have something very good to sell, but darn straight they do. Let's go in and scout with a kind of ghetto hop, yeah? We'll get in there. Get super close. We got the Death Claw. And this, or actually Higash, so that he can lock. And this is it. This is it. Commander, the criminal we're after should be nearby. The target will be supported by Novacat forces, but we have no contractual obligation to engage them. This is a hit and run. If you prefer, just kill the target and get out. Good hunting, bunnies. All right, so we start low. I want to start high if possible. We know the assassination target is way out here. It looks like we can be here. If we start here, we got to climb a little bit. They're probably right here. You know what? That's actually not too bad if we start up here. 
if we start over here, we don't really have the opportunity to get up here. And if the enemy is up there, then we're in trouble. So let's go ahead and start out here. I think this should be fine. We're kind of out in the open, which I don't like. But, I mean, them's the breaks. You, you can't always choose, yeah? And there we go. 780 tons of bunny ramen operation right in the deployment zone for our very last engagement against Clan Novacat, yeah? Look at that jet booster, jet boost. Oh my god, they're right on top of us. Vector, vector inbound. Looks like they got a vulture up high. Oh my goodness. All right, what do we got? This is a... Oh, that's nasty. They got a mad dog on the high ground, yeah. At least the VTOLs we can drop out pretty quickly. And then we got an ISV. I'm guessing those are a lot of machine guns. We got Lumina. We're going to activate mobility to allow us to get into cover as quickly as possible. We're going to break right. Try and clear the people right in front of us before we do anything at all. And we will try to engage. We got 48%. We've got 24%. And we got 29. Let's go ahead and drop out that vector and send. There it is. All right, vector down. Beautiful, beautiful salvo from Superior Daisy and Lumina. Quite a potent pair. We've got four left here. We do see two Vs. One V toll, one V, the ISV. And of course, we've seen the Mad Dog up here. We are missing the fifth. Not too sure where the fifth is. We only see three on target right now, but we know that there are five in the supporting Novacat forces because after all, we see it's only 20% on the objective marker. So they might be directly on the opposite side. I'm really glad we started on this side. If we started on the opposite, there'd be that cliff that we would not be able to overcome. So at least we have some options here. Let's go ahead and sprint on over to the right with Amiel. We'll go. He's going to arm up Warlord up, plus one accuracy, and we're going to go ahead and do our best. We're switching on Artemis 4 to give us increased accuracy and direct line of sight, and we're going to go straight into that Garuda. This is going to be a lot faster, I can tell. Stack him, stack him, stack him on 22. So who... All right, so it's going to be this Mad Dog on high. Hopefully he doesn't have a lot of the direct line power. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Holy crap. Thank God for spawn protection. All right, Crunch, ex-adventurer. Get into that cover. Warlord up. Burn out the FSV. Good pings there. At least he'll have burn damage when it's his turn. He's moving on initiative 12, so it's farther back in the line, yeah? Groot is back. Takes a shot single ping on the Naga. Hopefully it's going to be the last time anyone pings that Naga. You can What's see up, that Bob? it is a lot more, it's way more efficient now, which is fantastic. Let's get in. Hey, Gaj. We have no center lock on the first turn. Full in and go. Ping him. Soften him up. Big brick. There we go. So we've got our brand new Clan UAC 5s. Active ECM. We can work this 16... And dump him. All right, one ping. Oh, that was a little bit wide. Quite a spray. And they've got the fifth. They've got the fifth somewhere. And you know it's their turn because it's not initiative 12. LRMs are coming from, I guess, on the other side of the cliff, I assume. Do we detect that? Mad Dog up above. Carrier in cover. Standard mortar. We could air burst this guy, but it's not enough. Let's go for acid stack. Target the ground and send. I think we did something. <laughs> I, that's, that's the one thing I wish I could change. All right, we stacked him a little bit. So one thing I wish I could change is uh, be able to control the camera during that engagement on attacking the ground. Because I want to see, I want to know. Come on, get us. Get us to the missiles. Bunny bludgeon. That's what I want to see. All right, pull it back. No Buy ourselves some time. Switch on over to Artemis 4 all around. Guardian ECM active. Warlord plus one. And this guy's coming up 34. We could drop this out, but uh, I'm going to try... What's he have on the side? 353. Ooh, that's a lot. Never mind. 
Not gonna do that. We're gonna rely on the burn damage. Let's knock out the Garuda. We won't be able to take out the FSB on this turn, but I definitely want the Garuda out. The VTOL's providing really, really good visual information for the rest of the Nova Cat crew. 17, so we got a couple more. All access with a Ripper. Pull back into cover. We could Inferno this guy on 24. We could Inferno this guy on 12. 24, but first, Enhanced Imaging. And we'll come in on the high 20s. 27. I copy. Give him that burn. Wow, we went wide. We went really wide. If, if we might get so lucky that if the fifth one is down here, because it's kind of within the general vicinity, we might accidentally tag him with fire. Yeah. Although, initiative 17. So that's someone that we're not aware of, that we cannot see. And it seems to be coming from this direction right here, yeah? Commander. AV and the Dire Wolf. Do we have any green back here? I mean, I guess... Uh, we don't really have the shots, do we? I guess we can come around 32. That's not worth it. I'm actually going to just run. Hey, run into it. cover. Make sure we're in cover. Hold. It's a little bit rough because obviously that means he could potentially break on down to the left side of the hill and then get shots right into the rear. So it's a little bit... Um, it's a little bit of a dicey play, but I do not want to be out in the open. I do not want to sacrifice armor needlessly so early in the engagement. Yeah, Alright, carry her up. Standard Artemis 4. He has not moved yet. 6%. 4.7. Not many good options here. We'll go active and brace. Alright, here he goes. FSB's up. He's got the ballistics. Ooh! Okay, mortars maybe. Is the FSB a mortar? It was a single shot though. I guess more like thumper. Maybe like a... A thumper and a lot of machine guns or something. Commander. All right, Sun Spider. Cruise on up. We might have the ability to see what's on him. Just ballistic, just ballistic. God, he's so much, so much uh, armor. All right, here we go. We got a Conjurer back here. Fire Moth, Kit Fox, Timber Wolf, Summoner, Griffin. Oh, wow, that's a special Griffin. Griffin Francine, Francine 2. And a Burke Defense Tank. All right. Heavy, heavy, heavy armor there. All right, dump him. Hit him. Try and drill through. This is his left side. This is where I wish I had tandem ammunition. But since he moves at initiative 12, could be helpful. Vector, probably another VTOL. X Adventure, stay in direct. And gosh. Hammer away. And we can actually shoot both at the same time now. This is fantastic. Heck yes, Irby. Give him the crab rave love. Coming around. And she's away. Solid salvos. 29? 29 armor left on that side. He's got sniper artillery and a bunch of heavy machine guns. We can do this. We can do this. We can drive him out. We had a really good opportunity. They're... A lot more of us are going to go before he can even move. So this is perfect, yeah? Fire Moth in the distance. Once we wipe these, this first star out, we're going to have control of this hill. We're going to be able to get on the high ground. And it's going to be downhill from there, quite literally. So it's very, very important we wipe these guys out. Mad Dog pulling away. A lot of indirect fire coming in. Fortunately, he didn't come on down with the lasers. Probably knows that as soon as we wipe out the FSV, we're all coming for him. So, very, very smart Ready move by the AI. So, let's go ahead and sprint it. Uh, I kind of want those blue lines. So, we're coming all the way over to the side. Vigilance to clear the stability damage. And we're going in for the strike. And let's finish him. Enemy down. I guess. All right, beautiful. There's two left. We're looking at a Conjurer and that Mad Dog on the high ground. Slowly but surely, we're going to push on up. Conjurer's got some missiles. ATM-9. Single and no connect. Fantastic. All right, this is looking a lot better already. Now we can actually start advancing forward. We're going to be a little bit uh, reckless. And we're getting out into the open here. And focus on the Conjurer. And dump him. There we go. Holy crap. <laughs> Completely unsteady. All this is going to take us even a small laser to knock that guy down. Good 
And of course, we're going to be able to follow up with all the UX and all the love. On my way, and away. And down he goes. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So he is done spotting for his allies, that's for sure. Because as long as he's on the ground, we're going to be able to get those free call shots straight into the Conjurer. All we got to do is focus straight to core, and it is all over. Aren't LRM 100 fun? Darn <gasps> There's a Marauder 2C. <laughs> oh my god! There's a Marauder 2C! It was a Marauder 2C! I think... Do we... Wait, do we still have Mad 2C parts? Do we still have... Oh, did I get rid of the man? No, I don't think I did. I suppose it depends on which end of the LRMs you're on. Darn straight. All right, let's go, go, go. Let's go in and bring these guys out. We're getting in here. This just got a lot better. What a great end to this dream if we can manage this. All right, guided, straight to core, and send. Stack him, stack him, stack him. All right, Conjurer out. Let's keep moving. Isn't that a 100 ton mech? Oh, don't you know. Heck yes, yes it is. It is one of the best out there. Oh, wait a minute. The 2C, I think, is an 85-ton Marauder. I think it's an 85-ton Marauder, if I recall. There's basically the 100-ton Marauder 2, and then there was the 85-ton Clan Retrofit, which is the Marauder 2C thing, yeah? Oh, is it? Oh, it's 86? Oh, the 85? All right, perfect, perfect. All right, Ripper, Ripper, Ripper. Just tuck up a little bit. We've got that Inferno. We've got all the business to the Mad Dog. And send. Give him hell. But still, it is a beautiful freaking mech. I would love to have a look at that. Mad 2C, the clan, double clan or PPC. It's got a clan egg 40. <laughs> I want to I wanna ninja it for the clan egg 40. Can you imagine if we got the clan egg? Oh my god. Wow, double clan or PPC, clan or medium laser times two, and a clan hag 40. Dear god, that's insane. All right, let's go and push it out. I copy. LRMs, I mean, at this point, since we're going indirect, we're going standard here. And we're going to go ahead and dump in on the Mad Dog 24. Headshot is called for. Well, we actually, I think, I, I could be wrong. I think we've got a Mad 2C part in our storage already. So it's very possible if we walk out with two, we have enough. I, I'm not too sure, though, yeah? All right, we're pushing forward as fast as we can go. Um, for this, it's going to be hard to hit still. 10% is really bad. Extended range the only way we're going to be able to connect reliably. I'm a little worried, though, because the Mad Dog has now baited most of the Bunny Ramen Operation Division out of cover, which means any direct shots with lasers could be really, really painful. Um, we're just going to jump on in, try to get him within our active Guardian ECM net, but I don't think we're close enough, but we're, we're shooting for it. And we're just short. We're just short. Let's go ahead and lock him instead. Make it harder for him to actually connect with us, yeah? This mod is like endgame Skyrim mechs. Am I seeing this right? There's a Marauder 2 at 100 tons, but it has the same standard weaponry as the regular one. Oh, did I sell the part? Oh, drats. That's a shame. Well, at least we'll have to start it up again. We'll have to start it up again, yeah? The Marauder 2C, another Jade Falcon built variation, first appeared in 3081. The arms of this version feature a Gauss rifle in its right and an LB-10XAC in its left, supported by a pair of ER medium lasers and a dorsal mounted heavy large laser. Jump jets large clanable forces face it, 13 tons of standard armor provide the protection. Heck yes! Either way, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and knock this guy out. 29, we're going in with standard and set. There we go. We got a breach. We got a breach. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Come on. He's at... I don't know what initiative phase he's at. He might be on that 23. If that is him, is he going to move? Yeah, he's moving on 23. He's coming in. He's going to try and take advantage of us being out in the open. Here come energy weapons. Oh, my God. That's what I was afraid of. 64 damage. I was trying to hold off, but we need to start pushing. And unfortunately, we had to eat that damage. All right, Sun Spider, since he's exposed himself, let's go. We're pushing on in. And dump him. We're switching over to EMP. And dump him. Man 6C. The Marauder 2 carries three ER PPCs, two ER medium lasers. What truly makes it frightening to opposing pilots is the fact it carries maximum armor and uses a compact gyro to carry 22 double heat sinks, enough to allow it to fire its main battery with very little heat buildup. That sounds a lot like how we ran a Marauder 2, yeah? Kit Fox at range. 
Come on, come on, come on. Did you have time to go back? <laughs> Start it. Alright, turn cooldown. And hit him. He lost half. Open him up. He's unsteady. Single clan LRM 15. Wow, man. Getting hit by that large heavy laser. 64 points. Potential of 80. That's ridiculous. That's so dangerous. And he was able to connect right when it counted of all times. Timberwolf at the bottom. Man, our high ground's going to be awesome. I think HB must have hired some D-League pilot to do that. I only show up for the headshots. <laughs> Thick is that his time is that valuable, man. Fire moth. Shot to get a hop, that's fine. At the very least, we'll be able to get a part of that 2C. That's a bummer that I if I sold that, that's a Oh my god, it jumps. Oh my god, it jumps. <laughs> that's so awesome. And the great thing is it's gonna be shooting from below. We're gonna have the high ground, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be another two hour long mission. Well, the thing is, if we can drop out that mad dog, we're not gonna have to wait as long, right? At least they're coming to us. The problem was when we were shooting up, we're shooting down now. So that's actually really, really a big difference, yeah? And a lot of these are direct line of sight. A lot of LRMs, but I mean, they're shooting up and over as well, yeah? So many people to kill, darn straight. We do have at least like 16 or something like that, but we've already dropped out quite a few. Uh, we're sprinting forward. A target rich environment. And 20. There we go, we got that breach, we got the breach. 73, 70, 67. Open in the middle. Calling in a night HP, have a great waking surf. Thanks so much for hanging out. I hope you have a great weekend as well, and we'll catch you later. Have a good one, man. All right, big brick. Tuck and embrace. Got to cool off here. It's times like this, I wish we had nukes. Well, that's why we got the long toms, but uh, I hear you on that one. I hear you on that one. I just want to make sure that we're safe so we can climb in safety, yeah? Let's see, we got it. We'll shut up the long toms and the thumper. No connect. Be well, Fluffle. We'll do our best. Yeah. Commander. All right, carrier. That's the heat. Stay away from the fire. And we'll just dump him and send. Mortars. There it is. All right. First star down. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So it's now just our assassination target in the stars. Yeah. If you had nukes, they get nukes too. That ain't cool. Darn straight. So we just got to climb this hill. They're going to be trying to shell us, but they're going to be wasting their ammunition as we climb. So let's just take this moment and we need to keep moving. It's going to be slow going, but once we get up there, it's going to start literally being downhill for them. Yeah. Break left. We're going to build up that resolve as well. Vector. All right. Sun spider up. Affirmative. And hold. Fast moves, fast moves. We're on 23. So let's just count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Support lens. This might be 4. And then we've got 5. And then the ambushers might be a lance of 3. That's very possible. That would make it 8. And some of them are like fire moss. The moment we get the wreck line aside on them, it's over. The Ghetto Hop at least has medium expulses. And he's going to be able to get into range within the next turn, yeah? Crunch Troll. Go wide. We'll try to connect with anybody. 32 on the Fire Moth Warlord up. If we can connect with a Fire Moth, it should be a pretty good result. And away. No! <laughs> Just ripped his back off. Holy crap. Wow. That's insane. And the fact that it's not Inferno, we're still burning around him. Still terrifying. Artillery is still terrifying. Holy crap. I'm glad we don't bring lights anymore. That's a little scary. Just the fact one connect. Paper armor moth. All right. Keep moving. Keep moving. Hold for Demik. Superior is going to activate mobility. He gets plus 50% run speed. We are getting so much closer now. And cool it off. Next turn, it should take him two turns, and Superior Daisy should be able to start raining Clanny or BPCs from above, yeah? 
And the nice thing is from being on the high ground, we're actually going to be able to manage line of sight pretty well. The moment uh, they hit us, then we're going to be able to just pull back a couple of steps and then it's not a problem at all. We're going to be able to get out of dodge, get out of direct line of sight. All right, the Ripper's forward. We'll go in for a high explosive round 36 and send. <laughs> All right, never mind. Uh, we did not have to get direct line of sight on him. Apparently, that that uh, fire moth is hating his life right now. Yeah, I just, I just love how there's that slight delay, and then he just kind of squishes very, very quickly. Yeah. All right, so let's go in and start working down their vector. It's the only thing that's going to provide them any sort of cover at the moment. EMP, um, Warlord up, plus one accuracy, and we'll dump into the vector 23. Stack them up. It's a lot of mag pulse. He's not hating his life. He's missing his life. Oh, my God. <laughs> you were not wrong, Crossbow. You were not wrong. Timby with a UAC-5. About seven pings there, a few missiles, things like that. We'll go ahead and back off the ridge. Good to go. Maybe in the dire wolf. It's going to take us a while to get there, but it uh, should be okay. Standard, standard on the vector. 8%. We'll take that. That's not bad for 8.5%. That's not bad at all. There's that Mad 2C. All right, carrier, carrier, carrier. Get on in. These are mortars. Go. We're going to hold. So even though this is going to take more turns, I feel like these turns are going to go a lot faster because we don't really have to worry. I mean, basically, the only thing the enemy is going to be doing is push closer to us and shoot. That's about it. There's not really many strategies that they can uh, employ unless they want to try and run away. But I don't think it's going to work out too well for them. Yeah, let's go in and just hammer. Just keep hammering that vector. Got it. We're kind of getting low on ammunition, so we want to hold off with a carrier. At least get it a little bit closer to what a direct line of sight. Yes, Commander. Alright, Sun Spider. Moving to position. EMP stack. And dump 15. Oh my god. Here he comes. He's getting jammed. He was able to connect with one, but now we have direct line of sight. They have a spotter for now, but we've got the kind of ghetto hop. Walk it over. We clear the stability damage and dump him. All right, enemy down. So now we've got, we've got a much more manageable set of six enemies below us, yeah? X Adventure slowly plodding forward. Let's go in and get that burn applied, yeah? Uh, we'll dump them straight in the middle. The Burke Defense Tank, the Summoner. We'll just give him a little bit of a taste. Give him that heat. Give him that love. With a UAC-20 on the Summoner, but it's going to be really hard for him to be able to connect out there, yeah? Right, we're staying over to the edge. And we'll hold. Hold here. God, it jumps. That's so great. Yeah, these are much faster turns. Much, much faster. Confirmed. All right, get on over. We've got Listen Kill. I'm assuming they've got some AMS coverage, but we're about to find out. We'll go ahead and ping that summoner a little bit. Yeah, 37. Doesn't look like it. Looks like they kind of, uh, they kind of did not listen to the whole AMS doctrine thing. Tim B in. Ooh, they're pretty accurate. Holy crap. All right, that's a priority target. Because I don't think the UAC-20 is going to be very accurate shooting up. And of course, it's got a sort of like a mid-short range to it. And we definitely outrange them. So we should be able to get more shots on uh, before they can close the distance. And then by then, we've backed off, go full indirect, yeah? Orders? All right, all access. We're going full burn, literally. And we'll hit that Timby in 36. He's right there. He's right there. I would imagine it's pretty hard for him to uh, navigate the smoke and everything. Big break full sprint. Get to that edge as quickly as possible. 
Carrier forward. Stacking Inferno. And hit the Timby. Griffin to three, four, five, six. The Griffin, I think, let's see, six. So he has three here, four, and then this support lance has to be a set of two, I would imagine. All right, Die Wolf in. We got 10 minutes left in the stream. Timberwolf, and go. So he has AMS coverage for himself. Not overloaded, but he does have AMS coverage for himself. Cyber forward and hold. All right, we're already in turn six. X adventure, get in. We've got two Infernos. I mean, at this point, I think we should switch over. We need to save the Infernos for our main assassination target. And we're going to start hammering away. 38. Quite a retort on that one. Get up, stay in cover. We could EMP stack. Let's go in and save the EMP stacks. Go in for Artemis here. 28. Confirmed. Shell him out. Not super effective, but we'll take it. Superior. You've got the line. So all right, here we go. Vigilance for Superior Daisy. We're going to keep distance. Flip it around. You filled the resolve bar too already. Thank you so much. And go. Is that down? All right, he's unsteady, he's unsteady. Is he gonna clear it? He's not gonna get to clear it yet. We can push him down, we can push him down, make him lose his turn. Good job, Superior, good job. We got the Meek. Oh, we're kind of far, aren't we? All right, get up, full sprint, full sprint. And dump standard, drop this guy. There we go, and down he goes, beautiful. Beautiful. There we go. There we go. That's solid. And in the middle of the fire of all things, Initiative 12. Very similar to that FSV early on with the sniper artillery. Very hard for the Op 4 to be shooting so far uphill. We've got a serious, serious terrain advantage. Bye. Big brick on the sprints. And we'll hold. Next turn, he should be able to add his firepower to the rest. The Marauder is below the crest. It's going to be hard for him to do anything. And we'll walk it out. Vigilance up. Focus into the Timberwolf. And straight to core. See orange? There we go. We got a breach in the middle. All access with the artillery pieces on the follow-up. We're switching over to high explosive and inferno to burn. And we'll go straight to core. There it is. There it is. Weapons destroyed. Engine Excel crits. Bunny bludgeon forward. Listen kill for indirect. And finish him. Here we go. He's out of ammo. Splash three. There we go. Two left in the ambushers. On round six. Carriers forward. Let's go in and hold our ammunition. We'll save on our sensor lock as well until we can get more direct fire specialists on the crest. One, two, three, four, and five. Five out of six. Griffin at a distance. And then we'll pull Hagaj back. Waiting for orders. Cyber Gizmo and the carrier forward. Roger. Full speed. Hold again. Give him everything you've got. All right, we're up. 27 on the kind of ghetto hop. Let's go in. I wish I could take a shot and then go. We'll hop out and brace. Just hold here. This turn is going to be a movement turn. So we're going to go ahead and go in direct and we'll hold again. Everyone's going to gather up. Crunch Troll's getting ready. Right on the edge. A standard. Yeah, we could probably hammer this guy. Just give him a few pings here. 35. Amiel and the Sun Spider. Stay back and hold. We got a really, really nice firing line forming here. 
It's taking us a while, but it's going to be hard for them to shoot. You remember, we wiped out all of their eyes. We know where they are. They generally know where we are. We can hit them. They can't shoot at us very effectively. And we got the high ground. All right, they're making a big brick. Get really close to the edge. And hold. Rest those UAC 5s. Marauder 2C pulling away. Carrier forward. Hold. Next turn is a firing turn. Oh, this is coming together so well. That's all they got. Now look at all the black and craters everywhere, yeah? All right, bunny bludgeon forward. Hold on this. All axes than the Ripper. I will shoot with the Ripper, though. I will shoot with the Ripper. Let's go in and burn him out. They're grouping nicely, darn straight, like this. Oh, that's a target? Wait, which one's the war criminal? I thought... Is it this guy? Wait a minute. Where's the... Oh, no, no, it's the Marauder 2C. Wow, apparently we had enough of a spread that we hit the Marauder 2C from there, yeah? Switch over, switch to standard, and hold. You know, everything is fine, bunnies. Oh, baby. <laughs> Understood. Moving back. All right, this is the firing turn. This is a firing turn. We don't have everything in the perfect position, but this is a good time. All right, vigilance up. We're exposing ourselves. We're going wide. Burke defense tank. No, I don't want it. On the summoner. Here we go. Group up. Warlord. Plus one. And dump him. Stack it, stack it, stack it. There's a the breach, there's a the breach. Heck yes. Holy crap, that's a lot of crits. Crunch in the X Adventurer. Let's go. Warlord up. And dump him. Exploit the breach, breach. And he moves at 17. That's not too bad. We're going to see that Kit Fox move. And then after that, I believe it's going to be the Griffin, yeah? Shot to Amiel. He's got Vigilance. He hasn't really been shot just yet. So he still has armor. And just to see it from their perspective, this is what it looks like. That's terrifying. There's Amiel right now. <laughs> All right, here we go. Get up, get up. Sprint on out. Vigilance to keep Higash safe. Ping the summoner. More breaches. Superior forward. Vigilance to keep Superior safe. And send. Dump him. And summon her down. Fantastic. We've got four left, four left. So the Nova Cat Commander earned the blood name Custer. Oh, well, this is his last stand. Or better yet, Custard. I'm okay with Custard. I dig Custard. I always love Custard. Jeez, Louise. High ground, direct line of sight is a beautiful, beautiful thing. All right, we're going to switch over to standard and just shell this guy. We're saving our sensor locks for the boss. There we got the breach, 17. Breach in 17. It's going to bring it down to three. By. Bunny bludgeon forward. Listen, kill for indirect. Warlord plus one, plus one on the clustering roll. And dump and finish. There it is. All right, beautiful. They've got three left. Three left, bunnies. No breaches to the bunny ramen operations. We've basically got the griffin. We've got the kid fox. And our main target. So let's go in and work out the escorts. Standard will start shelling. I mean, 14 or to the Griffin. Griffin is at 27. We'll hit that guy. Definitely got something special going on there, but he's really unsteady. He might get a knockdown on the Griffin Francine. 
Francine 2. I keep thinking it's Francine. And then all access is going to be able to follow it up, yeah? I think the support lines may not get triggered because you kept the distance. Oh, that's fantastic, yeah? And uh, sometimes you got to just for kicks it straight ahead. Give him the burn. Perfect. Carrier forward. Hammer him on the ground and straight to core. 16%. God, they just... They have no chance. Zero chance. And all in the first eight rounds. A lot of it was just movement, too. He has the accuracy penalty, and he's shooting uphill. Of course, we got the Kid Fox. Kid Fox probably has the best chance to hit us. I think the Marauder 2C is not in a good spot. I don't think he has much line of sight there. Tuck it indirect. We're switching over to... He am actually know it. We're sure we'll go Typhon. See what they can do. 60. So we're kind of cutting ourselves a little bit short. We'll splash the Kid Fox. Completely out of Typhon. Out of acid. Stack that acid. 17. And 27 stacks of acid. Multiplier of half a percent on the damage each. Artemis 4 indirect. And sent. Increased damage, it would have been two, now it's three. Ready for order. Kind of ghetto hop is going to, uh... I mean, I guess I'll come down. Yeah, well, let's come down. We'll jump down and brace. Go in and lock him first. Lock up the Kit Fox. And then we'll brace from here. This way, we're actually going to be able to apply some active jamming to our target so that we're a little more effective on the field, yeah? We've got standard rounds, standard rounds to follow. 35 and go. Oh my god! <laughs> Is that really 35? Holy crap, all right, two left, two left. That's it. One and the target, one and the target. Marauder 2C has not been able to fire at all. All right, liner up on the edge for Big Brick. We're resting the UAC-5 Embrace. Carrier forward. Standard on the Griffin, 18. Give him the love. I know he's in there. He's right here. There he is. He's coming out of the fire. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Oh, hello. Oof. I'm very impressed. He's a very good shot. Yes, we're standing on the edge and all, but still, that's pretty impressive. He was able to connect. Almost, almost have direct line of sight with our bludgeons. And we're going in EMP. Dump him. According to Sarna, Francine 2 carries laser reflective armor. Okay. So probably good against our clanny RPTCs or something like that. Reduce some of the damage that we take, that he'll take. And standard and go. Dump him. 21. Just whittle away. Hit him in the head. He had some extra head armor. He does not anymore. Send. There it is. Oh my god. Holy crap. And just our target. Oh my god. Plus 129 heat. I'm shut down and an ejection all in one go. All right. We got our carrier. Let's go ahead and rest on this turn. We're going to advance. Getting into a better spot here. Sun Spider, line up. Break over indirect. Stacking EMP prep. And hold. Hey, gosh. Sprint up and the kind of get a hop. Crunch Troll is going indirect. We're switching to Inferno. Burning, burning, burning. That's how we're going to play this. Superior Daisy. Cruise on up. Hold. I'm curious if we can get any line of sight on this guy. He's going to have to push up pretty hard. I know he's out there. There he is. I mean, I kind of want to get our grasshopper closer before I do anything. Let's pull off the ridge. And brace. Rest the UAC 5s. Bunny bludgeon. Bludgeon. Hold. Carrier forward. Roger. 
Ripper. Oh, this is going to be great. Because you all want to hit at the same time because you either want to knock him down. You really, really, really want to focus what it is that you're going to do. Because you want to overwhelm him within one turn. Carrier around. Staying on the geothermal. I know it's bad, but we're not shooting. X adventure. All right, bring it around. We are now in position with the X adventurer. Superior Daisy. Stack over. Stay out of geothermal. Hold. We'll get everyone off the geothermal. Next turn, we should be able to do something. He's pushing up a little bit, but he's still indirect, unfortunately. Smart guy. Hold here. Good to go. Kind of ghetto hop. There we go. There we go. We got some jamming. We got jamming on him. He's actively jammed now. Bunny bludgeon. Get on the edge. Stack EMP. Hold. Big brick. Stay out of geothermal. Hold. Ripper. Close enough. Close enough. Hold. AV and the dire wolf. Stack over. Hold. And we got two. Carrier up. Out of geothermal. Carrier with missiles. Right to the edge. Alright. I think next turn we should be able to do something. We don't really have any direct fire solutions. Alright. Sun Spider in from the side. Start stacking him. Mag pulse, mag pulse. Give him that heat. Ready for order. Order. We'll go indirect. Location you let the fire burn out. That's okay. That's okay. We'll 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 ignite that again. Take a look at this. We've got a really really nice chance to get direct hits on him. There we go. There we go. Give him that burn. Give him a little bit more burn. And send. Oh, what? And he's down. <laughs> All right, buddies. It's on. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Push it home. Push it home. This is it. This is it right here. Right here. I get the feeling we're the war criminals now. Nope. Nope. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Vigilance. Because there's about to be a lot of friendly fire. Focus in. Sometimes you gotta just for kicks it straight to the head like a hero in three, two, and one. Copy that. We got the head. He's got one more, one more head hit, one more head hit. He's out. This is it. All right, push up, push up, push up. Holy crap! This is it. All right, bunny. No, 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 not the bunny bludgeon. Uh, reserve, reserve. All access. Sure, we'll try and. Why not? Sometimes you gotta just for kicks it straight to the head. Oh, that's that's uh, a little bit of friendly fire there. That's okay. He's definitely very hot. Yeah! <laughs> Holy crap! Commander, the area has been cleared. Dars, give me the green light to land immediately. Hold position. All right, bunnies, total win, total win. Will the Bunny League win without any limb losses? That is a resounding yes for sure. Congratulations to those who had the faint. We walk away with four pick salvage. We were going to be able to get ourselves a mad 2C is the very last thing that we do. We had a deadline of 8.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We went all the way to 8.38 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Not too bad for the last eight minutes, yeah? Should be all the parts darn straight. All right, cross your fingers, cross your fingers. Let's go ahead and drip it on over we're gonna see what we got i think we walked away with everything we should have four pick on this 367 that's some shot to make a pile of j <laughs> all right good 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 what do we got come on come on come on i believe i believe oh there's so much delay it's still thinking mad dog Mad to see. Mad to see. Oh. 
my god. I guess we got four, three, two, and one. Griffin, Timberwolf, Vector, LRM15, PPC, Regular Heat, Sinks, Upper Recoil, holy crap, Hyper Gauss Ammunition, Quantity 6, Shape Charges, Shriek LRMs, oh my god, what a freaking loot box, that's incredible. Bunnies, thank you so much for hanging out tonight, I really, really appreciate it, I think that was a fantastic way to get past all, basically pay us off for all of our patience with all of the technical issues, everything like that. Obviously, we had a bit of a setback, and now I feel like we're coming right back on track. So thank you so much for your help. Uh, the next time we're going to be streaming is on Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The new bunny time, the new bunny or same bun, bun channel. We're going to be back again with the medium. And then after that, on Thursday, we'll be back again at 6.30 again. Bunnies, this is my favorite time of the week. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I had a great time. Hopefully we had a positive impact on your day, evening, weekend, everything. Um, if you'd like to hang out until the end of the music, we'll go ahead and give someone a nice raid. I had a total blast. I hope you did as well. And I can't wait to get into the next one with you. Have a good night.